Yeah, All right, fair. we're streaming now. Hello, world. I'm gonna look at some food. Welcome to the stream. I got a 5900X that I'm replacing my 3900X with. Yeah. Jeez. Kind of like a sidestep, but not really, because I should get theoretically like way more performance in some applications. So. Hey, but you're going from a 1700X to a 3900X, right? Yeah. That's a kick in the pants. And then my server's going from a 2600 to a 1700X. I don't know how much of a... I think it's 8 core, right? Yeah, that's the big thing. So I think the server... More core is better for server. Um, and the home theater PC is going to get that 2600 because, you know, for home theater PCing and PC gaming, a 2600 is... Plenty? Plenty, yep. Big thing is, because he's going to a beefier... The whole time he's had that 3900... He's complained about heat and temps and... It's because anytime you push any sort of, like, actual oomph through it, it's like, all right, let's just cook. All right, sounds well, good. now you're going to have a, a NHD 15 Oh, you want to run, you wanna run power mats? In all push, right. In push, push, pull. 95C. Okay. All fans just screaming. What? Uh, what, what? Yeah, basically. What? Put the corners on, on your other fans here. Which corners? The big no, guys? No, the small ones. Mm. Small corners going. Ah. Um, because yeah, remember, this, one. this one's going to be... Just one yeah, just put them on there. Mr. Hawking. Right, I'll get my food. Hey, go get your I'll food. I'll text that we're streaming. Go get your yeah. food, yeah. What, what, what Mike now? Because he needs to be here to see what's going on. I'm going to thank him. Thinking about well you, but then also me. Because I think this is going to be the uh, apart from a new graphics card and maybe an SSD, the last upgrade that I'm going to get for uh, quite a long time. Yeah, and for you, it's pretty much wait on an SSD till a new card because you would only need it for that. Um, you got a pretty beefcake SSD already. The nine fifty. Yeah, yeah but it's not Visa Express Four, which is what. Everybody assumes the yeah. the thing will require PCI Express 4.0. Because that's what the consoles even require to do that sort of... The PCI Express 4.0? Yeah. 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 I see. And the fan that's going in the middle is getting a thick voice? No, it goes in the one that goes on the back. It goes push, push, yeah. pull. The pull mm -hmm. fan gets the thick voice. Why? Because so it's it be... Look at the one that's over there. It spaces the rear fan off the cooler so, a little bit. So wouldn't I want to take the things off of here and put it on the thick boys on this one? No. You're going to have a third fan coming. There you go. Thick boys on, on that one. Put it on there? Okay. Yeah. Okay. I'm checking. I'm not sure what the configure. Is this guy going in the middle then? Yeah. yeah makes sense. Push. Push. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Push in there. Pull. Pull and then also a pull right here. And push in here. <laughs> and the air coming down and air coming in. Yeah. My God. Down, uh, it's just going to be like, your CPU is going to be so cooled. Yeah, hopefully. It's still going to cook, man. So, just what Ryzen does. If it's got the, if it's got the headroom, it'll just fucking turbo forever. Good. We'll turbo it all the way to the moon. And we still got to test it once we get the new one installed and we'll have to cool it. We're live installing the 5900X that at the Manic Geek. Can't type. This one. Oh, so one more. Fuck. So here comes one short. Because I'm a derp. Uh oh, get, get out of there here. We don't need hair in the socket. Fucking dumb? Yeah, 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 here we go. Wait a sec, that looks like it's backwards. Here, give me the thing. Here, look. Watch, they only go in one way, so this one has to go in this corner. Oh, okay. These aren't, the other kind can go in any corner. But yeah, yeah. these weird ones can only go into one specific area. Like, well, there's two Why? corners on each fan. Somebody's texting the shit out of me. There we go. Ta da! 
here we go, here we go. There we go. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Sometimes I'm just a little slow. Don't worry about it. Well, Gertrude's having her fun over there. Hang I know, there. I need that bag back at the end of the night. Oh. You have to fight her for it. I'm not fighting her, like a cute little kitty for the bag. I'm just going to gently ask, and then if not, I will pick her up. And, uh, and she's going to go, Mew! Mew, yeah. Mew! Yeah, you know, I'll have to bring a different bag some other day. Or steal a couple of bags from work, so she has bags. <laughs> Get on there. There you go, you bastard. Uh-oh. You tweeted her out. I don't know why it looks like it's so derpy right there. I'm not sure. It goes under the lip and stuff. Yeah, I got that. It seemed like it snapped on properly, but there's goobers on it. Yeah, maybe I should just pull the ones off the other thing. It snaps on, right? And then it just looks like it's yeah, dirty. So, what you do then is you go through yeah. and you grab yourself a pliers. Yeah. And you grab a little doodle and, and you just go. Yank. What the hell? Yeah. Look at this. It's like I've used a couple Nocta fans in my The more you know. In my, in my time. The more you know. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the audience, I don't know if there's anybody even watching us. Probably not. Messaging me like mad. No one messages me ever. Get a drink. Oh, another board box. Out of the way. Oh, bless you. I'm going to crack open for 5900. Nice. She's stretched like paws out end to end. <laughs> I don't see anybody out here. So oh, nobody here then, Squares. You think again. you think people? Like, I normally stream Pokemon now. You think people sure. are gonna come for for four not included? Mother f. Literally, it's an empty box. Yeah. With. Oh. Processor, a little bit of a manual, and a sticker. Yeah, ho, Prof here. There's squares. 
and we're streaming right now, oh. installing a 5900X into this machine right here. Come on in, check out the stream. We'll have a Chibi PC and my home theater PC in here as well to do, there's gonna be a lot of CPU hop, hopscotch, I guess, of mm, sorts. Something like that. So yeah. you'll see a bunch of systems in here, nothing too hard, but we'll answer any of your questions you have on the process. See ya. Bye. Push that to the stories because turns out if you want people to watch your stream, the easiest way to do that is like use stories as a notification because it pops up top, especially with people like me. I never fucking use stories. Stories for YouTube? Or Twitch. I could use like, stories for YouTube, but I have a whopping 162. Yeah. Yeah, no, that, that doesn't... I'm assuming the triangle is underneath now, and you just put the triangle where the triangle is, and I won't say I've done the processor installed before. I don't know, man. I don't know either. I'm just Intel. I mean, prior to Intel, I, I did nothing but AMD, but... I, I love the Bill Gates smear campaign ever since... Uh, you got divorced? You got divorced, you know? Get the fuck out of there, here. Get the fuck out of there. Thank you. Oh, Got a little bit, right? I mean, it is what it is, dude. What are you gonna do? Oh, uh, Prof here. There's squares. Oh, uh, Prof here. There's squares. I don't right. know why every time it, it's like when you go to these, yeah. every time it insists on playing the video. It's like, I know which fucking video I want. I think, uh, I think she's in there. There's no movement. We're locking it up. Locked down. Alright, I gotta clean that off. That looks like schmutz. Like poop? There's weird schmutz on there. Uh, uh. Uh, uh, uh. Hamlet! That is a big piece of chicken, man. Hamlet! God. What's going on, Hamlet? No one's paying attention to him. Hamlet Polonius? Why must it do this every time you go to the. Th pisses me off. Hamlet, you gotta chill. 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 Yeah, having quite the conversation over there. Hello, buddy. Is this Hamlet's stream? No. Wow, he's 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 very needy right now. Uh huh. What's up, buddy? Yeah. The shiny new 5900X. Oh, baby. Yeah, the thermal paste for Nocto is up there. Oh, well, we need the cooler yet, don't we? Yeah. I'm just saying, thermal paste for Nocto is up there. All, along with... That ginormous tube, or yeah. are we doing the NH1 right here? That's oh, the same yeah. solution, isn't it? Uh, or is it that's the H2, that's the new stuff. Oh, they yeah, said, they were going to use that. We were supposed to review that, sort of. Like, they didn't, like, no. insist we did. They just kind of sent it as, like, a... Well, um, uh, sorry, if I remember correctly, yeah, because they got the mounting points, uh, so... Well, no, the Customs lost them. Oh, Custom oh, launched yeah. the AM4, and they're like, yeah, because like they knew what we needed for this build. I was going over with that with them, and yeah. they sent it over, and Customs lost our AM4 cooler. And they're like, are you sure it didn't get delivered? I'm like, yeah, no, it's uh, not, here. not here. It's delivered to the airport. Yeah, here, here's the thing that you get with your 2080 Ti. Yeah. Display port, because you know, it lost its DVI port, yeah. to DVI. You know, just in case you're one of those guys that uh, still uses DVI, DVI still uses DVI. I mean, you can still do 144 hertz on that, can't you? At 1080. Oh, that'd be dual link. No, no, you, that requires an active adapter. That's a pat so up to 1080p 60 is what you get right there. What a piece of shit. Because <laughs> remember, uh, HDMI, DVI, and DisplayPort are only backwards compatible without adapters so to like 1080p 30. 4K 30, then it would do. Yeah, it should do 4K. No, because uh, it, uh, DVI does not support 4K as resolution. Really? Without, it does 2560 by 1600 is its highest, I believe. All right, well. Even dual link. There she be. We don't need to change up the actual mount, right? Nope. So we just got to get the other cooler and... Well, yeah, I can go shut down the server and you can take her apart. Yeah, you probably want to pull that one out if you can. She's not. The cooler or the whole unit? The, the whole thing to get to the cooler. Mm. Are you enjoying yourself up there, Gertrude? On that plastic bag? What's up? Just talking to your cat. Oh. She's like giving me dirty looks as she lays on the plastic bag. Even Phyllis is down here. Phyllis is out here. 
Mm. Yeah. What do you mean it's going to be smaller? It's going to be smaller. It's going to the D15. The D15? U14. U14. So D15S? Yeah. It's a better cooler. No, no, no. My computer. Oh, yeah. Your computer's going to be I mean, but it also needs to understand that pretty soon it won't exist as a computer anymore. But is it, aren't you putting 2600 in there? Is that not yeah. what we're doing today? No. Okay. Remember, your CPU has to go on Chibi PC. Chibi PCs, yeah. CPU, not a actual Chibi PC. Technically, what has to go into Chibi PC yeah. is the 2600 from the server. So you can upgrade to the BIOS, because the BIOS for Chibi PC that, that um, can do 3000 series yeah. cannot do 1000 series. That's, that's 4930 in there right now? Yeah. So, but here's the thing with Chibi PC though. Yes, that motherboard supports yeah. third gen. Yeah. But the BIOS update that requires, that does support for third gen, drops support for first gen. So you need a second gen CPU in order to do it, which we have in the server. Yeah. And the 1700X is going in the server. So what we have to do is, like you said, like do some <laughs> I'm going to bestow the 3900X on you. We'll put it in here. You put it, put it someplace safe. So, so yes, QPC is happening today, but now that's what will happen after yours. Yeah. But then, after Chibi PC, we can't just drop a 3900X in there. I suppose. We have to get the 2600 out of the server first to update it to the 3600 BIOS. Don't you love AMD? Isn't it great? I mean, that's why I literally am not updating. This is it. Minus a graphics card or something like just pop up, pop in. And yeah, I am kind of giving crap, guys, because if it was Intel, you wouldn't be able to do any of that, so... You'd be able to do it once, I think. Right? right, but you wouldn't be able to, like, it doesn't cover three gens. So, like, four, yes, I have no problem. Gens, correct? Yeah, but I, I have no problem four. going through, like, oh, may, having to make sure that I have, like, an intermediate CPU to make sure I can upgrade. Because if it were Intel, I wouldn't be able to go to 3000 series I remember, on a first gen board. I remember years ago when I had a first uh, gen Intel processor. It was like when they did the core series, the core. Oh, that's pretty. Not good. the core twos. It was like the i7s. Core, core the, first, I, the first gen. Yeah, core I had, I had a 9600, I think, or a 960, and I was the only one of like the group of nerds at work yep. that had a four core. They all had six cores, and they all had boards that didn't support it natively. Yep. So, so you they had, had to, to use keep... my CPU. Yep. To basically flash the BIOS. Yeah, because that that all that entire line did not ship with even the first gen. Because there's two gens of those, right? Mm. But even the first gen. Six cores did not launch with the first gen four cores, so if they were running yeah. the initial BIOS update, I think they were. They also got the boards for dirt cheap, if I remember correctly, right. so they didn't know if it would work. Yep, and I think only one out of the three actually flashed properly, so they could use it. Um, the other two, I think, uh, yeah, so that and, and guys, over. that is even BIOS updates on like the same generation that should work, yeah. Like, uh, as in, like, that's a first-gen board that should be able to take a first-gen processor. Yeah. However, it's not updated out of the box for that. Nowadays, you just use BIOS flashback. Mm. And I'm just in this unique scenario of, I have a, we're going with a B350 board, so there's not enough BIOS space mm -hmm. to be able to keep first-gen and third-gen on. Mm -hmm. So if you go to the a BIOS update for third-gen, you don't have first-gen. Aren't you getting a B550 for something, though? Didn't you yes. say that? Okay, that so what's going to happen is... Yeah. The 1700X is coming out of Chibi PC, going into the server, which has a B450. Chibi PC has a B350, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then the 2600 out of the server has to go into Chibi PC temporarily yeah, flash to flash it. To flash the 3900. To flash the 3900. Yep. Pop that 2600 back out, pop 3900X in there, mm -hmm. we're good. Mm -hmm. Okay, then take that 2600, gonna buy a B550 board mm -hmm. that supports second gen, because apparently not all of them mm -hmm. do. Um, because most of them are third or fifth, but there are apparently, if you read the BIOS updates, some of them, like, back-added support, essentially, for mm -hmm. second-gen. Got to make sure I get one of those, preferably an ASRock. Um, that's going in the, in the new home theater PC. Mm -hmm. um, and then the server's going to have a 1700X, and it's a B450 board. Or no, an X5, X470 board it has. I just realized. What's up? 
He never peeled your mullet He didn't peel his mullet guys. I mean, I think we did. And maybe we just left it there because we didn't want it to be scratched. I don't... I, no, I, I think you missed the peel. It could be. Then this portion right here is probably... I think you missed the peel. I mean, it's only... When did I get the 3900? It's almost two years now, I think. <laughs> Don't worry about it, that's fine. Right here too. Hey, we got a viewer! Who is it? I don't know, I can't tell that. Greetings and salutations. Can Welcome. I tell that? We got the 5900 installed. I just need the cooler out of your server. Yeah, speaking of which, I should, go, I should go spray that bad boy up. The server should be shut down. And then we gotta, you know, fix the fan configuration. And then, um... Hopefully, fire her up. He's gonna give himself a hernia. Ugh. Let's get you something to stick in the fan so we can probably pull it out. Bring the air cooler. Yeah, the, wherever you left it, dude. I gave it to you. you did not. I sure did. I handed it off to you. Sprayed it out. Carried my towel. I gave the thing off to you beforehand. I think you did.
You're chewed away from my food. Well, we got one of these is cleaned off here. Squares is outside. I had to show him how to get the uh, side panels off because each side panel has a fan on it, the back and the front do. Um, and he's cleaning out the filters. Th that case is real dirty because it's on 24 7 in my basement. Um, that's where my home theater PC is. And it's the home, piece, P home theater PC slash server right now. So Pulls double duty, meaning it gets, uh, never gets shut off. Um, but, if you choose good fil good filters, like Silverstone makes, um, or in the case of, like, generally Fractal and Cor uh, Corsair have good filters built in, like these are the Silverstone ones in the bottom of Squeeze's case here. Um, they have the hard plastic frame that are... Mag uh, magnetic, and if it's not magnetic enough, uh, very easy to drill out the screw holes in the corners. Like if you're not going to screw it on, which in some cases we do, but if you don't, you can put a you can epoxy magnets into the corners, making it even more magnetic if needed. Most times, what comes with it is fine. I have found situations where you might want to do that though, like Preston's done that as well. Especially if it's on the outside of the case. Um, that's like, the bottom is usually fine. But here it looks like on this that they would have, uh, Corsair would have sold you a um, fan filter there. But they never did. There's never a fan filter on the bottom of the Air 540. So, don't know. Also, unless you buy one, the uh, yeah, unless you buy one, the what do I call it? The uh, uh, power supply is not filtered on the Air Five Forty. So, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just eating some chicken strips because I woke up as after Spears got here, actually. My uh, Pixel did this amazing thing where it does this update, which is great and all, but it also, until you log back with your PIN, no notifications, no alarms, none of that works. So I was woke up by him arriving. My bad. Mm. Some yummy chicken, chicken strips, though. Mm. Pretty soon we'll have a different system here. That's going to be the pylon, um, which is my home theater PC slash NAS. Uh, back in the corner there, you can see the new the pylon, which is going to be just the server. And I haven't come up with a name. If you guys have a name for the new uh, home theater PC, well, let me know. And just calling it HTPC is pretty lame. So I have like Anthrax, Chibi PC for my little ITX rig, uh, the Pylon for the server. Um, I think I've had Agent Orange, Slipstream. Um, trying to think of some other names we've had in the past. But uh, yeah, so I have a Gertrude blow my legs, wanting attention. Yeah, so what we got to do here is we're getting Squares the Cooler, the NHD15S, out of my current home theater PC slash server, the Pylon. Uh, so he's got better cooling here as 5900X, because it's 3900X with the U14S. Like, it was fine, but there definitely could be more headroom. Did you find all the filters and everything? I'm going to put that right by the Gertrude who's trying to get my food. Look at her, she's so cute. Mm-hmm.
She thinks just cuteness gets her food. And you want to know what? Most times, it does. It does. So that's why you use fan filters, if you're wondering. A lot of you are like, oh, I don't need no fan filters, better airflow. You need fan filters. Especially if you're using it anywhere where you, like, like, cat fur, dust, any, anything. Which is most places. Unless you clean your PC, like, monthly, or you more, even more often than that. And it's like, I don't clean this PC. I do. But even three months... The thing is, like, the filters are chocked full of dust. However, the PC isn't because filters. I'm going to grab something to drink. But I'm guessing the PC itself inside now doesn't look bad at all. Of course. How does that thing look inside, though? I'm guessing most, if not all, the dust is in the filters, wasn't it? Oh, a good chunk of it was. I gotta go, uh... Yeah, go get the other one that fell off. Oh. Yeah, I gotta fix one. One of the screws broke off, looks like. Yep, one of the screws broke off right here. running this was not stock these little like the top like these were on their stock you know what i mean but they weren't like supposed to work afterwards still yeah all right pop this over here i don't know if we had a cold cue or anything or you got your oh, thank you well guys when you fill a computer full of hardware she's a Chonky boy. That is definitely. Oh, sounds like sounds like you need some. Oh, and by the way, guys, technically not full. There could be four more hard drives right there. The donkeys. That's what the new server is gonna have. It's gonna have eight, eight, eight terabytes. Plus what four are you SSDs. Do with this, this extra guy. Yeah. What do you mean this hook? This is the one. Th okay. That this right now is the server and home theater PC. Yeah. I'm gonna have a separate server and a separate home theater PC. Yep, they're magnetic. Oh, see? Just like that, and I'm see this gets big, clipped to the top. I'm just a big dirt. You never, you never put your clips on, bro. You know, just a big dirt. Okay, but here's your here's your clip. Here's your top piece. Yeah. Those are custom painted. The gray color. In yours though, Chris. No, these are, these are only fit the D15s. Oh. So those are yours now. So that's why you had me bring these things. Yeah, these technically are yours now. Yes. All right. And if you want, if you, if you don't like the gray, I'll put it up here. Yeah. But if you don't like the gray, we can always repaint it because I, I I painted those gray. Yeah, that's fine. And I put carbon fiber inserts in. I thought it was pretty good. Yeah. I think for yours we made gray inserts. Yeah. I think we just you, you made one if I remember correctly. Yeah. All right. So do you see how this tower is a little bigger? Oh, I mean a little bit, you know. You see how that processor is here? Oh, oh yeah. Size? Wait, I'm going to put this... Uh, maybe we'll just leave it here, because I think we're probably just going to pull that thing off and then um, put that one on and go from there, right? It, yeah. You see how this is much not as close to the GPU? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, That's mm -hmm. why it's offset up. Oh, that would have been nice. Yeah. So in this case, I think all we really want to do, because I don't want to mess with anything else in here because it works, pop it off, is pop the, the clips off for the fans. Pop the cooler off. Put the other one on. Put the other one on. Okay. Yep. Understandable. I'm gonna grab a Coke. You can you can have it. Gertrude, why do you like the bag? She the bag. That's that's her bag now, dude. Like I, it's not her bag. I need it. Talk to her. To carry stuff out when I leave later. Uh. Clip. There we go. Clip. Dumb. I want to get clips off because I'm a big dumb. 
Yeah, we're just doing a single fan and push. Crap. Oh, that's big dumb, because I'm already eclipse off. And hook that's here at the top. Oh. And then you just grab there and fry, huh? Oh well. See? I'm a big dumb. These are, are these your clips or my clips? So as long as they go like this. So mine now. Yeah, because then you should have three sets of clips. Uh one, two, more. So I don't know. Well you only need three. Alright, so I'll just those are yours now. All right, sounds well, then good. Now you only have two sets of clips, right? And then you need the three things. Clamp it on. Clamp, 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 right? Okey doke. Yeah, because I should have two sets of clips in the end, and you should have three sets of clips in the end. That's what we're supposed to. Hello? Oh, we caught on the fan. That's still hooked up on the end there. All right, so then we got a. Oop, and we're hooked up. All right. But there's not a whole lot of slack on the fan, so. Yeah, let's hook underneath. And that's all that one guy. Well, can we still get we can, we can flip it up and yeah. undo, you think? Or are you oh, keeping huh? this uh watch up? Yeah. Okay. You got the silver one that's still gonna be your color pattern. There you go, we got, we got that. There you go. Well we use the new ones right here instead of destroying your fingers. There you go. Okay, so I got that nice out. Job. So what I would do is use a very long pointy screwdriver bit. Mm -hmm. And just kind of finagle this so we can get the cooler, uh, or is it not going to work? You think? I don't think it's going to work because there's not enough slack on the. Uh... Yeah, and it's going to have to pull. It can't just pull it around this fan. I was really hoping we could do that. Yeah. Ah, fuck. Hold on, hold on. I need all those flopping down inside the machine. Last thing you use. Oh, well, you're going to have to find out which one of these it is and cut it out. Son of a bitch. Yep. Downside could kill, man. You guys is uh, it's kind of a bitch. We got a roost. <laughs> well, we have uh, which one are your blue ones? By the wire cutter you're looking for? Yep. All right, we'll just stick around here. We can grab our chair if you want. Uh, this isn't this isn't the squad, man. I don't need a chair. Okay. All right. Well, hopefully it should be pretty quick. All you gotta do is locate which wire that is. And Disconnect. Disconnect it. Actually, I probably still need those because knowing cable management, <laughs> it's not just one. Yeah, my cable management? Yeah, Hell no, it's just, not one. It's not just one. Yeah, which one? Yeah. If you guys are wondering, um, when you're doing cable management, I recommend uh, buying at least 200, like two packs yeah, of it's this, it's this one right here. Of uh, thigh wraps, you know, you'll blow through that first hundred pretty quick. And people are probably in watching and being like, what? Yeah. Because what you, what I do, at least, is like, say if you want a cable to stay someplace. Temporarily do it, yeah. Yeah, you temporarily tie wrap it down to keep it stay there. And then yeah. when you get more cables, you clip it, tie wrap another oh. one down. If you go back to old Elliot, I, w I would unclip the old ones. But then you got like a big mass of, yeah. of zip ties. All right, well, we got... I actually have a picture of one of the systems I did. Like, it was well cable managed. This is the correct one, right? But, holy jeez. Oh, can you not pull it out all the way? Is there a way to... Or is it pretty easy to... It's, I mean... Okay, it's, I see It's it, free yeah. now. I mean, you just basically yeah. have to plug in the replacement fan to the, the thingy oh. here. And then zip tie it uno, dos, tres. And then we'll need the cuatro. Since you did four of them. I don't know. We probably don't need as many. Either yeah, way. Maybe not. Who knows? All right. Hey, look how clean this fan is. And they sprayed it out. Right. I'm just saying that <laughs> the kind of dust that, because if you didn't have filters on it, the kind of dust that would be stuck on it would be that How kind of. How long you have this thing for? Uh, four years probably. You got five years on the warranty. Yeah. <laughs> I have two of fans. All right, I'll put it up here for now. And then Dude, we just gotta take that's the a that's a big increase in uh, surface area there. Yeah. Sir. Well, I mean, I hope it keeps the the 15900 cool. It should. I mean, we're going push, push, pull, man. Uh, we don't need anything else, right? I can flip no. it over and pull it out now. Okay. Oh, here's another pro tip for you guys. Watch this. Damaging your cables there. I blanked out. Check this. I'm not screws against this. Because I have no fans in my... I don't have a PSU on the bottom. I don't know how that pops Watch open. this. I blanked it out. So if it doesn't look quite as clean in there, it's because I'm dumb and I don't know how to... That's all right. It. This system hopefully should be like this part. You mean you're looking at that part? Yeah, 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 that one. Alright, are we putting the, uh, the 14S in right away? Yeah, let's pop that in right away. 
Is that going to work with this configuration? Yeah. Okay. This is just kind of weird because mine is... My, um... Uh, we're going to have to probably change mine. Because mine are like this. Yours are like this. Yeah. So we're going to have to change the, the mounting plate. Oh yeah, I probably have to change them 90 degrees. Because yeah. AMD and Intel have a 90 degree different mm -hmm. mount. Otherwise, it would be like this. Yeah, we gotta turn it. And then, yeah, no, that wouldn't work. Alright, so. We'll probably Could be worse. That. You know. Very true, very true. Uh, we'll have to move yours, too. Mm hmm, probably. Alright, so let's, uh. Let's clean this guy off, and then I don't know if you wanna do that. While I clean this thing off. I'm just gonna keep stuff in my face, it's cool. That's fine. You're you. <laughs> yeah, that's your house. Oh, I, I really should have eaten before you came over, but I did. Hey. I was telling the stream that um, my phone, I, I knew about for both my iPhone and my my you know, like Pixel yeah. that like a an update was queued. Yeah. But I like when I went to sleep that didn't like re register in my brain that that might make my alarms not work. You know, and my yeah. text messages and messages not come through. You're just sitting idle basically. Mm -hmm. Does it do that? Mm -hmm. If you have it on a charger and you let it sit idle, it detects that you're uh, going through, and it'll just be like, I'm gonna install now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, because it waits for power. Oh. So that's exactly when it installs the, it updates. Installs the update. I must have mine set on my, my Pixel 3 to like only install when I tell it to install. Because it'll basically prompt me, like, you have a security update. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. I yeah. I, I mean, I, I always get, like, if you don't do them soon enough, like, I hadn't done it, like, I actually had it at the beginning of the week, I think. Yeah. And I hadn't had time to, like, because uh -huh. it, it wants you to plug it into power and, like, press install, essentially. Yeah, yeah. A, I never plug my phone in, I put it on the wireless charger. So I. Does that. Affect that? Yeah they, yeah, they want it plugged in. Okay. Yeah, because I think I had mine on the wireless charger. and pretty much only plug it in when I'm at work, if it's free. Yeah, and uh, then the iPhone has been yelling at me for a couple days about, You didn't have it plugged in at night, so we couldn't install the update! Because I think... Uh, <laughs> I think and it's uh, like, uh, iPhone, I ha literally do not have a lightning charger in my house still, because you can wireless charge, yeah. and my AirPods can wireless charge. And I guess technically I do have a lightning cable, you know what I mean? But, like, I never have it plugged into anything because... Do your earpods have idle power draw? Or idle power drain? Or is it just... I just use them... Dude, I kill them almost every day lately. Really? Yeah. Jeez. Mine, I'm, I'm noticing... I'll be watching, like, YouTube, and then it'll just, like, audio will cut out. And then it'll be, like, connected to your earpods. It, it, they're in the case four rooms over. Oh, uh, that's, that's your issue. Your, your case is four rooms over. I'm not connected to it. I'm just trying to watch it through the internal speakers. Oh. Yeah, I just Did automatically... Did somebody bump them or something then and open them? Because anytime the case is open, that's when it... It tries, it tries uh, to connect. I do have it on a third-party case, so unless it's not keeping the lid closed properly. Because, yeah, as soon as that case... The case opening is what makes the Bluetooth... I might just have to connect. Check the case then. It is kind of a weird-ass case where it, like, snaps onto the lid. Yeah, I don't so like maybe those. It's just not... get yourself a D-brand skin. If you want... Yeah. I, I got an extra yellow one. If you want a yellow D-brand skin... Because my mom's was yellow, and they AirPods, always give you two to three. AirPods 2, not the Pros? Yeah, no, because I, I originally had the AirPods 2s, remember? Yeah, sure. I mean, if yeah, I got extra yellow it. skin if you want. Because yeah. my mom's, I installed properly. Yeah, my orange it. one, Yeah. I kind of did shittily on the sides. And it's kind of like, eh, when it starts peeling off, I'll redo it, you yeah. know? You're not going to use it. Oh, no. Like, cause, yeah, I doubt hers is ever going to come off, because I did the install on her, uh, or my original AirPods. You know, she got my, my AirPod twos or whatever yeah airpods with wireless charging yeah that's what i got is the wireless charging ones yeah anybody who doesn't get those i it's like 40 bucks extra but i think when i bought them mm -hmm. they were like on sale the day previously but they weren't on sale when i bought them and i'm like dude i'm getting that price because when i checked it was that price and then the next day they were on sale again so i don't know what the hell was going on but i was not paying the 179 dollars mm -hmm. when they were 129 or something like that New AirPods. This AirPods 3 should be out soon. That's what I keep seeing. It looks like they have... It's the AirPod Pros without the ear tips, basically. Yep. Mm -hmm. I was kicking myself. I'm like, I should have just fucking waited. Because I would have bought those. those are, hopefully they got better battery life from what I'm seeing and better sound. So. I would say it's about four hours I get out of my... The pros? Four to you use six hours. cancellation, correct? Of course. Everybody... That's why you buy the Pros. It's like literally, 
I here and I don't always use active noise canceling, but then I use transparency mode, is it? which is just as because that, that it records and plays through. That's the, the mics. modes, right? You know, you can't just turn off both of those. On an, if you go to in, yeah, a, a iPhone, yeah, go into the settings. You yeah. can disable all that. So all that passive. So but then, early. then don't. Why are you getting AirPods Pros? Better, better sound. No. Well, yes, it is. So you have better sound without that mode. Like the whole reason why I have, I either have noise canceling. So when I'm working on something and I hear all this other shit going on in the room, because you know people at that location bickering with each other, I can just tune that shit mostly out, or at least all you hear is you know like muffled. People bickering at your new job? No, not at my like I I'm on site at a, a play yeah, at a like a, one? like uh... at a place I work, and then they're complaining about like transgender rights and yeah, you because know, oh, around man. here we got a lot of. A lot of fucking yee-yees. Yeah, we well, we've, well, we've got a lot of, like, older white people, That's and then we have people who are, like, my age or younger, yeah. and let's just say, like, they just don't agree, at in most cases, at, like, a base, well, like, care for now, level. Sense. You know what I mean? Like, a, a base. Well, seeing as I, I just talked to one of our previous co-workers yesterday who's transgender, mm-hmm. and I uh, 100% support her. Um, I don't want to sound like an asshole, but those people fuck themselves. Well, yeah, it wasn't even that stuff, too. It was like, uh, when, was it, was it Florida that made it so you now need an ID to vote? Yeah. Um, and they're like, oh, you should have needed an ID to vote. I'm like, you already needed an ID to register. Yeah. Why do you need an ID to vote also? Like, you already proved... Why, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you need an ID to also vote? Yeah, that's Because you already like... did that. That's why you registered. I mean, I guess, I guess. Like, you're adding another hurdle so to... You yeah, but I mean... You, you should have your ID on you all the time, correct? Uh, y- yes and no. There's, there's Technically, stuff. when you're driving, you're supposed to have your driver's yeah, but, license on you. Right. A lot of IDs in these high populous areas, though, are not driver's license. They're just They're just identification, identification okay. ID, like government ID cards. I guess. I'm just the, so used to, like, never leaving the Correct. You're, like, and people. all these people are from around here where yeah. you literally cannot live around here without a car. Yeah. I've tried that. There's it no, doesn't work for you. Yeah, there's no mass. You buy a, you buy a, you buy a piece Wisconsin. of shit that can get you to Sheboygan, if yeah. you have to, that was eight hundred dollars or whatever. Yeah. You know. Yeah, there's no mass transport in this area. Like not having a car around here is is like yeah. an issue. Yeah, it's not possible. Literally, it's not possible. I think they so, were talking about that. Uh, I don't know. if Pam was watching something about that, but it was like the gas prices going up because the yeah. pipeline got hacked. You know. And now, well, no, the gas prices did not go up because the pipeline got hacked. They're just using that as kind the of guy, the, No, the gas prices went up because the news organization said there would be a shortage because the pipeline got hacked. Yeah, so did you know in most of the states where, the the, where there was a quote-unquote shortage, yeah. that pipeline did not even deliver gas to yeah. those areas. Great. So th- it's a it's a hysteric thing in the mm-hmm. way of... People just going psychotic, basically. Yes, because they heard a pipeline got hacked. Did you that, see some of the people, what they yes, were using? yes. Like plastic bags. Fucking plastic bags. They were double bagging them. I saw one where they were using a laundry basket. A holy laundry basket. I was like, how how fucking dumb are people nowadays? It's also like, I think the guys that work are like the fumes. Mm-hmm. Literally just being in your car. They probably not get out. A lot of those were fake. Luckily. I don't know, this one looked legit. Like, they were filming it at a pump. So. Yes, but a lot of those were fake. Okay. Um, but there, there was even, even if you ignore that, that did, that did happen. That fueled there being more fake videos of it. But God. the other thing that happened is some dude in a Hummer went and bought like a ton of gas yeah. and then couldn't wait to go home yeah. till he lit up his smoke. Oh God, that's not good. Yep. Kablooey? Kablooey, his entire, it was, it was an H2 Hummer, his entire H2 Hummer blew up. Yeah, if you fill your car with uh, gas tanks, um, you know I like was joking about that at work. Yeah, There's people smoking at the pump, you know, and everything yeah. too, and they just boom. Yep. Oh yeah, that, that happened that, that guy. Happened. Yep. All right. Well, that's he was driving away and he literally couldn't wait to get home to take like to take, to take the to take the smoke. You know, take those tanks out of your car. Mm-hmm. Nope. So he's smoking on his way home and he blew up his car. Yep. Probably lucky he's still alive. Yeah, I don't actually know if he is. He might not be. I didn't look, follow that part of it up, but I was just like. Yeah, you dumbass. You, you don't. Alright, see. So people don't understand how gas works. That is, it, well, yeah, once again, people, fume. it is the vapor. Yeah. That is the explosive part. The liquid actually not explosive at all, really. 
Like, you can literally stick it right in there, like a, a, a torch right in there. You could douse out a fire yeah. with gasoline. Now, it will light the vapors on fire, but, yeah. like... Check out your, uh, check out your dye. Make sure it's clean enough. Did you lick it? I didn't lick it, no, because I don't want to... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And I'm not vaccinated, so you know. I don't, I don't know. Ugh, I have a mirror over here. Unvaccinated, screws. Come on now. I'm pretty certain at work. Um, they're changing it too. So like, if you are vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask anymore. There, I got you a, a, a chooch chooch. Alright. Chooch yes, those loose. And then also like customers don't have to wear masks anymore. Like in a couple of weeks, I think. Walmart already started that shit. You know? Yep. Walmart already started that. Yep. Said? If you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. I, mean, I guess it's good, but at the same time, it's down for reverse, right? Yeah. yeah take them out, rotate them. How yeah. many degrees? De- de- I guess it's good, but like at the same time. Wait, does that one have to be rotated? Which one? Yeah. Mine has to be rotated. Yours has to be rotated too. Yeah, right? yeah, because they're they're mounted. Yeah, because you're you're mounted weird. Yep. Oh, hey, Frozen. What's up, Preston? Hello, Preston. Using, ow! We're doing using some power tools. Yeah, we're doing some CPU hops, hopscotch. Uh, you might want to put a cap on there. Then you can in there. I just noticed that. Yeah, that's fine. Just put it up here. Using power tools. My computers. No worries. Yeah, we should be able to just go like this, right? Yep. All right, cool. Were you on the outer or the inner? The only one will fit, dude. Okay, good call. It's idiot proof. Pretty much. Nobody makes a better mountain solution than Noctua. Nobody? Even Linus says that... Nobody? Nobody. nobody. And, and any, any brand that makes a good, knock, a good mounting solution, if you notice, it was after Noctua made theirs, and they look awfully similar to Noctua's, which oh. Noctua is A-OK with. I think at one point Noctua was even like, hey, if you guys just want our design, like, we can just... I don't, I don't feel comfortable... Uh... With the... well, it's to a hard mount. Okay, man, I want to strip something. All right. It's fine. It's fine. It's Six too many iPhones in my day. You know, you strip some. <laughs> There's a difference sticks. between a, a, a Philips negative and... twelve yeah. or ne- neg- double negative zero and yeah. a Philips two. Strip some micro sticks bits and oh yeah, you can't get that. I don't know how you guys strip those. Like you put the thing in there. I mean, I don't even. Vertically. We don't even use new screws anymore. What the fuck? <laughs> we have like probably twenty-five trays of like screws that come with these repair kits. I don't know. I'm pretty why, careful. Why make do sure, you like, not? It's there. So. Like that's the one thing I can't agree with. Now the other thing, if yeah. you remember in the past, I would still keep the old screws because sometimes you'd go to get a new screw and it wouldn't be there, or you lost it or something, and you could go back and use the old screw. But if you have new screws, I agree. Use new screws. Now, if you didn't have new mm-hmm. screws, don't. I did a 12 the other day, too. It was the first hey, one to do that. that. Fuck that phone. Even worse? Have they gotten even the worse? The adhesive took me 45 minutes just to pry off. Well, what about the rest of the stuff? Easy. So the Adhesive, you literally, I was like chipping it, away at the chassis. It's even more yeah. uh, waterproof. And that was after I stuck it in the Easy Bake Oven for 15 minutes or whatever it was. Oh, are Easy Bake Oven now? Yeah, you put the thing in the tray and you slap nice. it in there and then it heats up and... And then the tray gets really fucking hot. You pull the thing out and yada yada. All right, what are you using? Are you using the H2? Yeah, we'll use that. We're using this for this guy. So this will come apart it. in a couple months, so. Well, then why don't you use the other stuff? Don't well, use the good stuff. Thermal Grizzly is way more expensive. Oh, really? All right. Yeah, and we have a tube the size of, like... Yeah, we got the... Want your, want your COVID shot squares? Got it right there for you. I'm immune. All right, you're doing this. Oh, this is yours. This, I'm, I'm this is yours. Chicken all right. You're eating chicken. All right. All right. I'll. I'll. I. This has been cracked open. You use this on something. Or maybe knock to it. No, I'll probably only use it once on one thing. All right. I'm. I'm just. It just gets a pee. What? what which one is this? That's it's the forty-nine thirty. Oh yeah, this doesn't need much. It's just, this is just. It this is a, This is like a. This is a cool runner processor, anyways. It, it is overclocking right now. Maybe you got a clock to 4.3. That's good enough right there, right? Yeah, it should be. Maybe give her a little bit more. Give her, just give her a... I suppose. Didn't uh, Gamers Nexus say... There you go. Can't 
You can't go too much. Yeah. The issue, only issue, well, you can go too much, but you, you have to go, go like, too right, much. because it has to go over the edge of, like, as long as it doesn't go past this, yeah. you're good. If it starts going, like, into the socket, into the socket which yeah. you need, like, a lot. Now, there is a direction that that needs to be mounted. Let it read knock to it. All right, nope, it... Knock to that way, or do, which way do you want it? I think it needs to go... I don't know. I just bombed. bombed. Yeah. Exactly. <clears throat> oh, oh, you can see it. You can see it. Look, this side's more rounded. See? Than that side. I don't see shit. You see, like, the back a little bit of a bend right there in a spin. You see how this side's dirtier, though, see? Yeah. Right there? Yeah. Whereas this side's perfectly round. I probably just didn't do a very good job so cleaning it. It goes like... How that. I thought it went. Yeah, alright. Yeah. Excellent. Alright. So we're gonna line me up here. Cause yeah. Excuse me, guys. Uh, do we need... Attack of the burps. Because uh, this doesn't look like these are gonna line up. Do you need a different mount? What? Is this... Just eyeball it right here. You see how the screws... Aren't gonna go match up to the screw holes. So I have one that's gonna be there, and the other's not gonna. So, you, do you have a different mount? You have the different mount. Yes, that's right. The Intel one. This is the AMD bracket. Duh. Hold on. Where did I put that? I put it away in the box. All right. See, we caught this beforehand. See? Gotta think of these things. No, not in here. That's those are right. Are you sure? According to this box, because here's AMD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's AMD. That's what you're using already. But we have to take the one off. Remember? For no. mine. So are those the correct ones there? What do we have to take off? There's nothing we, to take off over here. On mine, I mean. Yeah, but no, there's nothing to take off on this one. Get one yeah, but I'm pretty certain we had to get different brackets. No, no, no. But that. this can't have that because it's 2011. Yeah. It's built into the CPU yeah, socket. Just eyeball it. When you go there, you're not yeah, going to line, line up. Enough. Yeah. So, you know what you do then? Hmm. There's nothing on the bottom of that, right? Do you replace it? Yeah, it's replace okay. it. Nice and we'll it that way. I think I know what happened. Yeah. I didn't move the thing correct then. I got it. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right. I'm just an idiot. I know what you're talking because I didn't go there. That's not going to work for me because. Yeah. Do we have to move the whole. Is that wider or skinnier? It should be skinnier. That's what I'm thinking. I'm going to try a bolt. Okay, hold on a second. Did I just put that on wrong? Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm dumb! Because when you switch it from this way, like yeah. the way you had it would be correct going this way. Because it had to go in going this way. Yeah. But remember, we had to turn the cooler it's too. It's to be an M. Are you looking at it from the. Uh, and you get the other way that this makes sense is if you look, there's more room going this way on the socket. Yeah. There is not more room going for it to come away. I got those. Just I'm just putting them. Yeah, my hand tighten them. Don't worry about it. Good enough for that guy. Good enough for that guy. He's good enough. Alright. By the way, these, these drill bits guys, these 4 Which, millimeter thick Felipe 2s. Yeah, I'm going to keep dropping that thing. Why not just put it away? There's don't a worry about it. Right don't there. Worry about it. You just, yeah, just, Alright. This way, right? Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Alright. Alright. Oh, Profist. There, should load it up now, right? Alright, hold on a second. Look at that. Alright, hold it's on. It's like I've Keep installed Nocto coolers before. Keep holding her. Alright, I'll get the other one. And then, well, you know, I'm just let her rip. Alright, I'll at least get it there so you can go. And then, yeah. This is a fair, man. I'm doing like non mechanical battery powered stuff here. Alright, hand tighten. And those are tight. God dang, look at this guy. I got drills, man. Now, uh, normally, we would want push-pull. Yeah, you don't got that, though. I, well, I do. 
The fan's right there. On the side fan. Oh. So we can do push pull. Which way? Uh, that, right? Or do you yeah. want it backwards? Do you want, the, you want... Yeah, yeah, we want it this way. Like that. Okay. Um, now, I would actually say to do push pull, but I really don't care, because remember, this is coming apart in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So That's there's no point in whatever, how long we're going to take. Yeah. This is this point. This guy in here. Because this is only going to be, like, the server's going to get built, right? Yeah. And this is only going to be together long enough to get the data from this to the new server. Well, Mike's here or not, but... Thanks! For snatching that processor. Oh, we got, who we got here? You got Grace Stash. Hey, that's a different friend. That's the Squeers. Right there. You have a PC friend and a Pokemon friend? Well, technically, like, Jared would be a PC friend, too. He just hasn't had to come over here to do PC. Yeah, PC he tanks. He doesn't have that much money to... And uh, Squeers stuff. has been over here for Pokemon things, too. He, he's, he's the one here that comes over here, opens one pack, and pulls, like, a freaking Secret Rare, and then walks Hi. away, because he's like, you know, I'm done. I don't, I don't, pew, know, pew. I don't know shit about Pokemon. It was like before my time. One of these is what we need, isn't it? One of these, because these were my parts. Over yes, here. I believe so. Are they the same? I think so. I mean, this is yours, right? Yeah, you can pop that on there. And then, all right, this guy's got to go in here. Yeah, these are the same here. Just take one set of these, pop that fan. Well, you're gonna have to eyeball it because you know how good I am at this stuff. Oh, wait, that has to be clipped down there first. Okay, yep. Hold on a second. See, this is why I wouldn't have done it myself. Well, do this because put these on first. These have to go on first. I I don't know how to do that stuff. All right. Let me just hold the fan. Yeah, right there. Um, like this stuff. Did you pull off any fan girls off the of mine originally? No. No, because it was in the middle. It didn't have fan girls. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. yeah. You're correct. Okay, that goes like a, like a so, right? Yep. Yep. And then this guy goes away. like a. So, and you can see how this sits. It just sits a little lower. Mm -hmm. And how much of a more of a bitch it's going to be to get this on. Yeah, because you're 26 here. Right Do you have... You want to use these guys? And I'll Hold just kind of hold it. Hold on. Make sure that this doesn't pop off. Yep. Now move your hand. Hold on a second. I think that's on there very well, but I think it is okay. Hold on a sec. Oh, oh, there we go. The 2060. Yeah, that looks, I, that looks fine. I think I pushed it on there a little bit, but it was. I think I think that'll last me like a month. That it's needed. Well, by the way, guys, well, we, got um, the, we got a fan back up though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right here. I do have a second one. It's it's, but it's on this fan panel. Oh my god, that's not. It's light. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, light. Ha ha ha. Right. Well, yeah. yeah. So that, that will be corrected, but by when that will get corrected is when this switches to Ryzen. Where is your zip tie that? Or do you not even want to uh, bother with open that? Open the thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. How many do you want? Just two. Whatever holds it. One. Well, probably do it here, and then another down here, because you had. Like here, 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 and like here. So I mean, this is technically how it goes. I'm pretty damn certain. Yeah, you can just do one in the corner. It'll probably hold it like one right, right and there. Then there with the rest of the bundle. Yeah, because this will have to get mostly pulled apart. Because yeah. there's a whole different motherboard and everything going on here eventually. You know. Yeah. Just kicking my keys. That's cool. Then I'll have to buy an NVMe drive. Sure, it's been. Sure, it's been kicked around. I'm debating. Yeah. Should I just buy a 980 Pro? When I get a, new, a drive for this, because technically with 2600, it won't be PCI Express 4, but if I ever drop a better processor in there, it will be PCI Express 4. Uh, that broke off, one of the top things. That's yeah. the spot where it goes, so. Okay. I gotta read something. That's I just guess fine. it needs to be future proof, but like, aren't they talking about PCI, S or PCI Express 5.0 now already, too? Well, yeah, but for not next... for SSDs. Like, oh, really? Well, maybe, eventually, but, like, we just got PCI Express 4, right? Yeah, I was going to say, now, next generation Intel will have... DDR5 is going to come way before yeah. uh, PCI Express 5. Well, ah, pinch myself, don't worry. And you got to remember, um, besides the 3090, nothing even gets close to using the bandwidth of 
even PCI Express 3. Does that look good enough? Yeah, it looks great. All right, so now we're just going to put yours back together, and then should we should we boot her up and make sure she works first? Uh, we can do that. Yeah, because... Well, yeah, if you, if you look, that. by the way, the whole point of this D14S... Since that's your server. Yeah, but is you could put a push-pull on here and not interrupt. You see that they just made it not interrupt the fans yeah. I mean, or the RAM slots. It worked pretty well, I think, up until 3900X, and then I think this was like... Well, you went from 6, six cores, cores to 12, 12 cores. yeah. <laughs> I wanted a kick in the ass, all right? And yeah. then I went from 12 to 12, because I'm a dumb. Well, best luck in a 5950. Well, uh, Mike almost had one, apparently, recently. That's funny. Those are a lot more though too. Like yeah, they're, they're over a grand. Over a grand? Yeah. Aren't they supposed to be seven fifty? Oh yeah, no, no, no. My, yeah, my brain's messed up. By the time I have something that actually utilizes sixteen cores, I think it'll probably be. An anti Doesn't this one boost crap. higher? What does it go to? No, I thought the I thought that the thirty nine hundred boost higher was the thirty nine fifty boost higher. Thirty nine fifty boost or the uh, for, the fifty nine hundred boost higher. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Yeah. Is so for your gaming mainly use. With some so, dabbling so more base stuff. clock, it's 3700 megahertz versus 3800. Um, but I think the 3900 boosted to 46, this boosts to 48. So, if I remember correctly. Yeah, the brackets are, are kind of a pain in the butt. Luckily with Noctua, yeah. I mean, it, it do, if you think about it, Spears, it does make sense with the bracket. Yeah. We had to turn the cooler 90 degrees, so it probably have to make sense to turn the bracket 3.7 base, 4.8 gigahertz max boost core. That's one core, though. Yeah. All cores like four two, I think. So. Okay. Oh. Um. And even then, it's just gonna be melting your shit. So, all right, should we put her back together then? Yeah, I gotta hit the bathroom real quick. This one. Um, right, where are the uh, filters? I don't know, Bolton. Okay. Where's the top covers? Here's the filters. All right. Doesn't matter what goes where. You line up with the screws. I don't know if I want to. Other way? Yeah, I'm going on a five pound. It's got double opening it. Mm. These are okay though? Just like that? I only got, that one's a side pound one as well. Is there a specific way that you like to have these facing? Mm, I think usually they go like that. Silverstone mm -hmm. facing down. Towards the, the back. Bathroom real quick. Yeah, buddy. I put it back together and... Yeah, but be aware, don't do the back panel. There's like a wonky way that has to go on. All right. Does the back, uh, back panel's got that little exhaust thing, I think you said. Yeah. 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 Back it. I can't see the stream. Brackets will make anyone look like a clown. Yeah. Honestly, I make myself look like a clown. A lot of dumb mistakes. It's been a long time since I've consistently built computers. Just wait for Pro Fist to get back.
Nobody's hoo 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 in about. I'm assuming this goes here. Just sold a final mouse uh, ultralight two. Yep. Hundred and seventy-three dollars for my new inbox one. Probably sold it to Drew. Hundred and seventy-three fifty. Um yeah, I don't know. That's the back, right? Because that's got yeah. a little exhaust. Okay. Yeah. So you got this guy connector here. Where did this guy connect you? You have this like that. It goes to the side panel thing, right there. Okay. Yeah. Like that. Okay. That's a, that's not attached to anything, so that flops out on the side. Here, what you do, Scrooge? Yeah, There's yeah. enough slack. No, 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 no. Here, watch. This goes right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just plug it in. Yeah. And you tuck it in right there. See? This is why I didn't put the, the doors on. I hoot boo. The, the screws. Is that a Squeers computer? No, 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 that's Elliot's server. Slash home theater PC. But we had to pull the, the cooler out of here because it's chonk compared to my. Yeah, it's a dual tower. Here. Yeah, I mean, it is this, significantly bigger. This, here, we got it. Here, this by comparison. By comparison. Yeah. Yeah, because Ryzen runs fucking hot. Well, and you have 12 cores versus what's going to eventually be in here. Actually, what currently is in here is 6. And what's going to be in here is 6 even more efficient cores. So, it does... 2600 cores? Yeah. On? Eventually. we got to do a bit of hopscotching on... Yeah, you don't even have... Jesus Christ. You don't even have support anymore for this guy. No. This is an unsupported platform. Yeah. It's a dead processor. And by by the time my desktop gets to Threadripper 3, yeah. you know what PC is going to be my repair PC then? Mm. X99 with a 6900K. That's going in as your repair PC? Yep. Oh, shite. Well, yeah, yeah, but that's, that, that's almost unsupported now, too. That's Broadwell, isn't it? Yeah. yeah so that's yeah, yeah, basically that's, unsupported, that's too. That's basically unsupported, yeah. <laughs> Let's Think about that. A 6900K that can beat even second gen Ryzen. Overclock. Yeah, I assume it goes up here. Uh, no, no, it goes plugs in right there. Ah! But you See? gotta do a little loop de loop with the. That's a fat motherfucker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to push, yeah. push, pull fans. We're going from two fans to three. Oh, and I, I do have the second fan to put in here, but. Being that this system is only going to be together in this state for the l the less time the better, you know what I mean? Um, put this in here. What's that? It's the other mounting thing for. Oh, did you already put it on here? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Derp. All right. Well, put the back thing on. We'll put this guy on. See, I forgot something. Big hey Preston, do I do I buy a Corsair 4000D for when I build rebuild the home theater PC? So I'm I'm kind of considering. 4000D is that, 4000D. that the case that Preston has? No, he's got the 350D and the okay. 750D is over there. The 4000D is the new version of the uh, 550D or 450D. So it's like I have the bigger one. 750D is bigger. Yeah. The 350D is smaller. This one's got your other fan clips in here. Okay, the other one to keep them. Yeah, because I will need yeah. them at some point. And then the, that also has the other clip. All right, for your cooler. Because they it's sent this too. Because we probably they probably knew we would. Yeah, it's one. in your AMD one. So even though you have Intel right now. And eventually it's gonna be AMD. Yeah, I gotta grab that AMD bracket for it. Eventually. Here. All right. So. Uh, do you want to do it the other way since it's there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. How does that go? Just like. Yep, lines up like that. Mm -hmm. And then you just one, one blade, and you just like, and that's it? There should be more. Uh, whatever it makes it clip on. Okay. Nice and tight, like. Uh, oh, look. Oh, see, this is why I didn't put them on. I just slid the thing on there and said, yeah. fuck it. Yeah. Alright, hold on a second. You gotta put this guy in there, too. Yep. It's gray, though. I'm sorry. Uh, the rest, it'll, it'll match my build. I got gray in my build. Fucking screws. Is it gray and black? 
green black build. That screws dust out of there. Or do I also just, I could just chuck the new motherboard and stuff in here. Oh, nice. Yeah. That snaps on there nicely. Yeah, it's... The why house. didn't I do that? Eh, you know. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, why, I'm lazy. Why we didn't originally do it is because for whatever reason, his kit didn't originally come with, came with the, yeah, the okay. correct and pieces. And also got, all my shit got stuck in customs. Yes. Why are we, what are we hitting? Oh, oh, uh, I see we got an issue now here. What'd you do? Did you pull screws where I put the front no, thing on? No, we can't. There? With this side panel paint on, I cannot have the cover on. Ah. Um, mm. So we either have the option of taking that off, which is probably what I'm going to do for now. Can you? That didn't sound good. Can you, you got to take that guy off too? Yep, because it's, it's the height difference. This is hitting That's that. Dumb. Now when it gets rebuilt, it might be in a different case. It's, it may be with a different set of fans. Dumb, It'll probably end up with that top part on, you know. But yeah, yeah. For now, um, I'd rather have a side panel fan so that my 2060. Well, no, the big reason why I need a side panel fan is remember there's a raid card in there that doesn't have a fan on it. Because the yeah, fan that was on it goes, Wee! That's going to be warm. All right, well, there we go. And I decided for a home theater PC, I didn't want my raid card to be going, Wee! Out there with a 3900? Uh, yeah, it goes on top of that saber tooth box there. Do you don't want me to throw it in with the 3900? No, no, it doesn't. It goes here. This is currently the system. That your boyfriend? Yes. This is confirmed. Squeers is lazy. Well, thank you, Whiskey. I wouldn't say boyfriend. More like work, husband slash wife. I don't really care which I am. Whichever, you know, it's fine. So this guy we can go on. pop back. Oh, let's put those panels back on. Here go. Yeah. What are you going to do with this broke-ass screw? I got to re re glue it on me. Who's gonna wear? I'll show you. Okay. Welcome to the stream. Eventually, we will test out a 5900. It's already in the. For her lunch. Uh, we're out of space, so. She's put it on the chair eat. or on the bed or. She won't eat there. She will definitely eat there. This is true. Come here. Put it right there. She will eat right there. Can you eat here? Sure. Let me get this out of the way so that she doesn't have a. We'll see. Reverse vacuum. Yeah. Prodding her. That's what I used to around. clean out my dryer vent. It was awesome. Yeah? It blasted it right through. See, she won't eat there. She has to eat on the table. Well, there's too much stuff on the table for her. Well, move your stuff. <laughs> right, she eats right there by the ranch dressing, David. All right. We'll put her over That's here. That's the rule. And I don't make that up. That's true. All right. Do you need the ranch here, dressing can, anymore? No. Can you put this... She's going after the coffee, apparently. Yeah. Right. There you go. Thanks, that's, that was, those are real rough. I'll eat the rest of it. I just, to eat that. I don't think she wants to eat. I, uh, I think she wants to be part of the stream. Is that one we don't know? We pulled it out of the fridge half full. You gonna eat? It was like that one. You gonna eat, baby kitty? Yeah, it hmm? was like that. So we don't really trust it, because... I'll get the coffee out of the way. So you got room to sit down. Here we are. So, all right. here, this is where. Ah, uh, so I just gotta get the makes sense. super glue. Makes sense. Truth, yeah, I know you're not gonna eat. You need privacy, right? Let's how the bathroom. She can't. She can't eat while there's a camera stream. Well, no, it's because we're we're. Problem. In here? Oh, I see. Here, come to the bathroom. Poor kid. She's very self-conscious. Yeah, she's fine in there. Alright, so... 
Yeah, this is my ghetto way of making metallic standoffs for. It works, I suppose. You put on there or you on the screw? Usually, we fill the screw up. If our super glue isn't. Are you supposed to be at work today, J uh, Jared? Are you streaming from work? Or are you off today? Our, uh, Super Bowl might be... Dead? Um, yeah. Plugged? Breaking it all. There you go. Yeah, I might have to chop the tip off. Fuck no, I am off. I'll be working a whole lot coming up. Yeah, it's because everybody's fired and or quitting. You know, don't worry about it. Plus, we got those extended hours now. Ah, we got some super glue popping out now. All right, there you go. And I don't really want to since it's like four hours for 570. Yeah, yeah, that does kind of suck. Back to like part-time, part-time hours. I think it could be worse. You'd be doing like uh, Taylor's 10 to 8s, what they were talking about making them do. Granted, he needs the money, though. Those, those fucking suck. Back on the bag. Okay, I don't think she had all the truth. There's too much excitement going on. And I know she swiped some of my chicken strip in my juice. So. Yeah? Mm -hmm. She likes it, you know? See, that's the thing, though, is if I rebuild another case, I don't think I would need as big of a computer for the whole theater piece anymore. So I could go micro e though. stuff. I won't see the most beautiful, the most beautifulest and most handsome man alive, D-Rock. I'll just have to spend it with Taylor and me. Oh, I'm sorry, man, you know? She is doing a, a crinkle, yeah. She's over there having fun on that bag that I carried everything in with. I should probably just put the gloves on first while we wait for it to uh... dry. Move it out of the way so it doesn't get damaged. Set it up here. All it does ah. is it's drying. Okay. Well, this is the end one. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, besides that one. Well, I would say what. I gotta buy more super glue. Uh, can I put the server back, please? Well, we'll take that out yes, we can put the server back. Oh, uh, plug it back in. Get the other cover, bring it on out. Sounds good, Lusky.
should be. Yeah, so if anyone's looking for a, a system based on a 4930 or a system based on a 3930, I got, I'll have two of those coming up for the next couple months. You have a 3930 available as well? Yeah, because that, the, the one over here with the, yeah. that's got a 3930 in it. Jesus. Remember that eventually that'll become um, X99. Just gonna pull the plate off, I wonder. Yeah, you know what, for the case out there, I'll probably just stick with my Define. This might actually R5. pull the back plate off. Yeah, probably. Did you think about sticking your hand back there so it wouldn't fall? Or a piece of tape? Or uh, so the only issue I'm seeing right now is we must have a different mounting bracket for this, correct? Because it won't go that way. Yes. It only goes that way. So where's your box for your M4 mount? Oh, I see. No, that part's going to be the same. Yeah. Hold on, let me just see if the plate fell. Yeah, it probably did. Ah, uh, no, it is rotated though. What's up? No? Don't follow any of that stuff, no? Yeah. Adhesive underneath, so we can stick it on the back side there. But uh, yeah, I see it. Well, that's how it comes. That's a protective thing to make it so the metal doesn't touch the back of the. Piece oh, of okay. Well, so you need the yeah, you need the other bracket arms. So where's your AM4 bracket box? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. You, you need those still too. The things yeah, that you just pulled off. Should be in here. Before. And yeah, yeah, they want you to use the white ones and those screws instead of. Let's make sure those screw into here though first. Yep. 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 Yeah. yeah, so it's probably the black ones and white go with one type of cooler and then the. the you know the. You know what I mean? Like the. Let's keep going. Alright, hold on a sec. Okay, you're gonna need them out. The plate has to go on top of that too. Yeah, which way does it need to go then? Yeah, it depends on the way it goes. It's this way. Is that way correctly? Yeah. Uh, no, of course I'm working with I mean, I like it. I like it. Oh, this way. It's the same width either way. Okay. I'm gonna pull this out. Okay, there. So. Oh, 
it was too short. So what's in your other knocker box that you got there? So that's the knock, that's the back that's plate the, right here. Uh, the back plate. Okay, that's in your Chromax box. So you know you put stuff in there. Just those. Yeah. Oh, I've got two more sets of Noctua brackets. Yeah. Three and four. So. This is we're missing something from yours. That's what it's all I got. Okay. Yeah, that looks like we're missing quite a bit of stuff from your set. Yeah, I'm pretty certain all I have. That's a M4 set. Yeah. Let me go check. Look in the bottom of your thing, maybe. Oh, and here's a different one. So okay, I mean, so I think, I think I gave here, you all the this this setup yeah. is for mine. Okay. Or for that box is okay. So all your mount pieces need to go with your box. Wait, is this your new box or your old box? It's the new box. With your... Oh, so that's why this isn't working. Yeah. Why? Because this is the one from the... The 12S. Oh. Or from the from the, the D14S, U14S, not the... Yeah, not the... Yeah, you already gave me the boxes for the... Yeah. NHD15. Yeah. I believe, right? Well, I gave you the boxes for... My previous school is the, the 14. That's yes. So. So unless the stuff I need is in there. Well, you, yes, because your AM4 mount would be with this, unless you kept it separate. You know, I, think, I think there's two different AM4 mounts. Let's check. So I have, I have two different ones right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. So... We have this AM4 mount. This is a AMUXS AM4 mount. And then this is a AM4 mounting kit. So see a whole bunch of different stuff in this one. Is this the other ones? You have these. What else I got of these? Well, no, you had the other ones no, that the other ones. didn't fit. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's, is that the same as this, though? That's the question. No, I don't believe so. Correct, they're a little bit longer. Yeah, so okay, so let's see here. Oh, okay, is this the same as this though? Okay. That's my question. Just because I'm going to need a set of these for, for yours as well. For more, mine as well, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's not the same. So what do you need? I need your kit. Because remember, it goes mm -hmm. the other way. So I need that stuff. Mm -hmm. Not your back plate, but your standoffs, yeah, yeah, your yeah. mounts, your screws. screws. So I need this box. Yeah. Or no, is this? That's the one that you gave me. Okay, so I need this, these, and put those in there. Yeah, that's the box that you gave me. Yeah. So I just. No. And then you need one of these two. I'm not sure which one. Okay. But because um, this this is the one they shipped to me today. Okay. And I ordered parts for the D15S. I told them I need D15S. I need the mount for the D15S. And but then I have, I have this box that I ordered separate from Newegg. Mm -hmm. That you know it was kind of like a just in case knocker couldn't get into us sort of thing. Because mm -hmm. it was like eight bucks or something like that. So which ones were, are we going to use them? Uh, whatever one makes your cooler go in the direct correct direction. So I'm assuming. But the, yeah, that if you look. Are there two of them? U, 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 X, X. How about we go to Newton and knock to his website and determine yeah. which set we need for it? Da, 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 da.
Flat Earth Bill. Is that your boyfriend? Yep. Totes. I said I was the work husband. Okay. My wife. Um, Noctua.at. And now we're doing D15S. Yep. I mean, we definitely have enough brackets here that I'm sure one of them works, you know? Yeah. One of them works, who cares? Uh, we just gotta figure out which yeah. one that is. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're streaming and recording at the same time. Mm -hmm. It does that. CPU compatibility, there you go. Manufacturer AMD AM4 uh, D900X needs the N8 NM AM4. That's this one here. That's the super complex one. Yeah, so then this one's got to be for mine. Okay. I would think, right? I would assume so. I'm assuming it's probably these two middle guys. Yeah, we'll try them out. Otherwise, we have this box too. I mean, all we really have to do is just test it out here in the back plate. Yep. Get out of here. Make sure she fits. And make sure you leave with that. <laughs> Get that. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like. Mm -hmm. It's a bit confusing when we have like. Uh, and this is a tremendous amount of. Okay, I'm all a big dirt. How'd you get these guys out of here? Before? Just grab them. I just stuck my finger in there. Yeah, well, apparently it's not working that way for me. I need to shred in the box. No, 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 the box is fine. I'm just moving the things. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Alright, so then. I'm gonna go like this. Yep, that uh, looks right. That There's looks new right. brackety dudes for it too. Do we have to put these on? I don't know. I don't think so. Because we could just screw it here. I mean, that's that. Yeah, but this might have different spacing than. How about we consult this manual that's right here? Yeah, 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 that works. Yeah. Alright. So. Okay, so we want them focused in. Yeah. Like this? Okay. Right here. Okay. Um, what do you use for the uh, spacers? What does it say? There's the only ones? one set of placers. The gray, the gray ones? Okay. Yeah, but and they, they're saying we do have to. The following coolers already use the SMF or compatible brackets. D14, D15, D15S. So you already have the compatible brackets on there. Okay, yeah, so we're good. Yeah, right, excellent. Because this seems like they finally made a more generic kit. Yeah. It looks like this kit has all the pieces to make all the coolers sure. work. You just need these Whereas pieces. the other kit that I have, I think only makes that U14S yeah. work. That's probably why it says U and then S with a X for the number in there. You know, hold it. Don't worry about it. So I, I think we're probably gonna need the bigger ones. Yeah. Just these guys right here. That one. We tested that with backplate yet? No. I'm trying to get these. I do appreciate that Noctua just reuses AMD's backplate because a lot of the brands like reinvent this. It's a hunk of metal. Like, why would you reinvent like? AMD's like, here, have a hunk of metal. And other brands, like, Corsair are like, Yeah. And, uh, 
Use our plastic back plate. What? what? That's why we like Noctua. Here at and then when they don't have a metal back plate, like on the lower end of Intel, it provide they provide you with a metal back plate. All right. You just can't deal with that box, can you? No. You're just a big effing dirt. Alright, this is mine then? Yeah, that is yours. I'll throw that in there with the Chrome X one, then everything else you can just keep as long as this works. Yep. Alright, thank you. Well, no, you need the other box too. Which other one? The, that one. This is yours, that's for sure. From the D15. Okay, okay, you say so. And I'm thinking those AMD brackets that are in there were for the older AMD. You know, the, you know, the good ones back in the... Back in the bulldozer days. Back when AMD oh, was great. at its yeah, best. Yeah. yeah, wonderful. Yay. Bulldozer AMD. Mm -hmm. Wait, what am I thinking? You gotta put the dude Yeah, I'll try to put these guys on first and then I'll take it off. That way we don't have to keep taking them. Well, you have to. I have to hold it either way because as soon as you take any screw out, it, like if I let go right now, it'll just fall. I don't think I will. Because in order to put that bracket on, you gotta. Take those screws out. Yeah, but I'm gonna put this guy on. Put one on. Remember, it goes, no, it goes the yeah, other way. That's right, that's right. Yeah, I can see through a little crack in the pan. Okay? But I'm. Oh, my God. like all you have to is. Yeah, just tell if I like the right now. Which... <laughs> yeah, you're probably right. We have a little loose, but yeah. Teamwork. Grab that drill and just cinch her up right away. Burp, burp. I need this one right first. Yeah. Look at this. Look at this chunk right there, though, man. That's blocked by a fan. Yeah, well, hopefully that's good because it's, it's cooling. Uh, it looks like it's a giant pizza fan, too. For the PRMs, right? I don't know. Like, literally, it's blocked by a fan. Oh, I can't okay, see. Okay, okay. Like, I, I have a little, like, yeah, well, <laughs> a little, little tiny window. window. Alright. The green one's good enough. We're not yeah, going to torque the set, shit yeah, out of it. It's set good. Yeah, I actually put it on the screw, though. Okay, we're good. Keep going until it clicks. There you go. It'll stop itself. I would set it correctly. It's about it's about pinky tight. Maybe maybe ever so slightly more than pinky tight, but not much. Okay. Good enough. There you go. Good enough. All right. Hey, we did it. Alright, so now let's add all We just up. had to get the correct bracket. By the way, guys, if you don't buy one that comes with AIM4 support, contact Noctua. They will send you the thing. And luckily, when did this come in? Yesterday. That looks like it was good. Yeah, and do you see how that, that easily do you see how that easily clears your GPU now though? Like Yeah. Where the other one was kind of inching oh. in on that area? And then it easily clears the RAM too, so this RAM will get some additional cooling in too, I suppose. Yep. Alright, let's uh... Yeah, that's why, look at the S. Do you see how it's got the cutouts here for the yeah, RAM? Yeah. The D15 does not have those. And it's, you see how it's offset a little bit this way? Like, mm -hmm. even the pipes are a little bit longer here than there. The other one is not. It's symmetrical. Mm -hmm. So, like, it's resting on your GPU, essentially. Yeah, yeah. Any special trick for this Ryzen? So just P, P, X. I will probably want a little more, though, don't we? Because these things... No? Just I mean, the 1366, your 2011 CPU did is bigger than Ryzen. Yeah. I mean, I would still do P says. The other one I wasn't too concerned because it's, uh, that's probably good. Because it's, uh, you gotta let me still poop on there. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> All right. Just a yeah. big old, big old dookie on there. All, All right. right. Tighten your down. Grab it, your drill. And the zipper. The drill. Do a little twist yet, because you know, just yeah. in case we want to spread it around. And we can't even see if anybody's watching. All right, sounds good. Don't worry about it. The other side too. Make sure she screws in. There she goes. Nice. She's good. Woo woo. Right. Just hand tighten it, check. Where'd my coffee go? Uh, I moved it to the window so oh. the scourge was up there. Where did you. Yeah, this guy. Right, there we go. Double check. Oh, yeah, she's good. 
Oh yeah, those, she's good. Dude, those those uh, snap on, man. I got those set set the pretty darn thing up. Alright, so then what what how are we doing these guys? Mm-hmm. Okay, oh, first off, here. that one needs to go in the middle. Oh, this guy's way too tall. Is this the bigger of the ones? No. Uh, that needs to go in the middle though, so we might have to loosen her in the back side. Yep. Sorry, fans. This one right. Just need a little bit more slack and we can get it. Maybe she can not. That's Hold on a second. I got her. You got Okay. Okay. Uh, I might not have her going the other way though. Nope. We just need that little bit more. Mm-hmm. Uh, a little bit. I, like I said, we just need a little bit more slack. So give yeah. me just a. I don't think we can. Cause so un, un, tie wrap it. Uh, we're, we're, you tricked. Alright. You not. You uh, right snap here. the tie wrap. Yeah, hold on. Blue. And there we go. Like this. It's still on the slack. That's all I got, man. I'm giving her all I got. No, it's, it's right here, right? This one? Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't tell because... That's the one. I can see it. Okay, so there's still more slack. There we go. Oh, there we See? Bam. Now look at that. It. Now that kind of goes right there, like 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 I did down there in the shoulder, you know what I mean, right there? Me. Wait, don't we gotta put the thick boys in right there? No, or? that's the rear one that gets that. All right, all right. Put put these guys back. So here we got front. So that means I should put thick boys on this guy. Yes. Is that eight fifteen in that thing too? Yeah, they're all three are eight fifteen. Is this gonna fit in the back? Yeah. Yeah, so watch this. Like we just smoking. just put it right there. Bam! This is supposed to line up at the top of that. So okay. that looks to me like she fits like a glove. All right. Like well, we're resting it down there. Yeah. We're resting on it. You know what yeah, I mean? We're resting. Maybe, on maybe maybe what you do is you just bring her up just a just a. All right, and then the thick boys go on this side. Yeah, because right? that way the fan isn't. Because on this side you have the you have this. Yeah. So if you notice, the thick ones are the exact thickness more yeah. that this. Uh, frame is good. because are... otherwise you get buffeting if I recall. Yeah. You want to hold on to those? Those are yours? No, no, those are yours because they're for your fan. In case you ever put that fan anywhere else, I don't know. Not going anywhere else. I know. Staying in this case forever. Oh, we need another 120 mil fan grill, don't we? Yes. All right, I'll go see what I can grow up here. We also need a splitter. For the fans. Oh, I got plenty of those, dude. There's there's actually the, some right in the window. For the front ones. Here. There's actually some right here. Where'd those go? Trying to find out. I didn't touch anything over there. Here, they're right here. Here. Uh, Flare! Ta-da! Hell oh, yeah. And those are probably the front ones we're going to split, right? Uh, we're not really sure. I think that would probably be good, because then they can both just run at the same speeds. I mean, with the hub, they're all running. Yeah, the okay, yeah, good call, good call. So it's just a matter of... I forgot that you already had these two in the back here that I added back in the day. Because otherwise, I mean, this back panel... Those could be a splitter otherwise. They're already too. splitted. Oh, you shit. Look. Well, see nice. right here? They're already... They already have a splitter in them? Yeah, right there, see? Rip. Yeah, because I I forgot oh, I did shit. these. By the way, guys, if you don't have put fans over here... And they fit perfectly, you notice that? They fit, like... Yeah. I just screwed them in. So, like, they should have just put fan grills there. But yeah, otherwise, this back panel, yeah. no airflow. None. Just and they expect cook. you to put a hard drive back here. We'll cook. Yeah. Full power supply would just be cooking. All right, well, we got a splitter. We need that. Put that over there. Should we start mounting the fans then? Uh, well, okay, we need to figure a couple things out here. Okay. So, where's my head back over here? I think that's it. It was up top, yeah. Um,. The reason why I say that is because we probably have to put an extension on that fan. At a minimum. Yeah, yeah, at a minimum it needs an extension, I'm going to guess. Um, so, for the front fans, I see one coming up. And I see two coming up. Right? And see one one's coming up here. Right? And one is here. So those go directly. We can probably just splitter them, put heat shrink on it. Mm-hmm. And uh, we'd be good. I think we need an extension though for this new one. Otherwise, it's not making it. You know what I mean? Shiny lights. Where's the right the audience? See what I mean though? 
I don't think after like this goes through, I wouldn't unplug those yet, but this isn't gonna be long enough to make it from over here mm -hmm. all the way over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, perhaps not. So yeah, this one we can get rid of. I would clip that. On the clipper. Tire up. And we can we can retire up this stuff, no problem, you know. And yes, you need to tire up cutter as a grabber too. Okay, so those two we gotta we got we'll heat shrink them too. We'll get the old heat shrink out and shrink them together, you know. Well, for the meantime, we'll just stick them. So I gotta find an extension, heat shrink, heat gun, and a 120 mil. Yeah. Fan. We'll mount the fannies and grail. Boot her up, I guess. Right, see if see. she does. See if she boots. Well, we can even see the boots now. Like with this mass sink on there, it could go through a boot fan, no problem. Yeah, but I want the fans. <laughs> So. Yeah, did you see how the D15S fits so much better in there though? Because it's that offset, like it's not centered. Mm -hmm. Like it just, and they came out with that like within a couple months of the D15. Like Sony was like, "Oops." <laughs> That's because um, here and now imagine if you now okay sure now, nice. now imagine though if you didn't have the S and you had your top GPU slot was actually in the top slot. Mm -hmm. That it just wouldn't work. Probably clip these guys in then, huh? No, those are the last thing that goes on. Yeah, how are you supposed to put them on with all the fans there, you know, for popping them in there? Oh, yeah. 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 I suppose we get the fans clipped. Yeah. Can you put it on right now, I guess? Yeah, it's not fair. Yeah. Well, you can do that and then clip it around after the, after the fact. Since this is getting clipped here, yeah, clearance. Clearance. we're planning on clipping yeah. that okay. one there Push. and this one here. Push. Yeah. Pull. All right, so then, since we're going to have more clearance on the back, fuck yep. it, we'll put it on the back. I should have this one, too. Yeah, since you're not using, you're using two fans These in. Chromax yeah. things, besides making them look better, yeah. also increase the, no air comes up the sides. Oh, I don't have this clean honey left, I don't think. You do. There we go. There's little clippies on the yeah, top of I noticed that when I was clipping on. Just like the front, you know? I thought I had another right in <laughs> Well, let's go. I'm going to have to this up in the back down. room and try and find a... You know, like real too, apparently. Yeah. Oh! There's a spacer thing he's right here. Well, it looks like it booted up. It's just very confused because it doesn't have internet. Oh, well. I think these gray guys, these gray spacers are yours. These gray spacers right here are yours because yeah, put those the in the boxes. There's two front and one up in the D1. Oh. So down here, I don't know if I can move the camera down at all. Let's see here. In this box that I need a bigger one of, we should have everything we need, theoretically. There's a big old 10 pack of 120 mil fan grills. If these match what Squares already has, we'll use one, otherwise we can pull three from there. And I'll take his two, because you know, it doesn't really matter. Um, we got another A14, A15 PWM, but it's only the 1200 RPM at Ripums. We specifically wanted the 1500 Ripums for uh, Screws is built here because he runs the A14s and the rest of it, and those are 1500 ripums. So that's why we aren't using the, the quieter eight, uh, 1200 ripum that you, you often see with the D15S, I believe it is. And we have some fan extensions, fan splitters, silver drills. 
black grills, bigger black grills. Use this, this needs to come out. This is for the HTPC. I found another A15 from the, the original one from the D15 S. It's the 1200 Ripham one. Mm. Um, that's because that's the S for silent too, so they went with a single mm. quieter fan. Um, the reason why we didn't want that for yours is because your A14s in there are 1500 Rippums, mm -hmm. and that would be very messy for controlling. You'd have two separate fans that run separate speeds when they're essentially the same fan. Are all of them A15s? All, no, these three are A15s now, 1500 Ripums. Mm -hmm. That's why I had to contact Noctua to get one, because that only comes on the D15 or the U14S. That's the only, or you can order black ones now in 1500. But, and we didn't want, I didn't want a black one, because we got, we're running. Oh, well, we got, you know, beige for yeah. everything minus the case. Right. Those are great. So, oh, that. that's why I didn't use this one, even though I have it extra, for those yeah. wondering. Um,. I got a couple different kinds of fan grills. Bear grills, fan grills, you know. Um, I don't know what they were before. So. I, I mean, I, dude, it's, it's, it's a home theater PC slash server. Like, it's mm. not doing much usually. Um... I need to clean this box up. Holy jeez. This is a mess, dude. Yeah. And I got these from Ben. Who got these from Travis. Travis the yeah. uh, S12s. Uh, yeah, that's what he gave me to cover. Because I bought him that all one cooler that he paid me back for. Mm -hmm. Um. And I forget something else that I just get. I'm like, here, just take it because you need like a fan hub or something. And I'm like, dude, I have one at home. Just mm -hmm. he's like, well, how about I give you these? And I'm like, sure, I'll take a set of Noctua's. But I mean, they're a bit dusty. But besides that, are they supposed to be silver cabled like that? Too, uh, that Travis Noctua? paid extra money to have them recently have them sleeved in silver. Silver, which to me it doesn't look good. Yeah, don't worry about because the Reduxes just come with a, a bare cable. Bare cable. Because they're cheaper knuckles. Um, oh, here, here is where the other thing you guys should always pick these up. These are the CP 6 e 4s What these are is they're uh, the flexible capacitated SATA power. You know, like the little brick at the end that does like four on one. Mm -hmm. You got one back here, right there. Mm -hmm. Those things super duper nice. Mm -hmm. um, also, what they do with the capacitor on there is when you first start up your system, you got, say you got eight hard drives in there, and they go, Bleh! the capacitor builds up and then turns them on. So you don't have that quick spike in mm -hmm. power to the PSU. So, but yeah, this box it has all these nice accessories for the stuff that a lot of people don't have. Down here spinning a fan because I'm a derp. Alright, so. Here's the question. Grab your grills right there. Your grills. I might have one that matches it. I grab it. It's okay. ready. It does fit. Perfect. I already grabbed one. Oh, you already grabbed one? I hear. Yeah. yeah. It's fit. It fits perfect. It matches these the same kind? I think them. so, yeah. The wires match up even? Yeah. Yes. Must use, up. must use that same brand then. Yeah. That looks pretty darn close if you ask me. All right. Just because if we didn't, if they didn't match, I have this ten pack here that we could yeah. dipped into. So skills man. right there, skills in there. You got yourself a extension, guys. Uh, nice Noctua's come with extensions. Um, however, where the best place to get extensions is on Amazon. You can get black sleeved ones as long as you don't mind them only being yay long. What are these like eight inches, probably? 
long enough to where it's at. Yeah. You only need the one, right? Yeah, I just keep dropping everything on the floor. Hey, okay, but let's, we'll go like this. We gotta pull it off and heat shrink it, but that's fine. Alright, um... That roll of heat shrink. Oh, we got Noctua bits down here now? Are you sure this isn't the Noctua outlet Oh, these are anti-vibration pads. I don't know why they're over here. But I got, like, it looks like an extra set of white. And maybe are these are some extra gray ones from yours, possibly. I can't see this image. It won't let me down with it. Those might be some extra gray ones. That could be. But maybe those are just extras you had kicking around with those. Yeah, because I was going to, here's why squares end up with gray. Here's the original Reduxus. Do you notice how there's no holes? Mm-hmm. So you can't put the, them on there. I didn't realize yeah. that. Why does it look like the fan blades are broken? That's to reduce uh, the... the that they shoot off parts of the end. No, no, they did that purposefully. Mm-hmm. Because what it does is it, when you, sometimes you'll see notches in the side too. Mm -hmm. That changes the tone, because they can't reduce the noise anymore. Mm -hmm. So what they do is they change the tone of the noise. It's kind of mm -hmm. like a resonator in your car. What they do is they change the tone to be less, and more under the, or, you know, like less noticeable. Because yeah. there's certain tones that you as a human perceive. So you can actually, there can actually be fans that are louder. And Noctua likes to do that, where they may even make their fan a little bit louder, but it's at a tone that isn't perceived as being loud. Mm -hmm. So it's more quiet than a fan. And also their fans tend to get noise from the airflow, not the motor or the bearing or the... Okay. Like most times when you hear... She's going to bump right here. Yeah. It's not anything bad. You got it checked out? Yeah. Okay. All the cats kind of have them. Well, I mean, they're, they're all kind of getting old, aren't they? Yeah. He said it's like a while. Just like a fatty tissue or something. Yeah. I don't know. But my mom's dog has the one. The one pet ranch guy was saying like if if they were gonna have like say Gertrude pretty old, but if they were gonna go for adoption, he tends to remove those because yeah. people are worried when they see that or whatever. My mom's my mom's uh, Springer Spaniel who's like eleven yeah. has like a just a giant fatty tissue on her chest. Yeah. He was over there the other day petting her, and I was like, oh my god, it's it's horrible. It's like the size of a like a softball. My mom's pretty certain she has cancer, so poor dog. He's a sweetheart too. Alright, there we go. What do we need? Oh, I figure out how long you need. Yeah, where my fingers Yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah, right there. Alright. And we also need it for really good. Oh the heat shrink. We need two then for that. So this same length then probably, right? Yep. So you need three, actually, total. Yep. So. Hey, if you guys are wondering why I use heat shrink, is in the past I've used uh, electrical tape, which works, but after a while, the adhesive... It gets on adhesive? Yeah, it kind of gets... from heat yep. and whatnot? Yeah. So, and the nice thing about heat shrink is, especially with this three-to-one, is you just shrink it right over the connectors, and unless you cut it off, yeah. that connector is not coming on board. It's even better if you do a lot of RGB because you have to get smaller heat shrink for the RGB connectors, but, because uh, RGB doesn't, there isn't a snap, at least on fan connectors, there's a snap to it, you know what I mean, that holds it, mm -hmm. even though it does a shit job, it's still better than RGB, there's no, it's just the friction of the pins that holds it. That's garbage. Yeah, it's a horrible, redesigned designed connector. So this is mine as well? That is yours as well, that's your older brackets. Oh, this is gonna all fit in here. Well, yeah, I mean, you can take stuff, like, you don't necessarily need the stuff in that box. You can break it down into other boxes or whatever. Meh. We'll force it in there. Right, so you get there the we gun. go. No, Good okay. enough. Yes, now we need the heat gun. Heat gun time! Heat gun time! Gertrude. I'm going to need that bag back in like a few hours, kitty. She's like, it's my bag. There you go. 
I'll bring another one over. Uh, or I'll bring the same one back. It didn't reconnect to the... Yeah. Oh, you're biting me now. Alright, well, we're done petting you. Yeah. Yeah, you're telling me about that. I mean, I don't really have that issue, because I never really used it like that. Aren't you populating the entirety of that yes, board, though? Yes, every single yeah. slot is filled. Yes. So just a quirk, huh? I, yeah. You must not, you must not test it. What oh. for again? Heat gun. Heat gun, yep. Whoa! I'm a little quicker than you were that time. You almost bit me though. Pro oh, tip. Very shrewd. Pro tip. Shrewd doesn't fuck around. It's her bag, damn it. Yeah, now she's gotta clean herself because. You touched her. Because I touched her, yeah. I'm not, I'm not worthy. Here, you wanna plug this in under there? there yep. Should yeah, be a port open. Let me just, uh. Get back on. Yeet! Should be safe, but like, holy shite. There should be one open, I think. Alright, there you go. You're good. Yeah, this is stuff. Last time we needed the heat gun, I think, was for, uh, when we did my mouse. Oh, yeah. yeah. No, really, no, no, it was the pen. I, I really wish I had the, a cordless heat gun. The Karaz? Yeah. yeah. Here. All the cordless ones, though, yeah. they uh, don't stay on unless you hold the trigger. I would bring your battery. I'm assuming. Well, no, but a lot of times you gotta let it sit on for a while to heat up the heat gun. If yeah. It doesn't instantly turn on. Uh, I don't want to be so. sitting there for like a minute, like Just holding things, spraying. Yeah, or if or if you know you have to heat up multiple in a row, like you don't want to turn it off. So then you gotta sit there, hold heat the freaking back trigger. Back. That's yeah. dumb. Also, currently all the heat guns are only the 18 volt systems, and I don't I use 12 volt. So yeah, I really want Milwaukee to make one that a doesn't make you hold the trigger down. And B. Get warm air blowing at me. Don't worry about it. Yeah. yeah. Alright. Now we gotta do these Those two. two guys, y'all. Should we do them both at once? Yeah, we can do them both at once. Alright. How's the stream going, guys? Well, I should probably. Nobody's, uh, nobody's really talked a whole lot since Mooski said he's leaving. He was life of the stream. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Sorry that we suck. Even he was like, I gotta watch the, my other show. Bye. Who do we got left? Preston? One person. Preston? I don't know. I can't tell. It just says one. Damn it. I don't make the rules, dude. It's probably the guy who asked if, a uh, guy or gal who asked if I was your boyfriend. Oh! This is fu. Butterfingers. Kind of bent a little weird. Don't worry, it's fine. How much are you from? Those parts are 50 bucks? Yeah, 50 bucks. Alright, that sounds good. 50 bucks. Sound good to you? Sure. All right. Well, this parts are we all using? Well, I mean, we swapped out the cooler, and then we got another uh, fan. Yeah, yeah. Which we had to order. Yeah. And then miscellaneous shit. So. Sure. Fifty bucks. All right. We're really. I see. I didn't let it heat up. You gotta let it. There we go. There we go. I'm gonna blast her. There you see. See, it doesn't work right away. This is a plugged-in one. What do you think one of those battery powered doohickeys is gonna do? Oh, well, it's like a battery powered, like, roofing nail gun thingy. We're gonna buy one of those for uh, Pam's dad. Yeah. And then he's like, you don't buy the first generation of the stuff. Always gonna have issues. And I think it was in Milwaukee, too. Well, I think those are pretty good. Yeah. yeah. He was, like, thankful, but he's like, I can't. I can't. I'm like, come on. Just take it. Alright, you gotta flip them somehow. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, I'm gonna... We're right, right, getting them. Can you turn them more? Yeah. There we go. Good enough. I, I mean, that's not coming apart. See, because it shrinks around the connector? That's so, why that works so good. Oh, we can't move this guy anywhere, because that's pretty much to the extreme, too. What are you trying to do? Well, Just run the... the, the yeah, 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 I, I got the extender, but I was yeah. thinking maybe we could move one of these over so it wouldn't be quite so, like, drastic, if you will. Nah, probably not. I mean, we could go like this. Here, come, dude, we got plenty of length. Hold on a second. Hold it right here. 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 Back. Let's come through. 
Let's see. Okay, I see. Come on. Over. All right. All right. Now we can run right over here. Wait, buddy. And then these little guys can go up. Oh my, that's hot. <laughs> Not gonna be the nicest looking stuff, but you know what? You don't just plug the entire set rip stuff in because we still gotta get these fans actually hooked on your heatsink. Yeah. With three of them on there, which is gonna be fun. Oh, so just disconnect them? Well, no, I'm just saying that it's gonna be a fun time. Totally. You know? Totally gonna be a fun Sarcasm. Time. Right. Maybe that the reason it looks like there's so much tension on that guy is because it's just being draped. Just seeing if there's different sizes of these clips or not. Where's that thing going? Oh, that's something. for the top ones. Yeah, we can't move those. That's gotta stay. Yeah, we just leave them. We just we un we open one up by unplugging two fans. Just yeah. plug it into one hole. Plug the other one into the other hole. It's done. Yeah, one, right? Done. Um. We're hitting the uh, Master extender here for this guy. What? Yeah, so you just mount it up a little bit. Yeah. Done. Problem solved. Is this going to be facing this way? Yeah. Okay. We just got to get the... Put uh, the fan grill on yeah, and the grill. clips on and... Bear grill. Fan grill. So which way does it go? According to your front fans, it goes like that. Yeah, it's a V. So Remember, we're trying to make a V that. out of it. Yeah. Put the top one on. Nope. Okay. Go. Go. That. Hooks under there. Goes like that. Hooks under there. And these kind of stay because they got the. They go under the rubber ground, so that's when they're on the other So they don't. Like this kind of stays once you get it. Down there. Yeah. See, it goes under the little rubbery dudes, mm -hmm. so it kind of stays on. The other ones are oh, really yeah. on the... This is going to look slick. We're done. I yeah, hope so, that's why I she's told gonna be, you to get this she's cooler gonna be, off me. Rather than... Because like I said, I also, with the 2600, I have zero, literally zero need. Hey for man, it. your 2600 would run cool as fuck with this thing. There you go. I'd probably run it passively. Yeah, probably. All right, same same shit on this guy here. So fans gotta go. V, yep, get them out. Get, get. There we go. That's. Put them on the top of this, right? Yep. If you get it under the little the rubber dudes on the back, it stays. You gotta get it under the. Oh, that's your shape. And it'll like those hold it in place. Make mm -hmm. it much easier to deal with than those. Uh, Right. Other ones. Mm -hmm. Just like that. There we go. Yep, right, these guys. Yep. There we go. Put the guys over there. There we go. And the slider. Hang on a second. Okay. We got the slide. And the slider in. Got this one here. Yeah, hold on. Let's get this one. Slider in. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, we're good here. Just gotta hook it, and then yeah. hook it. Maxing out my power supply with all these extra fans. Dude, have you seen the power right here? A uh, fan is 12 volts at 0.13 amps at full load, mm, mm. and you run them at like 400 RPM at full time. This one is a little, a little bit different color. You can see. See that? This mm -hmm. is a new a new manufacturer one. All your other 814s. Ruined. The belts are this, is, this is probably China, probably China made, where the other ones were uh, uh, Taiwan made, I believe. Build is ruined. Or Malaysian made. Build is ruined. All right. Just be glad you could get a 1500 RPM A4 or A15 because, like, you're not supposed There's to be able to get one color scheme right here that we turn our RGB and everything to. Yeah, that's weird. However, boy. Down with RGB. Fight the power. However, will I survive without? A beige, beige, it's more of a tan. It was peach to it, you know. Like, yeah. All right. So when I pull that pan cable through, to loosen up some of the slack room. Right. This guy, right. No, no, hold on a second. Hold on. This one, right here. No. This one, right here. 
Are you sure it's not this one? That one that I'm poking through right now. Okay, that looks like uh, yeah, um, just a big dome. Sorry, no bad. Okay. I'm going to raise it up a little bit just so that it sits. I don't want it sitting on that yeah. shroud. Mm -hmm. Can you hook that top one? It's going to take a wee bit of strength because it's. Is it the first? There you go. Damn. Yeah, these have to be raised up a little bit because your your <clears> right <throat> angle. Now, but imagine though, if you didn't have that right angle, imagine getting that twenty four pin under that. Where's my fucking ram? You don't have ram. Damn. All right, we gotta put the graphics card back in. <laughs> oh, we got we got cable yeah, tie yeah, this yeah, guy. Yeah. Yeah. You got the caps. Give me the caps. Oop. Uh, yeah, this one got a bit of a mark on it. Oh no, it's ruined again. Which, where do you want the marked one? Like here? Just put towards the back. Yeah, you won't really want there. No, just put towards the back. That's fine. Like that. There we go. I want it. No, 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 let's leave it there. That's fine. I want it like... That's probably less. Man. Yeah, I don't yeah. know how that mark got on it, but. Mooski! You're missing it! Dude, that actually works pretty well with your build. I'm just mm -hmm. gonna say, like, with the gray corners, it mm -hmm. kind of ties it all together. You see how Look, I tried hard to match. That gray to mm -hmm. that's that, that, slip that, looking. That bummed me a bit, but we're gonna we're gonna put it back together, right? After we do all the cable man. How does it look down the side? Are you clear? I think you clear in your and case. She's you got, you just got plenty of like this way. Yeah, I mean, it's basically just a straight shot that way, and then up and down. You saying? Yeah, no, like this way. Like our side panel goes on. Yeah, it yeah, fully. you should be clear. Yeah, yeah no, absolutely, because even that guy, that guy sticks up more. This one, maybe we'll try. We'll, we'll try. She fits. She she'll, fits. she'll probably be okay though. Let's take a little snappy snap of this uh, no, we don't amazement. Have, mm -hmm. We don't have the GPU in set in yet either. So, Should we put the graphics card back in once you're done taking those shots. Yeah. And then we'll cable tie the back. I don't know why I have the weird haze. Turn off yeah. that light once. Also, I think uh -huh. we're done. With, we're done with the heat gun, right? Yes. Yes. You gonna put that? Yeah, dude, that, that, the only thing that you need yet, dude, yeah. once you can finally eliminate or get rid of your five and a, your two hard drives down here, yeah. or hard drive and your, your, your three and a half inch bays down here, right? Mm -hmm. You could pop some 120 mil fans down there. Have some bottom intake, too. Bottom intake, front, like, just, just you just got a tight tune. replace everything with fans. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Fucking fan central. <laughs> yep, yep. I'm just going to have nothing but NVMe drives, basically? What? Yeah. With this board, you have three slots, I think, don't you? Four, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so, yes. No, you're right. Three. Three. The newest one I saw at work was four. It's like, uh, under there is one. Yeah, I think, I think you have one 4.0 directly to CPU, yep. one 4.0 through the chipset, yeah. and one 3.0 through the chipset, I think is what you have. Yeah. yeah I can so, yes, yeah, so you could be like Preston and just be oh, balling on just NVMe's. Except he did manage to fit two... Two and a half, and technically you could put SATA drive or two and a half inch drives in the back, so too. Just three and a half inch. Yeah, because we, we, dude, I even got the fan girls down here, or the you know like the filters. You could definitely have a bottom intake as well. And then imagine like swap those fans out on your GPU for Noctuas. Just. Do they make? They don't make coolers, but you just swap yeah. the you just take the cooler apart and swap the swap the actual <laughs> fans out. The fans out. Yep. Does it ruin my warranty? No, not on EVJ. EVJ says as long as you can put it back the way you had it. Nope. Like okay, they're cool. Maybe like once the 4000 series cards come out. They're and they're not like rare shit. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> Squares proceeds to break his but still be under warranty, but they don't have any GPUs to replace his with. Yeah, that's Wah, wow. Because aren't you running into that issue? Yeah, potentially with my 2080 Ti. Yeah. I, I don't know yet. Like, they, it's it's on, their, on its way back then. Like, they basically know it's dead. Mm. Um, but I have not been informed as to what what they're gonna do basically to yeah. remedy the issue. Yeah. Hey, if they want to fix it too, I'm fine with that. Like, hopefully they can. Honestly, I mean, I don't see why they couldn't. But uh, the case well, it's it's a Corsair case, and they make it out of cheap metal. Uh, yeah, exactly. It's like I never understood about Corsair. They design like have really good designs, all this sort of stuff, and they're like, yeah, but we could save like three dollars here on using the thinnest metal possible. All right, so before we redo cable management, should, should we see if she posts? So we don't do everything in the next time. I mean, if you want. All right, 
Alright, well, let's cross read that. That thing looks like a monster. You're, you, you need a 3090 in there, because that, that, that 1070 Ti is like a baby. You just need, like, you the need a GP. Yeah. Fit in you the you need a GP that just takes up, like, that much room. Just, like. I would have put the fan out for a 3090. It's huge. Well, 3080 then. Okay, that'd probably be, yeah. But you still need just a chonker of a GPU in there just to make up for your CPU cooler. What are we going to do if... Because these are custom sleeves, right? No, they're not. Those are extensions. Oh, are they? Yeah, well, next time you're going to have to get a, PS, a new PSU. Really? It's probably, yeah. Fuck. So you're gonna, then you're going to get custom cables. Then you won't have to worry about any of that. Damn it. So. When I do a rebuild, you mean? Yeah. Okay, good. But actually, to be truthful, if you drop the 3080 in there right now, you'd need an 850-watt power supply. By, I mean, 750 is the minimum. Yeah. But if you had, like, Preston's uh, FTW3, yeah. the recommended is 850 for that. All right. This is minimum. A, minimum is 750. That's a 1080p monitor, right? You don't, you don't want the 4K? Oh, no, no. Mine's, the 4K? mine's set for 1080p. Why are you got a Pokemon thing down here? Because uh, I, Pokemon my mom found that in the back room. That's got like Pokemon from. That's got OG Pokemon in there, dude. All right, let's I was gonna do a video of it at some point. If this baby can. Yeah, and also you getting a new power supply would definitely fix the weird issue of it. Like, you know how we have to disable like certain power saving options and stuff. Okay, let's just uh, let's put this stuff in here. We will need that uh, more thermal paste because she PC and uh, my server and yeah. yeah. All that yeah, 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 yeah. fun stuff that's... Oh, it doesn't like fit in there anymore, though. Because well, it was we plunged at the bottom. point. How is it plunged? I don't know, man. But it How does it get longer? I don't know. All we did was push. You tell me. The important part in here is not this. It is... Here, check this out. They include... This is the one thing I thought was cool. This They include wipes. Oh, man. I didn't know that. Yep. That's... So I recommend Nocto to your average, to your person who only does like, say if they're only doing like one. Oh, this is only HDMI though, isn't it? Yeah, it's only HDMI. Fuck. It's gonna look like butts. It's also oh, you got a 4K screen right to your left, dude. No, 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 that's fine. Yeah. And if you want to benchmark it against any of Preston's or mine, my benchmarks, you gotta use 4K. Can't beat the piss out of mine, except for like CPU. Like CPU. Well, I'm just saying, like we have existing. Yeah, but we have existing. Benchmarks yeah. for stuff, but the only benchmark we we all have it at 4K because you know we have yeah cause you guys have actual good graphics cards. <laughs> you don't have antiquated old shit like I got. And what else do I need? I think that's it. Maybe Ethernet? Yeah, it's an Ethernet. Uh. Oh, can we? That, that Ethernet's not gonna do anything. Alright, well there. Whipped. Let's uh, cross Sorry. our fingers that it works. We'll have to use your Wi-Fi. Oh, my Wi-Fi's going to be dog without the antennas. Oh, it'll still connect probably. Oh! Yeah, <laughs> we didn't put that in. Don't worry about it. We're we'll going to put that in. We'll do that after the fact. Yeah. Just see if she boots. Let me get this thing here so we can actually... Put it into the BIOS. So what this stuff do? Oh, she turns on. Alright, that's one. Yeah, it is one thing for you guys to be aware of if you're running an older power supply that's not Haswell, or is it Skylake? Because there was a Haswell certification, and then there was a, like a Skylake certification, I believe. Come on, Tai Chi. I know it's a brand But the, the, uh... The is the monitor even on? Uh, yeah. Let's see. Yeah, I just turn it off. Okay. Probably because it's a If you're gonna do anything, look at your postcodes. It's probably right. I'm just saying you have a postcode display. That's what I would watch to make sure it's not stuck on something. I don't know if it might be in the back of your motherboard. I don't remember. No, it's not my IO shield. Because sometimes they put it there now. Hey, oh, we got really hit delete. You're gonna want to load your profile, probably. Oh, I'll yeah, because it reset all the. Yeah. Told you I was gonna do that. I, I, didn't, I don't have a profile, so don't worry. You about don't it. have a pro. Make yourself a profile. Jeez, man. Oh, we got 3600. 
Now load your XMP, bro. Infinity Damage. Yeah, load your XMP, bro. 1800. There you go. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, and by the way, guys, if you have a Tai Chi board, or really on any board, you should be setting your. Uh, well, anytime you flash the BIOS, it can erase No, but I'm saying that that thing that you set for 1800. Yeah, the Infinity Fabric? Uh, yeah, you gotta set that, because, like, on Tai Chi, it's derped right now, apparently. Oh, Ever oh. since they added. Uh, oh, let's see, let's see. What was that thing they added? The bar support? That right? Bar support. Yeah, the resizable bar. Oh. For some reason, on tai Chi, the Tai Chi, tai Chi X570 Tai Chi hardware tracks found this out, is the memory split, um, unless it's manually set, is not half anymore. It's like a quarter or something weird. Hmm. So, like, you gotta manually set it. Like, there's some derpy thing that got introduced at one point that kind of messed that up. Alright, so here's the big thing. SMT1. PCI config. You want about 4G? You want to go back and you want about 4G? Keep going. You can't. Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Let me see. And then you gotta do an oversizable bar support. You got that. Oh, there you go. And I also want SRILV. I'm pretty yes. sure you had that enabled. I remember that. They changed the entire layout for you. Turn on S5 in. Turn LED in S5. No, we don't want that. And we also don't want power on no, 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 no. Wi-Fi, Bluetooth on. Enable front panel. Oh, enable BT on. Is or is that auto? That's auto. Oh, there's an alien on. PS2Y cable disable. Unless you use a PS2Y cable, like that what you do. Oh, it doesn't give me a disable, it's just auto. Or then leave it on auto. But otherwise it, it thinks you're having a storage config, yep, Spender RAM disable. Let's disable it. And then we also want a restore no, 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 deep no, sleep. No. That's what we want. So otherwise it stays on. Trusted computing. Yeah, that's the setting. Go back to that setting, because that's the one that people gotta be worried about. Okay, sleep. if um, yeah, if you have uh, an old power supply mm -hmm. and are using a Ryzen, the deep sleep option in S4 and 5 is the setting you have to watch out for. Otherwise, it like doesn't right, it doesn't shut off when you have shut down. It doesn't turn off my USB ports. Parts of them. Yeah, and like then, then a lot of, like we had an issue with expansion with board. Nathan's on X470 where then it wouldn't turn back on off of shutdown. And mine's, mine doesn't do that, thankfully. But that's the weird setting, and it, and it doesn't make sense. Why? But apparently it's something to do with the... Because the power supply can't idle that low. Yeah. Like, it gets all fucky. Because, you know, it can't idle down to that low of a sleep state, essentially. Like, power supply is like, hey, I know what S3 sleep state is. I know what S0 state is. I, I should turn Thunderbolt support on, right? Oh, yeah, but you don't have the card in there currently. That's fine. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be fine. Overclocking. Yeah! Device, eco mode. Disable that shit. Disable eco mode. Go back. Um, we want to do enable for... Yeah, you want to go advanced. Disabled. You want to go to advance. Advance requires me to then enter in. Yes. PBO oh, limits. Uh, what does it say? Motherboard allows oh, processor. Auto change. disable motherboard manual. Uh, I'm reading what they are on the right side. Sure, sure, sure. Default loads de default so thermal for AMD. No. Motherboard allows processor to run according to increased blah 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 defined by motherboard. The manual allows blah blah you uh, probably motherboard button, yeah. Uh, precision boost overdrive scaler. Uh, what's curve optimizer? It allows you to shift the voltage frequency curve to include higher voltages. The larger value entered is the larger magnitude of the voltage shift. Yeah, we don't really need to max it out. That's what. That's why you want it in advanced mode, because otherwise you can't adjust that. And then platform thermal limit manual. Um, allows the user to decrease the maximum allowed. No, actually, go back. We don't want to decrease shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and you want that. That's why you use advanced. If you guys are wondering with the OC mode, because otherwise you can't get that 200 megahertz. And CPU, you want those. You want C states? You want global C states for Oh, yeah, for AMD. And I'm thinking, sorry guys, I I have been using high end memory encryption. I probably don't need secure memory encryption. Leave it no, you don't have auto. you don't have uh, uh, ECC, ECC. So yeah, let's leave it auto. Core performance boost yep. going on. Power supply idle. So just leave auto. Just yeah. Fast shores. That might be another one that you have to tw like if your computer is not shutting down or restarting or whatever properly. Yeah. That's another one to kind of like poke at. Otherwise, guys, especially if you're running like 30 series 
Nvidia, it's probably because you probably need a bigger PSU anyway. I yes, you want I love that. that. Okay, so enable. it's for virtualization. And then I think the other one, the weird spot that they got, I don't know if we need advanced air now. We need that either. I don't think. They're recording now. Is here because then they have a bunch of CPP stuff in here. So you want that, and then DSC states. I think you want. Yeah, I have C mode. I'm not good with a lot of these things. I just remember like reading a few articles where the uh, the AMD texts were like, yes, you want anything that C states. Turn it on for that because it allows the power supply kind of talking directly to uh, the board, at least from the board, yeah. to talk directly to the CPU. Air, air, well, I did. I tried to turn all that off with AMD, and it does not like it. Because that's what he used to do on Intel to get better OC is you would turn off any and all power saving. Yeah. And throttling, throttling, and everything. But like AMD, it seems like in order to have the, those auto overclocks work properly, yeah. you need to have all that enabled. Otherwise, it doesn't throttle and boost the CPU properly. You know what I mean? Like that's what it uses. Yeah. I think. Uh, we gotta do. Ooh. We didn't move your. Holy shit. We didn't move your. Oh, that's actually not bad. We didn't move your fan header plug. Yeah. We gotta move that. To okay, the I'm gonna fan. do that. Yes. Yeah, so. Go disable the CPU monitor one then, and in into. Uh, uh, yep, the, uh, down, down, you're on it. CPU fan setting. Uh, is, it, is there, there should be an ignore. Should there not? No, no, go up to the, maybe go up to the, up, 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 way up to like where it's monitored. Can you click on that at all to ignore? Nope. There's gotta be a way to do it. Maybe once it yells at us, we can. There. Which one were you we switching to? Chassis uh, fan one. Chassis fan one. Yeah, I think. So switch. Click on that. Uh, yep. You want chassis fan one, and you want control mode PWM. Okay. And then fan setting mode. Oh, is it like a manual? Customize. Customize. And uh, there you go. Temp source. That's the thing we want. Right here. Oh no. Temp source. Motherboard mark. Yep, we want to monitor the motherboard speed. So here's another trick for you guys. Um, you want to mod You actually want when you control all of your fans in your case off of one setup. You don't want to monitor your CPU temp. I mean, if you're putting it someplace where you have to be worried about them like sticking it in a box or something, you know, like in a, then do that. Mm -hmm. But like Squares knows what he's doing. Kind of. You know what I mean? But like, you're not gonna like cover up all the fan intakes. I'll have to take pictures of those just so I remember them. Um, I mean, that's what you have to do anyway, because anytime you have to get the freaking BIOS, even if you have a, have a profile saved, you can't. Yeah, so we're going to have to move the header to chassis fan, and then do the fantastic tuning. Like, the fan tuning at the bottom is what gets you the curve, essentially, yeah. but we don't have the fan moved over yet. Full screen mode. Disable the full screen mode. I, I like the full screen mode. It's fun. Yes, I always say I like seeing the post uh, person. But I think so that seems turned good. Off. Secure boot. The, the disable yep. secure boot mode. Yeah, I don't like this. Down with secure boot mode. And you put it on custom. Custom's not Windows, custom's Linux. That's why I always put it on custom so we can even try to use it then. If you're doing something for like work or something, you guys might want secure boot. But like say right now if Squares' computer took a shit and you wanted to clone it, good luck with secure boot enabled. Like that's I why I do I don't turn it on personally. I think that is everything. Now I would save this, restart, and see if we can get back in and make sure all the settings are verified. Changes and exit, yeah. yeah, but get right back into the boss. Oh, dude, you haven't seen it yet. The tankyless uh, buckling spring came back fixed. Yeah? Yeah, it's upstairs. I will have to take a look at that. I haven't done a video on it either, I don't think. Okay, right, so we got 3600 now for your memory. That's good. 37 megahertz for the processor, 12 core. Speaker, I'm not gonna miss Oh, that's SOC it. on core OC mode. What is that? What option do we have there now? That we open that up. Okay. So overclock the stuff that they have for it, then it's just enable. Force the CPU on core components and finish back to run at the maximum specified frequency. I need to do it auto. Yeah, we, like we're not doing manual overclocking. We're gonna do yeah. all overclocking via that. Uh, yeah. The PBO. Yeah, and the, the soft, the, what is that thing, Ryzen Master? I don't have Ryzen Master. You don't have to get Ryzen Master because they enable Ryzen, it. All Ryzen Master does is it allows you to basically tinker with this shit without having to go into the No, process. there is a new mode in it that yeah. auto-OCs it. Hmm. 
So yes, you're gonna need Ryzen Master. Because okay. once you enable all the stuff in the background, it will auto OC as well now. There's a new tab that's called OC mode. Mm -hmm. And you hit scan and it goes Yeah. Let me just see if she boots in the windows. Oh, user. I don't have a USB. Yeah. Save you know, it's save user default right there. Let's save. Go to number two, I guess, and name it. Oops. There we go. Alright. And then we'll just go back to save changes and exit. And we'll see if she boots into Windows. I think it's hilarious that you can't even see your anything oh. in there. Like, you can't see your motherboard anymore. Yeah, I know. You can't see your RAM. There's no point in even having an RGB RAM. <laughs> But, it, but no, it's like, it like if we didn't have that right angle adapter for your 24 pin, could you have unplugged that anymore? No. 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 Like, so that's, no, no, people no. are like, why, why do you get the right angle 24 pin? It looks dumb. I'm like, yeah, no, it's not always for like, the, I think it looks better personally, but it's way easier to plug in and unplug. Come on, you got a boot. There it goes. Just squirrely, squirrely around. Squirrely, yeah, it does not need to be that loud. Always worse before. I know. Right. We'll fix that. We'll fix that again. Hey, there's a castle. Log in. Hey, you don't want to fix this. You should, you should buy that. And actually carry that money. Yeah. yeah. 66 watts. Holy shit. There's a discount code for it, too. That'll pop up. For process lesson. Oh. And you're running... You're running core temp on launch? Jesus. And, uh, let's see what I can get Have you gotten the latest Ryzen chipset driver? Uh, there is only one that was back from April, I think. Correct. Is that one installed? Yeah. Okay. Maybe we should reinstall because different CPU just install over top just in case, you know? Yes, I believe so. Let's scroll on down. AMD chipset from, yeah, May Maryland. Okay, we should be good then. Processor. My grand want to get a Ryzen Master, but Ooh. we should probably do your your move your fan over. Yeah. Install your Thunder Thunderbolt. Oh, we will have to. Uh, okay. Uh, Go here. Zero one four. Oh, they should go on the spiral. No. Oh yes, you want to see my. Uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. If you need to get to my server or something. Yeah, look, look at that amazing signal strength no antennas you have here. Uh, normally it's not that good, man. <laughs> it's because we're like blanketed in. Uh, oh, see, there you go. Now it's dropped. See, there you go. Yeah. Well, it's, it's probably because it went to, it probably searched on 2.4, right? Oh, no, and then better. connected at 5 with. Yeah, it should be up to date. The Windows will probably check for some security updates, but. 20 inch 2. Try doing a restart once. And a shutdown. She's a. Uh, 52, that's not bad. Granted, we're not under like a sustained load, so. Yeah. Is that a restart? Yeah, do a restart, restart first. We'll make sure she restarts right away. And the other thing I want to test is the shutdown. Because that's the. Like, I, I did that with Nathan. We built this whole computer. It was working perfectly fine. When it shut down? And then it. No, no. Once it shut down, it wouldn't turn back on. Mmm. Not good. Yep. Yep. What? I mean, it would. If you power cycled the power supply, it would. What did. Uh, what was Nathan using? Uh, X470 Tai Chi. Same power supply as you, except the 850 watt. Oh, damn. He's got more power than me. That's because he used to run SLI. Oh, I suppose. Yeah, what is he? He used to have dual 770s. And then he had dual 980s. 52. Oof, it's holding steady, though. Yeah, up 53, up. Really oh, no. You are you only got 30 degrees till you're, like, anywhere near oh, possibly even good. overheating. It's rolling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when does date and time is that a sink, though? No, it's not date. I mean, it was off for, what, a half hour or so? Mad at a sink. All right, here we go. Turn back on. Fix. All right, 816. Not bad, not bad. All right, so now we're going to do a shutdown. And oh, and I should mention, because uh, a lot of people just... <gasps> A lot of people just learned about fast boot from that Linus Tech Tips Tech Cookie video. 
Yeah, we do know about that for years. Correct. Like. I'm just telling you that, guys, we actually have fast food turned off on here. So when you tell it to shut down, yeah, it, should. it shuts the fuck down. And if it doesn't, you got some settings wrong. Because like Squares was saying, if we don't turn on... turn Now, here's the thing, guys. We have to turn on S4 and S5 sleep for it to completely turn off. Yeah, otherwise, I think the RAM would stay on. Right. And then the, the bottom USB. Correct. But think about that. Would, wouldn't you think you would have to disable those for it to completely turn off? Right? You get what I'm saying? Well, that seems backwards, doesn't it? Yeah. It was the same thing on Nathan's. We had to enable a certain, like, weird setting in there for, for power. Like, it was either that one or the the deep sleep we had to turn on. Yeah. And it's like, wait, if we want to turn completely off when we hit shutdown, why do we have to turn deep sleep on? Right? That makes no sense. I, I have no clue. All right. But it, it, it booted right up. So. All right. We'll turn... Do a shutdown here, and then we'll put that card in because I'm dumb. Then we gotta move the, we gotta the cable tie the stuff. And then we gotta figure out if it's gonna yell at us about not having a CPU oh, yeah, that's pin. Right. Oh, yeah, that's right. And then what we're gonna do is if it does yell at us, guess what? I have an idea. We're gonna make a splitter that just splits the PWM signal over to. Are we really gonna get access to that now that we have that giant fucking cooler there? Maybe. Alright, wow. It right. works. She works. And we just gotta. Do this. Oh, yeah, it's unplugging itself, apparently, because I moved it a little too much. Uh, Squeers is getting Thunderbolt. Have you ever had Thunderbolt before? Yeah. Hell no. I didn't have anything Thunderbolt I'm not even sure. on hand to test your stuff with, I don't think. I'm not entirely sure what the hell Thunderbolt is. External PCI Express. Okay. Basically. Okay. Like, if you want even faster memory card readers than what I have, yeah. I can plug in my, uh, my external SSD. That's your PC. You could get a Thunderbolt enclosure. Like, you can. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Tip her over, and we'll get. Or I can. I can, I can, I can hey, look at this. I can easily get to your CPU. There you go. She's coming back through. Is it right here? Uh. Yeah, right? Yeah, I got it. She's gonna need to be untied. Okay, it, it gotta go here. Yeah, she's gonna need to be untied. Right, I'm gonna grab some snippy snips and start snippy snipping. Right, gotta be careful because there's a lot of shit. Yes. And I have to re re tire. You can start re tire, I think, so too, because we're, yeah. you know, we're done pretty much. Your, your, your cooler is now just like the centerpiece of your mm. system is just like, yeah, I run now, tool. What yeah. of it? Yeah, don't worry about it. Right, we don't need this right here. What'd you say? Well, I, mean, I don't know if Noctu is going to sound southern. The boat brand brown tan? Yeah. yeah they're going to be more, uh, oh shit, can I run this underneath? Yeah. I'll just run underneath this 24. If thing. we need an extension, we can get an extension. No, it should fit. I'm just trying to figure out like how to do this nicely. You know what I'm saying? Plus we got all these things just suspended here. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And we gotta go like right here. You know what I'm saying? Right here? Watch out because there's... Right here. Right... Oh, okay, right there. Yeah, okay, hold on a second. Put it on, on going, my nail, essentially. I'm going under... And then under some more. And be aware if this doesn't... If, if something weird happens, we're going to have to do, like, if we can't turn off the CPU fan monitoring, no. we're going to have to uh, split this off so that we can send it to both the CPU fan header and the this header. Great. But we're only going to send the CPU fan header the PWM signal. Or no, not the PWM signal. We're only sending it the tachometer signal. The one that says, I'm going 1500 RPM. That's the only thing we're going to send off to the... Well, that's the guy came undone. Yeah, well... Pocket. It's All right. still old, man. Alright, so should we put the other card in there? Sure. Do that. There you go. And see if you had an, a a an ass rock. Right there is a mini DP connector. Wait a sec, because we're going to figure out which one's the 4X, right? Yeah, you need a manual. Or we can look at it on the web. I have this thing called a laptop, but. Alright, you know. smart ass. I'm just saying, I, if you, if, I, I prefer the manual if you have the physical manual, but I think I do. it's not always the easiest thing to get to, you know? I think I do. Okay, I got the... Fruit, you, or something else. Oh, 
Ugh. Squares. What? Disgusting here. What? What's this disgusting about? Look. Unsleeved. Cables. Red and black cable. That's fine. Get out of there. Alright, there we go. There should be a section about Thunderbolt. Installation. Expansion cards. Matisse. In this picture, they have it in the bottom one. I don't know if that manual has a specific, like, Thunderbolt section, you know, installing the Thunderbolt adapter section. Thunderbolt AIC header 31. Alright, let's go to 31. Uh, power switch. This is a Thunderbolt. SATA, SATA, SATA. Mm -hmm. Please connect the Thunderbolt add-in card to the Thunderbolt AIC connector via the GPIO cable. Please install the Thunderbolt card to PCIe 5. There you Default go. Figure out which one's PCIe 5. I'm guessing the bottom one. Oh, and I see the Thunderbolt header. I'll plug that in. Oh, come on. This is I'm guessing, has rocks, right? I'm yeah. guessing it's the bottom one. I think we ran into this issue. We're trying to figure out which one was the. Uh, yeah, it should be just the layout of the. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to find is the layout of the board. How is this coming along? I need to dive back. Uh, here we go. PCI 5. Okay. PCI 5 is the, the full length one. The bottom one. The full length slot. The bottom full length yeah. slot, though. I thought it was the little No, one. if you look, technically, this is what what's deceiving about these boards. If you look in there, look how far the pins go. They only go to right there. So that's only a 4X. You see that? They only go that far and the one above it, too. No, they go. This is an 8X. Look. They go to here, here. Where's, it? where's your where's your headlamp? Uh, right there. Yeah, okay, let's let's shine some light in this. So, bit. here, this goes to here. Yeah, I can see that. This goes no. to there. So this is actually only a four X, mm. and that's only an eight X. Because if you had dual GPUs, this needs eight. That would need eight, and mm. then it goes to mm. four. Yeah, this is sure the enough. One. Okay. So yeah, they they should, in my opinion, by the way, if they if they just it's going. all you have to do, you could make it a four X looking slot, right? It's going, man. Like, CPU okay, works. Like, you can make this a 4X slot and you just cut the end off, and then a 16X can fit in it. Uh, but the, but if they don't put the metal on it to make it look all like a 16X, yeah. which, that market's better, because it looks like it's a 16X, even yeah. though there's no possible way for an X570 board to have three 16X slots. It can only have one. So where, where's that little guy? The little header is right there. So I see it's right there. It's right there. I just need the card. Coming along. We don't and, uh... You probably want to plug this in first, I would imagine, right? Because it's kind of under it. Pardon me. Come on, you fancy. Go fuck in there. Eh? And then i got to plug these guys into my graphics card? Your graphics card, yes. Mini display port and regular display port. So I'm losing... You're losing these... Some these two. Well, no, I, you're not, and you're not technically losing them. There and plug it there. Okay, but you're not technically losing them because they're becoming Type-C outputs. Son of a bitch. It's like you're losing them, but not really. And if you look at this this thing... I'm supposed to rock multiple graphics cards. No, here. Hey, nobody rocks multiple graphics cards. Am I supposed to rock? Here, if you have an ASRock graphics card, but they have the internal... See, that's a mini display, an internal mm. mini display port. Their graphics cards have an internal mini display port on them. That was 
So that way you don't have to have all this external cable doobly gap. Yep. Good enough. Still in there. Good enough. Yeah. yeah. This cable literally needs to be like not 18 feet long. Yeah, don't worry about it. Alright. I'm gonna probably yeah. say you want like a lot of zip ties time. on this, you know? One hour of uh, stress testing. And it's time to go. Um, and then, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, you could. You could, uh. Tie that into a knot. Yeah. So there's less, less, less shit. And then tuck in there, that was cables in. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, if you want to do it, you can do it. Yeah. Hell yeah. Well, what you want to do? Basically, just like wrap it like this. Hopefully, it doesn't have like some weird, you know, cross off communication. So we can wrap it underneath right here. And then. Probably some form of USB. Okay, I'm missing a pin there. I'm going to wrap this around. You can just leave it here. No, not sleepy at all. Just yawn. I yawn all day, every day. Just gotta do more coffee. Drink more coffee. Here, I'll open up your cables that you need. This should sit down here all the way, right? Hmm? Did you put it in there? Yep. Yeah. We'll check. Too. Yeah, it's in there. I mean, it looks a little sloppy, but you know what? That's the kind of the best we can do right there. I can then give you a nice short sleeve cable. Yeah. Here, um, take your doodles off. Oh, man. I was just going to be diligent. Oh, you, don't you remember that one guy that's like, one of these cables went back? It was like the last custom built computer I, I had built for. The, for the Ryzen one? Not the Ryzen, but the guy with the read? Yeah, no, no, no. Uh, there, it was a different guy, and he's like, what's all these extra cables coming out of the back of my Twitter? And it's because he had one of the motherboards that had that had Thunderbolt card in it, and I had to run these from, and, oh here, what I did to make it shorter, watch, you just put a looper. Yeah, that's what I was kind of trying to do here. So, yeah, if we do this guy, yeah, well, i do this guy first. I'm going to have to take them off anyways when I transport it. Yeah. Because you know, just put it there. And what you do is put it through the loop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Loop it that way. Loop there we go. Loop. I like how they have a catch release, at least for the display port. So all display ports are supposed to have that. Uh, well, I got a cable that doesn't. Yeah, well, you gotta buy a nice Club 3D one then. And, mm -hmm. well, I got the I got the one you know, that, I, that I bought off of you. That has it, and that's the one I use. Oh. Yeah. But there was one I think I got when I got the Taylor's monitor that had it. I don't think that had a clip, yeah. or maybe it was a different one that I bought from work. They probably had to work on work on Yeah. Account. You know why they took them away from work? Is because they had so many complaints of people ripping them out of their monitors that they're like, well, we need to protect people from stupid. And, uh... Yeah, yeah. Of course, of course. Of course, of course. Yeah, it's fine. But I understand that that... Good enough. Here's what we did, guys. We just put... We just put some little knots. Not like tight knots, but just yeah. a little loopy knot. Because these cables are real long. Because That's some mega air cooling. It's oh, yeah. Certain oh, is. yeah. We got, we got push, push, pull. NHD 15S. And we didn't, we didn't skimp out, because normally... The, these are supposed to be 1200 RPM additional fans, but because we're running A14s for the rest of the case, which are already 1500 RPM, we made sure that the rest of these uh, A15s were also 1500 RPM. Noctua was a bro and sent us the one that's it's slightly different color. How many fans? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's all right. And then there's two 80s on the back here. Yeah, we got two. So ten. Yeah, and then eventually once it. he ditches these hard drives, we'll put two 120s on there. You know? Well, you know, that, well, you, hey, you know that I'm you never can, getting rid of the fire. You know, food. you can just put, right. you, have a, you have a cage that goes right here. You can uh, fit four SSDs that back thing, That thing's going, don't worry about it. Well, I can order it from Corsair. No, 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 parcels. I still have it. <laughs> I'm like, don't worry. I know you still have it. All right, let's, uh, let's cable tie this stuff. What else do we need to do? Wasn't there something else? Uh, well, no, no. it's a chassis fan. That's right. Yeah, but we have to we have down. to run it. And I already moved it. It's moved, yeah. but we don't know if it's going to yell at us about the CPU fan. And if it does, if we'll be able to disable it. So should I just try plugging it in? First? Try plugging it in first. See what she says. See what it yells at yeah, us about. Because right, right. we just need to tell it like, yeah, fuck you. This thing's going to be chalky. All right. Oh god. What are you cooling? That is well, it's in the title. Fifty nine hundred X. Ryzen nine. Right here. 
uh, man, the Manic Geek over on Twitter helped us get one of these. He won the, uh, the New, New York Grand Shuffle. Yeah. yeah, New York Shuffle. Um, Squeers had previously had a 3900X. I wanted the best that I could potentially get, and I didn't want to spend uh, a thousand bucks for a 16 core that probably not even going to use. So yeah. probably not even going to use a 12 core. But you know what? This one, well, you're going to have higher pox on this than here. That's true. It is like I think about as good, like performance-wise, as the 5950. So, so you know, um, oh, and then I, I'm I'm pulling his 3900X off of him yep. for a system that I, I had, needed. I had a buyer lined up for that. So, so like, then it doesn't hurt as much, right? Like. I mean, no, actually, because I'm mean, like. And you did get the 1500X at retail, yeah, too. Yeah, like, like half the cost of what I think I paid for the 3900 for this upgrade, so. Eh, whatever, you know. Alright, let's see if she screeches at us. That there's no CPU installed, or fan, I should say. Oh, listen how quiet it is. Oh, now it's back up. Yeah, she's, she's real quiet. We ah. haven't done the fan tuning yet. It's going to yell us for sure about not having a CPU fan. Post. Working on it. You just stuck in a Thunderbolt card. It's probably like wondering what the fuck is this thing? Alright, all the settings stuck. Okay, go over to the hardware monitor then. And we want to do uh, fan tuning. Uh, oh, can we disable? We can't di disable no. that. We can use custom, but we don't want custom. Yeah, just hit we'll it. We'll hit sound mode. SB. That's your that's your self bridge. Oh, semi passive. We want semi passive. That's just, yeah. Otherwise, because you're worried about your fan dying. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, so hit back. We already have we already have the the chassis fan one configured correctly. Okay, okay, go back. We just have to run the fan tuning on it. So let's oh, hardware monitor. Down here. Fan tuning. Yeah. Just fan tuning. Right? right down here? No, fantastic. This no, nope, that's you manually here. doing it. Yeah. You want it, the fan tuning auto does it. So hit back. Run that. Yes. There we go. Now we can, then you can further tweak it if you want with fantastic tuning. Yeah. Like if you decide that it's not curvy enough. Or I think like it was, it was pretty quiet how I got it before. I think we had it pretty well set up, and I think I just dropped it a couple more degrees, and then it, you could only really tell when you were pushing the thing. And yeah, the, you shouldn't even And the GPU that. was, like, running psychotic. Yeah, you'll we'll probably hear, you should probably hear the GPU over, like, anything else. Yeah, I'm going to throw that up there. Okay. By the other knob, too. You do know the two in front and one, wait, what, one in... The top and one in the rear and back would be enough to cool that. I found those knock to a noisy even at certain fan speed fan tuning optic for Arctic P14, which is far quieter. Uh, the knock tools are noisy because of airflow. So what you gotta do is to figure out your fan curve. Because Squares has seen my computer upstairs, you can t can't even tell it's on under full load. Like, yeah. yeah. It was a. Uh... Pretty, pretty amazing. Like, in Preston's now, is nigh on dead silent mm -hmm. until he hits full CPU mm -hmm. and a full GPU load, and then you hear, like, a, it goes, like, you hear air noise, just because it's circulating yeah. air. I think mine's mostly my graphics card. Yeah, because he's still running a stock cooler on his graphics card, and it's, a. Uh... Plastic box, no, plastic box don't go in here. No, they go in the back, just stick on top of the fridge, it's yeah, fine. Yeah, the fridge. Um... The uh, what which car do you have on there? It's it's like a super standard. Ten seventy ten. Yeah, but it's like not a fancy one. It's just like the super uh, clock or the, something. Uh, yeah, it's I not think an it's FTW got, or anything. I thought it was. No, I think it's just a super clock. Oh. But yeah, so it's just like the stock EBGA. Like it's not the reference cooler. No. It's. it's yeah. And it's not the, it's not, like, now we have Founders Edition Cooler. It's not a Founders Edition Cooler. It's, yeah. like, the lowest end EVGA cooler from that time on there. So that's probably his biggest noise. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um, and how his is set up is intakes in the front. The top front is also an intake. The top rear is an outtake, and the rear is an outtake. Mm -hmm. So it goes in the front, in. 
In the top. And out the back, it. out the top, out the rear. Yeah. And if we add anything, because in that case, if you guys are wondering, a 120 mil fan is the same width as a three and a half inch hard drive. So if we pull out your hard drive bays in the bottom, we could slap fans in there if you wanted. I'm not saying you have to, but that would be you know, uh, a thing that could be done. Okay. These. Do that. So. So once we get all this cable managed back up. Hey, we go. there you go. Chassis fan minimum duty. Zero percent. No, twenty-three percent. Chassis fan one. Ah, uh, CPU fan. Okay. Yeah, we, don't, we don't have a CPU fan anymore. Yeah. Because and that's what that's another trick, by the way, uh, to guy watching us is run all the same fans. Or very, very similar ones, in this case, because like the motors in the A14 and A15 at 1500 RPM are the exact same. Mm -hmm. Then use a fan hub, and then cool off of a chassis or assist fan tied to your motherboard or VRM. The semi-passive one, too, for the little yeah. the self boost chip that yeah. they have for it then? Just add it with one of the newest bias updates. Yep, well, because they found out that... Um, yeah, you can it, kill them, basically? He, well, not because you can kill the fans, but that the... That in many cases on these high end boards, yeah. they'll passively cool themselves, not so under load. Like when you're idling, it's fine. Um, Alright, so now shut back down, cable manage, install yep. Ryzen Master, stress hit, tester. Well, well, we should probably do a, uh, like a Santa Bench before Ryzen Master. Okay, and then, and then hit the auto OC button, and then after Ryzen Master. If that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, it's probably overkill, but, uh, we had... What, had the air cooling? Yeah. Not really, because the 3900X, if you were to actually run stress testing on it, would get to 90 Celsius. Yeah. Like, yeah. you hit well, power well, max, what you I mean, run is, like, we went push-push-pull on there, like... Yeah, that was with the U14S. Technically, that D15S so. is just meant for one fan at a lower RPM. I think two. I thought Tech yeah, City 2 said that would be... As good as a D15, which is like one. Well, a D15 and D14S, or a D15 and a D15S are the same cooler. It's yeah. just offset. And a D15 okay. comes with two fans on it. Yeah, that's. What and a D15S it says the silent. Yeah. And also compatibility, because if you try to put a D15S on a X79 or X90, you know, like a, like a board with memory on both sides, mm -hmm. you'll hit the memory. Yeah. So, or at least you won't be able to get the memory out without removing a fan, kind of like how you would have to right now. Yeah. Whereas if you have a D15S, they also slimmed it down a little bit, so you can get to the RAM slots on both sides as yeah. long as you only have a middle fan. No well, yeah. And you also have three fans on versus one. Yeah, a little bit. So, yes, we know it's a wee bit of overkill. We need it. Y yeah, so D15S, get the 15S over the 15. There's no reason to buy a D15, pretty much. Um. Uh, the, the, oh, U, the U14S was also designed to, with two fans on, push pull, be able to fit between uh, RAM on both sides, like quad channel RAM. Just, just push over here a little bit, get it ready for some cable management. And we're we're more oh. about, I would say, like not at load temps, not necessarily like at load. Temps going down with more fans. Ideally, we want to be able to run, we want to run floor sustained. fan speeds. Well, it's that. We also want to be able to run sustained boost. Yep. For as long as possible, as yep. cool as possible. Because AMD. Yes. Because so if you can basically it's about, cool it. Generally, you stick more fans in it. Turboing. Sound goes down if you can run them at a lower speed. Yeah. That's the key thing there. Yeah. Um, and you get more air flow. Is it pressure or flow when you add more fans? I'm trying to remember. I think it's pressure. Technically. You no know better than me. Uh, what is the best way to do this old cable master? Uh, stick it up there and slide a thing to jig through it. Okay, I mean... You want a headlamp? No, 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 I'm good. I need, uh, um, these guys, though. Alright, is it because is you're using the 14, 140 mils? Because the 120s, that's what I have in my, in my system upstairs. Yeah. And I got, what, 18 of them in there, I think? I... 18 fans? Yeah. Holy shit. I, I should have asked for 20. I realize that now because 20 is a case. Didn't they send you? Yes. Wait, wasn't it like sponsored somebody? Yes. By? Yes. Not fucking. Yes. Fuck. They sponsored my build upstairs. Yeah, but the fucking name wasn't because of that. It's because like, I dropped this thing because, you know, I'm a big dude. Well, yeah, and I have, I have systems set up with three fans as well. 
I have, uh, the, you've seen Dry Bones over there. It's only got three fans in the whole thing. Really? Yeah. Intake on a 280mm rad and then a rear, rear outtake. Special needs There we go. So, on, the, on my repair system over there, I only got three fans in it. And they're all uh, A14s. And the thing, I mean, you can hear it under load, mm -hmm. but like, it's mostly like fan noise, not, or like airflow noise, not. Coming uh, from what I had previously, I can't remember what we used when I had the 4930. Uh, the, are they the white ones you're thinking? Maybe. Yeah, those were uh, okay. something Helixes. Uh, Swift Tech? Hopefully, I'll Swift Tech Company? Enjoy the shrink wrap, but. I'm thinking? You know, whatever. It should be good. The other thing on my main system upstairs that I wanted to try that I that the I have a X99 so it's an older board up there. It was supposed to be able to do is turn off assist like any assist fan headers. You should have been able to turn the fans off completely. Um, um, but that only worked when you use the software in Windows. You could not do it via BIOS. And then the other thing though is that the software is bugged where if you have the assist fans on PWM. It just 100% maxes them out all the time. That was never fixed on the Sabertooth X99. There's really not a good spot to wire tie these things. Then add a new one. So, well, you got to stick on tie downs. Or, what if you just go like that yeah. down here yeah. and stuff it under there? I suppose. Like yeah. that, well, and then you go like that, and then and you're that's done. Good enough. And then what about this guy here? Just. Right here, good enough. I'm going to just shove it up top there. Same thing. Like that, there you go. Cable tie again? Yep. Alright. I think that's it. Yeah, the X, Sabretooth X79 was like that. It had, they claimed all four pin fan headers. That's what Asus was claiming back in the day. And um, now you would think if it's a four pin fan header, that means it's PWM. No. Nope. Just because it's four pin, which is what they marketed all their headers were, and they, they truly were all four pin fan headers. Um, only two were PWM. That's good um, enough. Now, on my X99, Sabertooth X99 board, all of them can do DC and PWM. Um, the assist fan headers are the only ones that can, can be turned off while the system's on. So what I wanted to do is have push and pull, and then turn off, like leave push on, and then turn off pull until temps got to a certain thing, kick on pull, and then ramp them both up. That's what I wanted to do. But um, you could only do that via software, and like I said, the oh, software was bugged on X99. I see Phyllis is in here. So it was that. It was just this weird. Hopefully, when I go to a new board, because I'll be going on. To, are you putting the cutoffs in there? No. Are they good ones? Yeah, they're good. Cutoffs on the other. All right. Do, let's put the doors back on. We'll see how she runs, as she normally will be, and put that new uh, yeah. modified. And you can always screw, uh, tweak the modified screw back on there too. Oh yeah, you know? I'm a, I made so because Corsair did a, a derp on this one. And where the screw hole is for the side panel, you screw right into the fan. Um, of course, they're smart. I think we got everything installed, right? When the processor's installed, we got all the fans were tied up. Yeah. And hey, you got Type C on the back now, Type C on the front, and you got two Thunderbolt threes on the back now. I'm not even sure what the hell I'm gonna do with those. Yeah, the thing was, is I finally found you a card for it, and those were really hard yeah, to get. Yeah, I'm probably. Thank you. I appreciate it, but by the time I'm probably able to utilize those. This will probably be like ancient fucking hardware. Uh, hey man, I... are there are there people still using like bulldozers, like the eighty three fifties as their mains though? Uh, no, things? most of those people have moved on. Um, Kai, who's Springs moving back out. to uh, back in, he's moving back to Wisconsin. You'll probably actually meet him at some point then. Yeah. Uh, he's the one that was running uh, his my our phenom. Uh, we had like the old dry bones was a Phenom X4965. He was I running was... that until two years ago. I read people were still rocking like the, the first six cores. The Phenoms? The f yeah, the yeah. 10, 6. So his, yeah, his 10, was the, the 9 the right ripple, the, eight, the, the four mm -hmm. core version of that still. How long did he rock that thing for? Until about two years ago. Holy shit. Yep. Now he's got a 2070, uh, 
I want to say a yeah. 2700. 2700 X? X, yeah. Okay. And then a uh, B450. Not bad. And 32 gigs RAM, I think. That's what I got too. So. Oh, this thing's all. Yeah, dude. You're like, he, he really did not know what he was missing out until he, he put the, He's like, holy fuck. Like, yeah. this, is, this is computers now? I'm like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we did, hey, to think about that, like, we built, that was a parts, like, dry bones is always a part, or not dry bones, yeah, uh, that was cobble, first, mm-hmm. first cobble, like, cobble's just a part machine, think about that, we had a parts machine that lasted that long by just tossing together extra shit we had lying around, like, was not cobble, like, the, the, the bitch computer, though, yeah. the community one, that yeah. was just, like, you need a computer to use cobble? Yeah, yeah, correct, because it was always, like, say if one of us upgraded to 8 gigs of RAM, yeah. well, the 4 gigs went to cobble, well, if two people did it, then, then cobble's got 8 gigs, because it's got two, two, you know, and yeah, they might be mismatched Corsair and Kingston HyperX or something, you know, but... As long as it works. I yeah. Guess. All right, assistance, please. Tree. Thank Ooh. you. All right, so now we got to bench it, right? Yeah. And then we'll install Ryzen Master and bench again. Oh, God. And we're just doing... Are we just going to do Cinebench? Or are we going to do... No, we can do Fire Strike. Yeah. And then let's do uh, Time Square. Time Square? Okay, okay. Yeah. We got, I got all those. If, if we hop on my network and you actually hit that you're on a private connection rather than a public connection, we can access all that on my server, so. I'm on a, I'm on a public connection? Yeah, remember he hit no? That that says you're at a public connection. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, go back it. and change it to a private, and then you can actually see my server. Ah, I see. All right, so we'll plug your all in. Let's see if uh, you guys enjoy. And while you're doing that, I'm going to go grab cheese PC. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds good. If you want to grab the server, though. And plock it, plomp it sideways on server. the workbench here. The server. Server. That, right, that guy right there? The new server, yep. Yeah, because I got 2600 out of there, man. All right, well, here we go. We're going to fire her up. She still boots. She's loud as fuck. And she gets quiet. All right. I don't know if uh, Mike the Manic Geek is here, but thank you again, sir. Much appreciate it. Uh, you probably didn't intend for it to be, go to me, but I do appreciate it. So thank you again. That didn't sound good. It's a loud groaning. Bag it up, up. Here, stick your stick your ear over there. That thing's under full load. Mine, mine them coins. What coins? What big coins? Yeah. What coin is naughty? Yeah, it, it, it's but it's not like. No, it's not like. Whoa! Well, that, that's and that's just airflow basically. You just. That's only three fans. That whole thing is three fans. That's pretty impressive. Another thing I tend to do as well, guys, uh, for those still watching, is um, I tend to, now, Squeers has the Air 540 classic Corsair case, right? Classic. Holy shit, this looks good. Yeah. Like, my laptop is just, they can probably hear my laptop over everything else right now, because it's just sitting here going, Wah! I do apologize for that. There's not much I can do with it because it's on the same, like, level as the microphone right now. So if you hear a lot of background hiss or something, that's the poor laptop. All right, we are now on private connection. Woo, woo, woo. All right, so now what? Uh, Never mind.
Why do I start making one? I'm just garbage. Look at this, look at this little guy. That little guy. What about this little guy? Put it over there? Yeah, put it on here. We gotta get the CPU out of there. Oh, yeah. In here. Oh, we gotta turn it sideways. Yeah, that. probably. Yeah, so we gotta pop this cooler off. Luckily, it's pretty straightforward. What way did we get to your server? Uh, you go to network. Oh, here. The network. Not that network, but just type in network. Yeah. You probably have it pinned in the, in the start menu yet. Yeah, it's, it's right over here. See the little, little networking guy right there? Oh, yeah, cool. And then, give it a little bit of time. You'll find it. You should find it. Unless your file sharing is turned off, which you might be because you probably never turned it on because you don't file share with anybody ever. That is correct. So let's just try on slash slash uh, Python. Temp. There we go. Hey. So, All right. We can look up. Can we just do a control choice? really quick? Okay. And then you can go over to, I think it's pictures, and then uh, I think it's screenshots, and then I'm pretty certain those are the ones cool. we got saved for. Okay, so first that. up, we're going to go benchmarks. There might be some on the mechanical drive, R23.2, Cinebench.exe. This is the harder one, right? R23 the is one. the current one? All right. Yeah. I should yeah, say we current, might not harder. We yeah. might have to redo, though, because yours is probably R20 right here. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna have yeah. to do our. We're gonna do both of them. We'll That's do R twenty and R twenty. See what the performance difference is from where we're at. And that was the when you tried to buy me some memory bytes and yeah. three times or whatever. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I think I finally got the money back for that. Yeah, I, don't know that. Uh, I didn't need to open that. I meant to just open it in the bench. Come on, scoochy scooch under the chin, under the chinny chin chin. No, how about nose? How about nose? Slow or something? Yeah, I mean, I'm at one fucking bar. I don't know what I can do, man. I was gonna bring my antennas here. I'm afraid they're gonna get broken. At the bottom? Why don't they put the important stuff at the top, right? You know? Mm -hmm. They're still at 325 megabit. So it's like better than 100 megabit. Downloading as you speak? I don't know what it's doing. Right, hold on a second. It's supposed to just run. Supposed to just double click on. Mm. Well, I guess. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, never mind. You mean, like, click and run as like an admin maybe? Should be it. Don't, don't we have admin running by default? Like no, I don't believe so. Does nothing. Okay, well, why don't we just do it? Go back. Oh, there no, it goes. It's, it's coming. Oh, God. How many of those do we got loading? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> well, you know what I'm actually going to do? Real quick. Nope. Sam's on my... Um, I need to clean my glasses for one thing. But I have an external SSD with those. Else... Oh, it's loading like a lot of them. It's, it's, uh... Alright, well, we're going to get a real nice workout for this guy. You just, run, girl. Six, you just run 16, uh... 16 centimeters at once, right? That's fine. You, you get perfect benchmarks. I don't have enough cores for that. I need the 5950 for that. Alright. Alright, hit accept on it. Accept. Okay. Maybe we did have to run this admin for only one run. Okay. So well. we gotta go up here, you gotta go file, you gotta go advanced benchmark. And then we hit multi core. Yeah. Go. Even though the single core is the only one that's really gonna see a well, huge we'll run both increase. Of them. Yeah. Uh, a new thing ever since R20, however, mm -hmm. just so you know, the only way it's saved as benchmark scores mm -hmm. is you have to go file exit. You can't hit the close button. So we hit this. Let's go performance. I just want to see it. Okay, so we're at 4 gigahertz. Oh, here, watch this. You right click this. Show graph. Watch processors. There you go. Yeah, you can see what processors are doing. 4 point. Ooh, it's, it's cruising. Holy fuck, look at it go. <laughs> you getting out of the way so the people can see. <laughs> Yeah, it it's work. already like half done. Yeah. I wish my computers. I, I forgot. You, you have one now. 
but, but I forgot. For 3900 I forgot when we were in Preston's. Yeah. It, it gets the half boxes now. It doesn't even yeah. get the full boxes. We, we found that with mine. We yeah. The 3900 You're like, why is it half boxes? Yep. And then the guys who are in the know-how with Threadrippers. Yeah, we're like, oh, yeah, if you have enough cores. And and yeah, it's like, yeah, it does it that way versus just blocks. Why is it like, oh, man, 74% <laughs> CPU. It's like, well, I'm, I'm bored, man. Is this all you got? And this is 23, right? Yeah. So this should be the harder of the benchmarks to run. Yep. Uh, I run these at work sometimes, and they take minutes to run, usually. Minutes. I mean, that was like minutes. All right, here, here we are. Uh, it's still slower than a Threadripper. 16 core. Oh, piece All of right, shit. All right, so then, then run single core. Piece of shit. God. All right, single This core. is going to take much longer. This, this yeah. right here should... Be one of the better ones, apart from maybe a Mac. M1 Mac. M1 Mac, baby. <laughs> Just brum, 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 brum. kicking the shit out of everything since like, 2021. Was that this year? That came <laughs> yes, this year. That's not fair though, because that's like ARM, which doesn't make sense. Well, pretty, pretty, pretty soon, uh, both AMD and Intel will have ARM cores built into them. Yeah. And looking to put the is that, is that six thousand series AMD is gonna have that? Yeah, I don't know if it's six thousand. They announced it though. You can have that. I got the rest of the stuff just in there, so I'm just toss it over here. You'll see a pile of boxes out there. Okay. Oh, yep, yep. It went back to the big squares because we're doing single core. Yeah, just one core. What's the single core at, though? Let's take a look for speed. This is where it should get 4.8. Right, let's see. Ah, there we go. It's not 4.8 because whatever, but it's... Well, it's because this runs AVX. So you usually um, lose 200 megahertz to is ABX. ABX is harder or is the yes. SSC harder? ABX is much harder. And then there's also ABX uh, 512, which AMD can't do, if I recall. Like, that's one thing. Like, if you're running software mm. that needs ABX 512, you have to still get Intel. Cause, mm. But then some AMD stuff does run ABX 512, but apparently AMD's ABX 512 is not the same as Intel's ABX 512. Mm. But then how can they certify it as ABX 512? only reason I know that is Wendell had a whole video about ranting about that because mm. he bought one of the AMD processors saying that it had AMD 512 AMD or AVX 512 support mm. but then it then it it doesn't really have because it doesn't have like Intel's AVX 512 support which is the only one that anybody cares about because Intel prior you know did all the things yeah so, well, that's, that's pretty amazing I gotta play uh, some COD one of these nights and see if it actually Makes a noticeable change. Probably won't because I'm already like almost at max frames on my monitor. So. Well, and uh, here it's kind of GPU bottleneck. I'm sorry to play. No. A 1070? Come on. How good is that black cooler? Yeah, I kind of wanted this cooler, honestly. Oh, you only have fans in the one center. They don't make this one in. Uh... Yeah, but this is this is a big enough for my my 12 core. Right. This is only a, this is only a, a, this is a U12. S. Yeah, I know. You were telling me that. Because I thought it was a... It's not even U12A. U12A uses new fans. Apparently the new U12A and push-pull, by the way, is the same performance as a D15S. You're in a Threadripper? Yeah. Uh, I'm only... I'll, I mean, if Threadripper makes a 16 core, I'll, it depends on the price difference between a 16 core and a 24 core. 6,000 better than a... Than an 8 core Intel 98. What's a 9880 H? Is that, is that a laptop processor? Yeah, H means laptop. Fucking A. That's not much. And that's 2.3 gigahertz. I'm losing out to a 1950. But, you know, considering I came from like here, you're barely losing yeah. out from an You're by a couple hundred points. Yeah. You have a 12 core that is losing out by a couple hundred points to a 16 core. Not a couple hundred points, man. It's like. What we got here? 600? It's less 800? than a 1,000. That's fine. It's like 800 points. Man, we got to do R20 after this then. And then we'll do the thingy. We'll test it out. Wait, we got to test all the... We're going to test all the stuff or just Cinebench? Yeah, we can test all the things. Okay. Well, no, we like for... I mean, you mean for like final benchmarks? Yeah. We probably... To compare the CPUs, we probably only need Cinebench. Cinebench. Okay. But then for your final benches, we should go through and use the... All Ryzen the, Master and then test all of them. Yeah, okay. test all of them. But hey, we got time then to work on this stuff. Yeah? That's true. What time is it? I have no clue. Well, I was going to be like, probably about 10.30. It's probably like the... 
probably go because you got to be at work in the morning, Shit. correct? Yes. Yeah. Here we have done. I mean, I didn't she looks it slick. No, oh, dude. The, Man, if we, if we kept the same fans and everything, that yeah. would have been like real fast. Pop, pop, done. I like the new layout though. It definitely seems like it's going to run everything significantly cooler. So you just have a air torrent, like an air funnel now, no, just no, no, it's fine. through the whole. Oh, is this thing even kicking up? Like, yeah, not really. oh, you're only doing a single core though. I didn't check the temps on yeah. uh, all core. All core. Just double click on the little temp thing. No, no, no. What I'm saying, when we went all core. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, well, well, just double, double click. Max temp yeah, server? double click on that. And I'll tell you what makes it. Sixty-three. That's better, <laughs> considering I think last time we tested it, and that was with that one potato cooler. Yeah. It was like 80. So, sadly, I don't think we got a chance to test it with the 14S, but there we go. Look at, look at that thermal place application. Could you could have gotten any more perfect on that one? No, that's pretty good. Like, it's just over the edge, yeah. but just, you know, like. Yeah. Now, like, I think, oh, we need some more, uh, we need another tube of this guy. Uh, sir? We can go steal it from the oh. boat. There it is. Yeah, uh, there we go. Here's the secret tactic. If you steal the one that I see my hair it's starting to just get destroyed. Use, right? You steal it's the one, the one that head. mom has to use. Then magically, the one that she has to use will get refilled. Is that how that works? Yeah. Where's the other oh, it is? Left it up here. It's cruising. Man, now I can play CS:GO at 600 FPS. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I still got a blast out to you. What did you put on here for thermal paste? Probably thermal grizzle. I say it looks weird. Is that what was on mine? Hey, probably. I don't think so, because mine didn't look like toothpaste. Like this looks like toothpaste almost. Yeah, I'm not gonna put thermal grizzly on here. Yeah, this is okay. on. Well, because for my main, don't you have to though initially? Because is this this one's not getting the 3900. This right? is getting the 1700 X. So. Oh. But we gotta get that out of. Chi PC first, and the 2600 has to go on Chi PC temporarily. Very, like enough for a BIOS update, essentially. Yeah. So, when this goes back in here, I'll probably use the Noctua, just yeah. because yeah. it's it's designed to last and be like Noctua prides that paste on being very stable over time. Mm -hmm. Whereas Thermal Grizzly is like pure, per, you know, like pure performance. If you get some of their lower end paste, they're more I optimized. I can see if like you're a, a tech tuber. Yeah. Using that stuff because. For benching like, and stuff, I guess? Yeah, because you're going to basically. Oh, here's a new thing. Pop it off. Yeah. Like, or my main system that's water cooled where I got to clean it every six months anyway. Really? Eh? Is it. Well, well yeah, you got to drain it for water cooling. It's not that hard to do, but is it really that much. If I'm already in there doing that, is it that hard to really pop off the CPU block and toss on. Yeah. I suppose, yeah. What are you watching? How many people you watching? I don't know. You gotta go oh, check the it, other I tab. I, was say, I thought I used to say. Yeah, one. I think one. It, it gets it gets cut off now because Twitch doesn't know how to make a yeah. the website. What? Hey, at least they're banning the the hot tub streamers. Are they? I think so. I think that's gonna be like a thing you don't do anymore. But, Man, uh, you know how many people we'd have watching right now if this is a fucking hot tub stream with computer builds? We'd kill everything. But. You probably have a bunch of. See, my, I, I, I personally don't understand the issue with hot tub streamers because I will agree with a lot of the Bill or Bigger streamers that there is no way the people watching hot tub streams are taking away from watching, like, your Actual Call of Duty stream. stream. Yeah, I suppose. Like, true. no way. Because the person watching the hot tub stream would have never watched your stream anyway. It's, it's like a lot of the whole thing where it's like with, like, the pirating and stuff like that. Like, yeah. every person who watched this video. Could have been a purchase. Well, no. If they would have had to purchase it, they just wouldn't have watched it. Yeah. In a lot of the cases, is what it would have been. What you gonna do, man? You know. There's we have actual Q-tips. We need bigger ones. I'm just getting the corners here. Yeah. This game. Where do we put the reverse vacuum? Because I'm gonna go blast out Chibi here. Oh, I just launched thermal paste on the board. Uh, please don't do that. I didn't mean to. Get off of here. 
Get off of here. Alright, use my finger. I got it. I got it. Yeah, it's just the thing on there. Alright. Man, you guys are missing some yeah. paint drying over here. Let's see the bench. We're gonna do R20 then as well. Yeah, I can. Uh, I and then, and then we'll hit up Ryzen Master. Ryzen Master. See how fast we can make her, and then we test all the other stuff. Thanks again for the assistance. Could have done without you. Not as easy, at least. Uh, you could have definitely done it without me. But yeah, but I wouldn't have had a nicer cooler. Right. And then, yeah. Thanks once again to Mike for recording that CPU. Yeah, place. I said that before. Even though I don't think he's watching right now. But he was at some point. He retweeted the stream. Nice. Um, he probably wasn't was watching. We were still fucking about with stuff. Man. It's definitely, I think, worth it. I think I'll see a, All right. a difference for what I use it so, for. So. The that cheapster. Look, that look clean enough? Good enough yeah. for you? Alright, I'm gonna get it one more time with just that. Yeah, just to clean her up a little bit. Maybe clean off that thing once more and then go for it. Gotta blast this puppy out of here. Move your pixel out of the way. Yeah, there's my head. Watch out, guys. And gals. Pixel 6. Pixel 6. That's yours right there. Aim for U UXS. What? Uh, no, that's your. Oh, the UX. Yeah, yeah that goes six. with. My cooler now. What well, was your cooler? And to be truthful, as soon as the, uh, as soon as the, are they doing like a D16? Are they, they are D16? working on D16. It's no longer it's no longer coming out this year. Uh, because until before they release the D16, they need to have their new 140 millimeter fans made, and those got delayed. What are what are those? Those are one well. Okay, the 150 millimeter fan is based on their 140 millimeter fan. Yeah. Okay, so they 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 know for sure that they're not going to get a ton better performance out of their cooler unless they have their better fans paired with it. Yeah. Like that's why right now the new A U uh, 14A mm -hmm. is as good as a D 15S, and it's only a 120 millimeter cooler because it, it uses two of the new fans. Mm -hmm. So the only way to beat the U fourteen A with a new like D fifteen A or D sixteen A is going to be to use the new fans that aren't completed yet. They're like, they don't exist. Is that pull this out yet, or should we? No, because yeah, we're literally yeah. going to pop it take out, pop this one there. out of here, put it in there. Yeah. But as you can see with an ITX build, things are not as simple as. Oh, you just pop it over there, eh, man, and you do that there, eh. Yeah, mine's not like that anymore, either. Put a new GPU in? Put a new GPU in, yeah, but Did you realize, in order for me to get to anything in this, yeah. I have to take the power supply out? That's not that bad. I, I, it's cause I did, that's because I did a Don't. pretty good job of wiring it. Oh, man, you're going to have a 12-core monster in that thing. Yeah, um, it might be a questionable decision. Why? Uh, this, this little guy this, and the little Yeah, thing and this motherboard may have only been decided to design for an 8 core. Technically, it does support a 12 core with the BIOS update, but. It's going to put a uh, 12 core processor into a small form factor PC. Yeah. Will it implode? Well, and here's the. it's a B, Here's one thing to consider it's a B350 motherboard. B350 should yeah. be able to support that. Yeah. Why not? Yes, with a BIOS update that then removes the support for... Yeah, the first generation. Yeah, which is what's currently in here. So... Uh, does that work about that? You have a low, low enough... Energy. Oh, and AMD is now forcing... Uh, ASRock was going to come out with BIOS updates to support the 5000 series on X370 because they think it'll work. Okay. Yeah, probably, we'll see what they got. 3900X testing on B350. How good is your B350? This is what we're, power supply we're rocking in GEPC here. This is a uh, Seasonic Prime Titanium 650 watt. So you're running an Aces Prime B350 plus? No. Okay, so you're probably fucking good. I, I have a ASRock Fatality! Nice. Is that guy still around? Yeah, he streams. 
Does he? Yeah. Is he like ancient as shit now? Yeah, and he's still fucking amazing. Still <laughs> like, yeah, one of the things he likes doing is just hopping in. Like, he never played Fortnite before, yeah. and just hopped in, and after two games was just trashing yes. people. Well, this is what you have to look forward to. Your VRMs are basically just, just gonna, gonna cry. cry. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and here's the other issue though. Look what it's in. VRMs crying. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Where, where are they? Where are my VRMs? Well, water cool CPUs tend to fare worse. Ah. All right. So. So you're what do I got? What do I got here? <laughs> All right. Here I thought it was better, but air cooled CPU was actually better. It got up to about 109. Water cooled gets up to 138. Okay. Yeah. Good thing this is my main system. Hey, the, you don't have a cheap board, so here you go. Here's the conclusion. They were pleasantly surprised that there was no smoke or sparks flying. <laughs> it just works. I'm actually impressed with how well this two-generation old platform can run the newest processor. No smokes, you just Thank you, AMD. Intel would have definitely charged us for a new, ship, a new chipset twice. So, using the latest BIOS update, which adds 3,000 to cost circuit compatibility is a breeze, no major issues. All AMD BIOS is used software component called Lisa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not everything is peachy, of course. The high-end motherboards are expensive. They come with series A or VRMs. Yeah. Now yeah, well, this board isn't high-end, but it's not low-end. So this is like mid, mid. You know, like those, there's those low-end ROG boards now. I'd say this is probably equivalent to that. What do you got for a uh, GPU in here? 1650, 1660. The GPU? Yeah. 1060. 1060. Okay. Um, is a 1660 better than 1060? Pretty equivalent. Uh, Twenty. 60 is about equivalent to a, it's a slightly faster than a 1080. Isn't my 1070 tie? Basically, basically a 1080. 1080? Okay. It's slightly slower. It's only run, it only it only has one less compute unit. Is it a 3060 non tie slower than that? I thought I don't it was. Know. I thought I remember seeing it. It was. I don't know. Dude, I am bad with the 30 series, and the reason yeah. is is because I never paid attention to them because you can't get them. So I, I mean, like, when people are like, well, how fast is the 3070? Yeah. I'm like, let me know once you get one. Yeah. <laughs> Aren't they also using Samsung? Like, nodes on them, basically? Or Samsung guys? No idea. I thought they were. I literally paid zero attention. On, like, we well, knew Preston is, wanted a 3090. Who makes the, the 10 series and the, the 20 series for the NVIDIA? Is that TSMC? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think it was Samsung process the reason for the other ones. Isn't that why they're, like, for stupid, the 30 series. stupid powerful, too, and require so much damn power? Well, no, they, it's because they just use a shit ton more cores is why. Now, people blamed, uh, well, the main reason why they use Samsung is Samsung was the one, I believe, that could have delivered the amount they wanted. Apparently, yeah. you going with TSMC, they would have had to get even lower supply. And they're like, mm. Fuck. Yeah. So, I think so that's... like four people in the world. <laughs> yeah, I think that's why part of the reason why they want Samsung is Samsung could have provided more. Yeah. And people were claiming, oh, because it's the Samsung 7 nanometer, that's worse than the TSMC 7 nanometer. And yeah, they are different and stuff, but like, yeah. the main reason why the new cards suck up so much power is because if you look at the CUDA core count, it's like 4X. Over the 20 series? Yeah. And then you gotta remember the RTX units, yeah. there's per SM, like, so per processing, yeah. co like, chunk of cores, right? Yeah. There's twice as many RTX units. Why well, they're that much better with uh, RTX? And yes. Two, right? so, yeah. Yes. Now, you have to remember, like, when people are like, oh, it's four times, I don't know if it's four or double. This happened also with the 400 series, when they actually did quadruple the CUDA core count. Mm -hmm. What that means, though, is that each CUDA core is weaker. So, like, just because you have four times CUDA cores doesn't mean you have four times the processing power. It's because each CUDA core is, mm -hmm. it's either a more simplistic core, mm -hmm. or it's slower. Like, you know, like, slower mm -hmm. speed, slow. that's what happened with the 400 series, if I recall. I mean, they kind of have to do that, though, because they can't just make the cores Correct. faster. You just hit thermal limits. Well, yeah, you know? and the only thing you have to remember too is 30 series is basically they just doubled up 20 series stuff, and people are like, "Oh no, it uses more power!" And it's like, "Well, yeah, because it's not really an improvement." Mm. Oh, like everybody like crapped on 20 series, like, "Oh, it's not that much better than 10 series." Yeah, that's why I didn't, wasn't really that impressed Correct. with 20 series. Now you have to remember though, 2080 Ti was 30 percent faster than a 2080. Than a 2080. That's pretty. So yes, a 2080 Ti was yeah. walking through there like. Yeah. What? What do you say? I'm a 20 series? And he's, goof, goof, goof. And he just slapped it. Uh, 3080 is, I mean, like a 20 Ti overclocked about meets a 3080. Really? Yeah. Isn't 20 Ti, 2080 Ti like... Somebody did a very bad job of putting thermal paste on this. 
That's fine. That's fine. I guess right in the... Don't do that with your 3900. Can, can you? Unless you want to cook you, it. Uh, either hold this or wipe. Grab, grab some. I will, I will hold it. All right. Okay. I did the wiping on the last bunch of them. It's now your time to be the wiper. <laughs> but I'll yeah, sorry this is off the... Yeah, we could probably turn the camera, right? Yeah, we could probably. Hello. Hey, there's Chibi PC over on the bed. Because that is exactly the most static, safe workplace available. Yeah, we're totally grounded. He's totally wearing socks. He's barefoot. Yeah, I, I, hey, it's safer to be naked. I can get naked. Is Wait, it? Then, then wearing socks. What about yeah. my chucks? Well, you have to be not on carpet. That's that's probably gonna create a whole bunch of static actually on. Shit. On carpet, rubber on carpet. I'm gonna break his stuff. My bad. Why does this feel like this uh, mount down here is just wobbling? It is. There's only like a plastic clip that holds. I don't know. For real? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is icy down because the way it's coming off here. Uh oh. But I just went to sleep. Alright. It went to sleep. 15 minutes of inactivity. But it's doing something. What the f. Okay. Well, then you probably go to sleep. You probably just turn the monitor off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're not doing anything on the screen. Like, the GPU is not doing anything. It's uh, done, too. No, it's not done. It's still going. Oh, oh it's not it's done. Still it's still going. It's got to render the full frame yet. I thought it was done, too. Nope. All it's right. still going. It's getting there. So we got the plate. Yeah. Here. Does it smell like fish? No, it just smells like alcohol now. This is probably the worst. I was wondering why cheap PC was running so hot. I know. Um, I know. Next maybe time. my complete shit installation of thermal paste. Next time I'll uh, put a little bit more than like uh, a gray It's on there on thick there. though. Like it is on there thick. I see diamond. I'm just going to rub off. Indian all sort of uh, identifier. Uh, people yeah. complain about that a ton. To be truthful, it's not a huge issue unless you swap CPUs a lot. Now, right now, specifically what we're going to be doing with this CPU is swapping it a lot. So, maybe for the final installation I could put IC Diamond on there. Because realistically, for us powering this up and, and booting it, we could probably, and I probably will, just go over there and use some of that shit uh, Extra stuff I have over there from like why, EK. Why or... you just update the BIOS on this with this, this one? You can't. 17RX. It will not. It can't. will not boot after I put the new BIOS on there. I cannot verify the BIOS. So you want the 20s? I would. It'll. It'll work with the second series though. For yes. Because I have and the BIOS. You can also just throw in the 3900 and it'll be fine. Well, right. So what'll have to happen is. What? Yes, so you basically you have to update to a BIOS with a first and then, gen. And then it kills first gen support. Yes. But it'll still work with second and third gen. Yes. It's possible, no, not fourth gen. Not fourth gen. Not, not with the B450. Now, yeah, with B, well, X370, apparently B350 those series. can do fifth gen or 5000 series support, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But only on beta BIOSes that uh, ASRock was making. Mm -hmm. And AMD told them, hey, lay off, fuckers. We don't want that to happen. And they're like, but, like, you guys don't actually have to, like, you could just let us do it, mm -hmm. you know? Mm -hmm. And AMD told them to take down all that stuff, so. What's really it? So, yep. so, so X370 no longer has 5,000 series. You say Nathan has the, the, the Tai Chi? He has an X470, so he's yeah. fine. Oh, okay. X370, which would be first gen. Oh. Andy never officially said that those boards could do 5,000 series. They started at the 3 series for the chipsets for this? Yeah, the 300 was the first gen. X350, B350 and X370. That would have been your original 1700, 1600, 1500, 1800 X. Why? Because at the time, Intel's Intel at 200 series, so that's one better. Yes, it makes total sense, doesn't it? God damn it. And that's why also we're at, the, we're at the 5000 series, even though we're on Zen 3. And remember, Zen 3 technically isn't Zen 3. Zen 3 is Zen 2.5. Yeah, it's the Redux. So they're just... Which one, was, which one was the tick? Was it the first? And then Tock was the second? Essentially, this is... I'm just getting the Tock or tick or whatever the fuck it is. Yes. The refinement? You're getting the refinement. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Zen 2 was pretty amazing. Yeah. A refined Zen 2. I'll take it. All right. So. Better for gaming. That's all I really need it for. Because what we're doing here. I... 2600 currently in the server. Six core. Yep. Going over to cheap PC for like five minutes. We'll buy eight core. Right? Yeah. Um, then 1700X permanently going into the server because server like more core. Yes. Good. More VM. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then eventually. How much lower is the 1700 compared to the 26? 
Fox speed quite a bit. Really? Yeah, because remember, Zen 2, much better Zen 1. That's not Zen 2, though. That's 1.5, isn't it? Because I have Zen yeah, 2. Yeah, Zen Plus, this is. Yeah, there you go. But the speeds, Zen, you remember how that, like, hard capped at 3.9 for, like, like uh, a lot better compatibility in here, yada, yada. But, is remember. Is that RAM going to be compatible with yeah. 1700? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it. It's not even running like really yeah. fast. I'm gonna move my my desktop over a little bit then so you can crawl underneath. Where? This is the corner. Um, I think, it's, I think it's this one right there. I think that's a triangle right there. But you should get your head in just a bit of check. Okay, it's still there. Hold on. Are you sure? Because I don't think it is. I think it's. So we'll get your arm. Headlamps right there. I don't think it is. I think, it's that way. I, think oh, it's I think it's I think the train goes in the upper left. Yeah. But ooh, let me ooh, let me ooh, let me ooh, let me grab know. a headlamp. Can you can you just No, it's 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 fine. Yeah. I don't want to make sure I didn't bend any pins because I accidentally hit yeah. the little arm that's up. Yeah, sure, sure. Wait, you know what? I have this thing. Oh, we're good. Fuck. A phone. We're, we're in. We're in. You don't have to worry, man. Yeah. We're in. We're in. It's very horribly marked on that board. I'm just gonna point that out. Oh, yeah. They got it on the side, but you see how there's a gray around it in the corner? You can see it right around. Still, I agree with Linus. Right there. There should be a giant, like, gold yeah, triangle on the board. Says, hey, this is where it goes. Alright, I'm going to set this down. And right then just, just to be safe, we're putting this one. I'm going to set that down. I'm going to move my desktop over. And then you can crawl underneath there to do cheeps. Alright. I'm just going to kill my, my mechanical board. My movement. That's fine. I slap my keys in and again when it gets loud. There you go. Oh, 1700X. Uh, apparently RGB is on, so... Oh, I turn, I turn off the other okay. okay. Server now has a 1700X. And now I got a nice blue glow just in there the whole time from uh, that, that card. Oh, the, the Thunderbolt? Yep. Whatever, oh, man. It's Intel colors. <laughs> that is really bright. Yeah. <laughs> that is really bright. bright. Like, really bright. Okay. Turn off the RGB. <laughs> Here's blue. RGB is still going though, so I don't know if I don't have the stuff running. Okay. Uh, no, it's there. Clicking, clicking. I don't know what the hell's going on. Polysync mode off mode. I don't know. Auto start mode. Okay. Well, this is going all right, so I'm just going to realize it. Oh, we're done. We're done. Yeah. So, let's all right, take, so I'm going to take some screenshots just in case. We go to multi core. All right, we go Windows, print screen. Then we go to single core. We go Windows, print screen. And we go back to multi core. And then you make sure so it saves. We have a file, quit. And then if we go to the pictures, Documents. It's documents. Uh, Maxon, Cinebench R23, ranking. Hey, look, I made a little doodle. Yeah. You have to do file exit, though, otherwise it doesn't save it because it's it's poopy head. We got to the core. We can close it up. Right? No, 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 that. We got to go find. Oh, hold on. It didn't remember. Uh, slash, slash. Vermeer. That's what it is. Vermeer's. Before, before there you go. That's when I ran the past. I think we had to run his admin yeah. for whatever reason. Yeah. Minimize and close it out, see what the guy's going on. Do, 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 do. What are you looking for? Minimize, see if it's loaded. Give it a little bit. It's thinking. I think it's the Wi Fi. The, 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 I think besides, like, we have all right speed, but I think our latency is, uh, yeah. Through the roof, yeah. 558. So I gained about 52, I think. Take a look. Put pictures. Put screenshots. Uh, what is the other one? So 3900 multicolor was 7000. What's well, on a different one? Oh, they're 20 though. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. And then so single was 502. Different. So okay, yeah. Like we'll the numbers are completely running. different. Same thing with R15. I run R15 a lot on shitty computers because my I R15 was around for so long. Like yeah. think about R15, R20. Like it was literally like four or five years that that software was around. So I my my like. Uh, now on newer systems, like if you run a Threadripper like your 
or your your twelve core, like anything more than eight cores through yeah. R twenty, it just literally or it's not even through R twenty through R fifteen. It's just like done. And like you 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 don't actually hit thermal limits. You don't hit boost limits because it's just, it's just does it all. Yeah, it's just like boop. And that's why until they made R twenty, oh, people were. Right. On. All right, let's. Uh, uh, yeah, grab one of those. Let me grab a drink. I have a number two. Do you want the good stuff or the eh stuff? No, you just grab one of those little EK ones. We use them all over. EK ones. Oh yeah, those little guys. I see. Alright, E K. E K. T I M. Man, oh man. Here it goes. Release twenty.
know if something just wasn't right, but it was uh, 2,000 points lower than the 3900, so I'm rerunning it with the uh, Ryzen High Performance. I'm going to have to rerun the other ones otherwise, too. Is it that supposed was to be that, I'm supposed to be, um, I think for general use, yes. But I was at 7,000 with the 3900. Huh? Yeah, I only got 5180. Which is below. So I was, I was going to say, I thought it was above the 1950. So I think so and so fucky. Uh, or the 5900 is not as good as the 3900 when it comes to rendering. Oh, you're also running an older. I don't remember. That yeah, one was easier. Proper. Because yeah. if you go here, 721. So I was above the 1950. I'm now like. Yeah, were, were we running Ryzen Master or anything? No. Nope. Interesting. Yeah, so has the performance degraded that far? With Yeah, we're still at fifty four hundred turn in, so I doubt Yeah, that was that. just basically putting high performance mode on. So like I mean we jumped three hundred. But unless it was an you easier know, setup. The uh my only guess is that we had something set because I think that was before I had like we knew what you got, we you got the one yada yada not the one you can use that's the one I have but the fitness high high performance so unless yeah, we try re so try well, running that I think I might have just run on high performance my my own were like and we had I think originally on your system we had all Windows high performance or well, whatever. Well, I'm just saying we had all any load balancing, thermal throttling, yeah. performancing turned off. Like as in, because that's how I I run things on Intel. It was because it also it wasn't until third gen on Ryzen that you wanted to start enabling this stuff for auto overclock. Because yeah. even second gen would still perform better by you manually tweaking it. Yeah. So I don't know if we should like we. Did you do a new bench of 23? You no, didn't do I didn't. It before you swapped it. I so didn't. I was trying to run know, single core. Yeah, correct, yeah. but we don't know what no. that actually was then. Because yeah. this is also a different build of R20. That could be then. That's well, the I'm just saying, because this is 20.060. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure yours is an earlier build of R20. So that's screenshot for you. So you have R20.0. Like, you have launch R20. Oh. So y there might have been some change in the... Gotcha. I don't know for sure because we don't have a. How do you get to a single core then? For uh. Yeah, enable advanced mode. Okay, that's what I didn't know. That's what I was kind of waiting for you to do. File advanced mode. Mhm. Mm and then we can hit. Run. run there. All right, so we just gotta beat five hundred and two. And if it beats five hundred and two, hey, it should. Because theoretically, I think it should scream. Because. And the, those power profiles should have actually gone away if you have the latest chipset, Trevor. Like, it uninstalls them, actually. Oh. Because, it, it, like, Windows 10 on the latest version now, 20H2. I know, I looked, I checked it not too long ago. Manages it chipset, itself. And I think it was April still. So. so, I might just reinstall it over the top of it because you now have a different CPU. Like, when you installed it last time, it might have installed the chipset drivers for a 3900, right? Yeah, true. And not a 5900. Install stuff. We'll get this okay. So I may just reinstall it just in just in case. Just in case. Jeez, of course you put the one that's like glue shut. Hey, it was the one on the front, man. You know? Yeah. What am I gonna do? My guess is it's probably just the bench work. I think so. we're gonna think that's good enough just for a bio splash. Yeah. Slap it down. Yeah, so which way do you just like this? Yep. Clip around there. Mm -hmm. Let me get some thumb thumbers. Yeah, I, I'm guessing it's a difference in um, just the build. Yeah, and R23 it might also be way more optimized for Ryzen. Because mm -hmm. I know R20, that was more added for high core count Intel. Mm -hmm. Like they're finally like, oh yeah, Intel makes stuff more than four cores, finally. <laughs> you know? mm -hmm. Well, they did make six cores, but you had to pay out the asshole for them. Yeah. Eventually, well, with the X99. That's kind of the greatest advantage of the Ryzen became popular. It's just like they forced Intel to actually do something. 
Taylor Work was saying like he's expecting the next generation of the Intels to just kick ass. I'm like, I don't know. Right? No. He was telling me they're going to be shit, basically. 2023, probably, before it's actually... 2023? Until it's on par with AMD, is what they're thinking. Where are you guys? Uh, it should be back in there. I thought I threw it back in there. Not in there. Okay, where did I put that thing? Is it right next to where you're located? Yep. I did. That makes sense. <laughs> That's a type. That's where right. you put That's it? Right. I tried to grab it. There you go. That's why you gotta make it. First. Uh, so, 2023 until they're on par? Yes. So, like, which, what, what are they gonna be on? 10 nanometer then or 7? I think they're pretty much skipping 10. I mean, they're making it now, but I don't think they're putting any more development into 10 nanometer. Also, they pretty much announced that there's. Because their issue with 10 nanometers, they tried to pull the same shit that AMD had when they didn't have to. Mm -hmm. They tried to put a new architecture and a new nanometer at the same time. Mm -hmm. So the, because remember, they released what should have been their 10 nanometer desktop CPUs just mm -hmm. now as 14 nanometer, and that's why they run so hot, and that's why they're only eight cores. Yeah. Um, so they, in order for the architecture to work, they basically banked on being 10 nanometer, but they couldn't get their 10 nanometer out of the door. So that architecture is finally out now as. Uh, we gotta still put a power supply back in there, stuff. So oh, yeah, 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 back yeah. down. Yeah, it's an it's ITX build. Life. This ain't so simple. This thing is life. Yeah, because nice you're missing. Handle. That's, That's why you get this like a strap for mine. Make it easier to transport. Uh, MNPC tech makes them. Nope. That's yours, yours is. would be a bit awkward though, because it would, it would be only on the like close side of your body. Yeah. Like it would be here, where you know on this. Mm -hmm. like, we could do it. He what makes nice. He makes nice strap billet all the way around. Just put a handle like right there. Yeah, just, on the just plastic stick. portion that's just gonna. Well, drill through the plastic, put it into the metal. Yeah, nail all my cable. N management. Nail with nails. You're using nails, nail, not screws. And nail nails. all my cable management. <sighs> man, where did the power supply go? I don't know, man. Where did you put the power supply? There it is, right there. Chips that are the top, but I'm gonna look at something like, real quick. I know I probably shouldn't do this while it's doing stuff, yeah, but you know. Probably not, yeah. Alright. Uh, AMD chipset software. Just go download it again, even if you already have it. Mm -hmm. Always best to do that. Chipset. Two nine. Maybe I didn't. I bet you didn't. Shit. I thought I did. And you just got a new version of Windows, so it's always best to reinstall your drivers after that anyway, because Windows. Half time of your know, upgrade, I know things like the hey, drivers, yeah. hey, you know what? I'm gonna install what I think's the best driver, and it's like, yeah, but your best driver's from 2019. <laughs> yeah, that's the best driver available. Remember those EMC uh, 32 gig yeah. laptops? Yeah, we yeah. said we'd check them the other day. Did you tell them to fuck off? No, but like their their Windows was completely corrupted, and I was looking at them. I was like. All right, let's do some diagnostics. Let's see if it's got bad RAM. And then I was able to load in. It's like 32 gig EMC. I'm like, is this the USB drive? No. No, it's not. All and right, sir, you get like, 18.09. Oh, you know what, sir? You yeah, should use your laptop. We don't. We don't actually even have a bootable image on a USB drive for 18.09 anymore. Well, either. you know, if somebody wouldn't have wiped that computer that I had nicely set up. Who wiped it? I don't know, but remember it was wiped towards the end of me being there. Somebody, you said you came you in and all the images. Yeah, the entire secondary drive was just yeah completely wiped. On that machine, I'm just waiting for it to die. I'm just waiting for something like catastrophic, run out of space. You know how many times work, and I'm just like, I've had yeah. to fix that thing? Yeah, it has been just been good the entire time that you haven't been there. I have no clue why uh, well, it hasn't just like imploded. But I think I've had to delete. I ended, files I ended up it. putting in a new power supply. I think was the last thing. I have that, like, I have a thing I put in, like, a thermal take or something that we mm -hmm. had as our tester power supply. Yeah. And that seemed to, because remember we had that issue where it would, like, once the monitor turned off, it would never come back? That yeah. was a that was a hard drive failure. Yeah. It's got a two and a half inch hard drive in there now instead of a three and a half inch. Because the, the WD Blue, drive? yeah, the WD Blue that was in there died. Is that a one terabyte? Yeah, laptop drive. That's a laptop drive. It's not a slim a drive, though. It's like drive. a Hitachi... HGST thick drive. Here I thought it was a mechanical, like, a big desktop. Uh, no, that one, that one was actually, by the way, that's also a clue me in what was causing that one over there to, and wouldn't go to sleep, but when the monitor turns off, yeah. the, machine just... the machine would never turn the monitors back on. Turns out, fucked hard drives. If you watch the spin up time, they're like minutes long. Mm -hmm. And the computer thinks it just lost the drive because it takes it so long to that's, spin back up. I think that's why I replaced the uh, Western Digital Black Drive in my computer, because I would look at, like, Windows error logs, and it was just 
hard disk error, hard disk error. And there'd just be like 50 of them. And then it'd be fine. And then it would just say like, hard disk error. And it was red, critical. So that's why I got the fire tool. Yeah, that, that's something to watch out Sorry. on. Cause like, and these were all older drives. Because that terabyte one that was in that, that computer at work yeah. was like an old one I pulled from something. You know, but it was fine. Like smart checked out and everything. Yeah. But the ones here, smart, because they were from my ISO backups. But yeah. they were only like one or two terabyte drives. And my ISO backups now, unless it's a four, it's not worth keeping because, you know, Blu-ray images are big, yada, yada, yada. Mm. Um, so, but I pulled it out, and I'm like, oh, it's fine. It's got it's got a lot of uptime, but there's no smart... Like, there's not even any wear on the drive because it was really only used for mm. backing up these ISOs. Mm. But they're 10-year-old drives. So it turns out the actual spin-up time of the drive mm. is, like, the motors are just worn out from being... Spun up, spun down, spun up, Yeah. Spun down. Or just being on, really. So then what would happen is when they were left in that system, yeah. it would actually put them to sleep after a while, mm. and then they would be like, okay, I'm coming back. And then yeah. it would take so long to come back. The computer would be like, no, nah, it's not coming back. I'm done. She's dead. Yep. Fuck it. I don't care. Oh, well, that's... You got plenty of we, we gotta blast this dude out probably at some point here. Oh my god, I'm just looking at the fans. Yeah. There's just like four fans in a row over there. Just boom, 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 boom. And you don't see the one in the front? Yeah. That's why it's cool as shit right now. My god. You barely hear that thing, man. Well, I guess I... Don't have to turn off turbo anymore. Ha 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 I wonder how much of that's the new processor though. It should run cooler. Yeah. Well, it's also, also better too, cause like, aren't the cores like when they did the two cores? Was it the interconnect? Oh, the CCXs, you mean? Yeah, the CCXs and two uh, units. I think you can't have mismatched ones now. Yeah. I so it's not say. like... I thought the interconnect was better with them too then. Yeah, but you're not going to run into the issue of... this. The game's going to uh, run four cores uh, here and then two yes. cores on the other one, basically? Yes. Yeah. Whereas, like, in the past, you could have had, like, say if you had a 12 core, yeah. it wouldn't be 6 and 6. Yeah. It could have been 8 and 4. Yeah. With CCXs, now it's well, now always... Well, the 3900 because the 39 is just 6 and 6. And even the 5900 is 6 and 6. Not necessarily. Those didn't have to be. Uh, I think with those it was, though. I think with the 3900, it was 6 cores and then 6 cores. Right, on each yeah. GCX. Yeah, it's yeah. the same on both of these. So that's probably why, like, maybe that's why I've got some weird issues with games and whatnot. Um, I tried locking it to actually, like, <laughs> only use... Or, or on the new ones, is it... 6 cores. On, the, on this gen, is it 16 cores for CCX or is it still 8? It, that's the one thing I read. If you had the 3700, yeah. it was one CCX unit with eight yep. cores. But with the 3900, it's two CCX units with six cores apiece. Right. Same with the 5900, I believe. Uh, those might even be up to 16 core CCXs now. I don't remember. So you might just have a single CCX. I think with the 59, it's two, though. I think they just fixed the interconnect. I'll have to look. Uh, yeah, yeah, I don't remember all that specific shit. Should we rotate this back so people um, can see? Sure. There we go. Go for it. You don't have to watch my ugly mug anymore. You need to watch Elliot. Uh, we need to move a bunch of this shit, though. There we go. So I can actually get over here. Oh, look this up. I don't know. Once again, I didn't worry too much about 5th Gen Rising because you couldn't get it. Well, we finally got one now. Yeah, baby, yeah! Reddit. Is it known yet if the 5900 with full 8 CCX room? According to an index article, it covers the new Zen 3 6x6. Yeah, so we wouldn't run a 5900 as. But the 5950 is 8x8, 5900 is 6x6, right. just like the. So yeah, it's the same, it's as, the the same as the 3900, yep. Yeah, what they fixed was the lower end chips. So these are single CCX, single, they're all That's single the CCX. 3800 and 3700s were one single 8 CCX, though. And then the... You sure? Yeah, 3600. I'll have to look it up. But yeah, and I know that the newest ones are, like, anything that's below 8 cores now is a single CCX. Yeah. Whereas on some older chips, you yeah, could have, you could have even a 4 core that um, was two CCXs. Do I, do I trust WCCF tech? No, not true. I mean, I know people that, and I almost work for them. Yeah. But. Alright, let's see. And yes, people are like, what? Oh no, 3700X was uh -huh. seven, 7 nanometer 
CCX with two 100% operational four-core CCX clusters. Yeah. Those PC games and that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I said, that's one thing they did with the 5000. Because on the 3000 series, yeah. there are even four cores that run two CCXs. Single chiplet two CCXs are related to those being very different. Yep, even if there are two CCXs for each 8-core chipset, the CCXs should have far superior latency since they are both in the same die for 8-core. Yeah, but I... That, then, I probably won't notice a huge difference there. It's probably a good thing I didn't get a 3700. No, you shouldn't have gotten a 3700. I told you, you shouldn't get a 3700. Nobody should buy a 3700, because you know how much? It is... Oh, shit. Uh, all right, I was saying 3,800, but 3,800 is only... Yeah, it's the same wattage or TDP as my 3,900, only it has four cores lopped off, and then it's... Yeah. Yeah. No. You should either go for the six core yeah. or the 12 core, not the eight core. I think in this instance, yeah. with the newer ones, yeah. you either want the six core yeah. or the 16 core. And if you can't get that... Or the 5900. Well, yeah, 12 car. I mean, 5800 is not I bad love as well. I love the 60. The 60. The 5800 doesn't make any sense. Price is $100 cheaper than your chip. Yeah. Yeah, for but the, four less cores. The 5600 gets almost the same performance as a 5900, and it's half the price. Not for like, like multi-threaded actual things you do. Yeah, but if you're doing like just gaming. Well, then you only need the yeah. six core. I would tell people over and over yeah. again. Why do you think there's a 2600 going in the home theater PC mm. and not a yeah, but how's that gonna work with newer games? See, I, I could I could put the thirty nine hundred newer the new game consoles have eight processing cores, correct? Yeah. Doesn't the twenty six hundred have uh, SMT? There you go. Twenty six hundred? Yeah, I think twenty six hundred has SMT. That one? Yeah. I think it has SMT. There you go. It's got eight cores. Because you'd have twelve cores. Or you know, I'm just saying it has at least twelve eight. threads. Yeah, eight threads. Six hundred X. Because Windows SMT? still does not discern between That's SMT and no SMT. Yeah, it must, it must. Yeah, SMT causing frame rate drops and controller lag. Like. No, that's not what SMT does. You guys are drunk. This is the Steam community. Yeah, this is like twenty six hundred. That's an X. Turn it off. This is another one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. SMT. Oh, the frame rate is terrible because the frame rate drops. Like, yeah. SMT alone wouldn't cause that. You're crazy. That'd be like people saying hyperthreading was worse. And yes, for a time, the only reason why hyperthreading was worse is because you could get a higher OC by disabling hyperthreading. Monster Hunter World. Oh. That game was fucked up anyway. Simultaneous, yada yada. I think it was right here. There is an update coming out February 6th, and I hope they have a fix for this coming with that update. Correct the The only thing you have to remember is Monster Hunter World was got, so broken. I got the update. Things seem to be better. I can make the same run and only get two frame rate drops, which is normally for. So it's just a piece of shit game. Yeah, it Don't is a piece of shit game. SMT, yeah, yeah. That's like that's like the people who uh, come, like the the new. Uh, hey, that that tan wall. <laughs> I like push everything out of the way. Really, really, really squares. <laughs> Sorry, I don't have fine really? motor controls. Wait, I got it. I got it. Really. I leave you alone. Not there. For two seconds. Hey. I got him. I got him, right? It was just two trays. I knocked him off a little bit. Hey, that tan wall, though. Yeah. Nothing to it. That core can do that real easily. Alright, right. flash that by us. You need to put the uh, coolers back on there? That's this one. Okay, never mind. We are going to wait to put the cooler on the 17RX till this thing gets a 30... 8900X that works. Just in case. We're going to crack open this uh, MP01S tonight yet? Or nah. Uh, if we've got time, sure. Alright, we might have time. Yeah. Mouse unboxing, maybe. I have plenty of mice we could unbox that are brand spanking new. I have a razor one upstairs. Benchmarking. Live stream. Oh, hey, this thing needs a bit of a clean, dude. Uh oh. My fan's not spinning. That's an issue. Plug in the power for the pump? I didn't touch anything. Did you unplug any of that? Nope. I then I didn't unplug any of that. I didn't touch shit, man. Correct. So then it, why isn't it working? Maybe because the new processor? Oh, no, because the SATA power is not plugged in. What the hell happened? It got unplugged, it, apparently. And yeah. then it plugged it back in. God thanks, small form factor PCs. You better shut this off so it doesn't... Oh, oh it's booting into Windows. 
She's booting windows with no cooling. Well, she's running now. That's for sure. Woo hoo! Woo! Totally not flying by the seat of my pants. Shit everywhere. I just need to do videos of all of this stuff. Like, now. And get it out of here. Now. Use the laptop to download the new BIOS. Alright, so just hold on to that hundred bucks that you have for me. Keep that for the next three months phone bill, three and a half. Come August I'll owe you fifteen bucks for the phone bill. And then I'll give you fifty bucks. Cool? Sure. Alright, sounds good. Because that, that box just remember is 40 bucks for did. the Pokemon, and then you still have the 60 bucks from the, uh, yeah. the monitor sale, right? Yeah. That's 100 there, so just keep that for the phone bill. It's 26 a month for me, right? me. You'll have to remind me on that. I don't know I will. I'll have to, at some point, if I was... Hopefully the phone bill actually renewed. Do you know what I'm saying? It did. I got a text message. I told you that. Okay. Like I got the text message from Verizon saying... Right. From, uh, from, uh, yeah, Verizon? Yeah. Saying that... Hey, we renewed your thingamajig. Excellent. Here you go. Here you go. Um, 6.0. Supports third gen. Not recommended if using Pinnacle Ridge, Raven Ridge, Summit, or Bristol Ridge. Yeah, but you're Ridge. not doing that. You're going to a Matisse processor. Correct. But yeah. Bristol Ridge is, I believe, first that gen. That's the first gen, I believe. First gen Ryzen? Ryzen, I believe, is Bristol Ridge. Or it might be Summit Ridge. Either way, it's one of the ones... 2600X you got? I have a 1700X. Yeah, but it's not in there now. Correct, but that's what I'm saying. If I would have tried this update yeah, it would've, with... Yeah, it would have been correct. Ah, gosh, gotcha, okay. See why we have to go to See, the... Like, I always thought those were basically don't use this BIOS with that generation CPU. It's the way that I took it. Yeah. Not no. recommended to use this BIOS with that generation of CPU. Yeah, the reason is because they dropped support for it. Yes. When we have that <laughs> basically at work, we've had some of them where somehow somebody was able to install a BIOS on their machine for a generation of CPU that they didn't have. And they were like, why is it being dumb? You have like a 2600. It says it doesn't support a 2600. So we had to roll it back. Yep. And it was, yeah, you can no longer go past this BIOS. Correct, which is why, like, in order for me to this, it was either new everything, yeah. or, I'm, I mean, a 3900 is pretty good. Yeah. So we're just going to run the 3900. Yeah, let's just see what we got. 2600... I'd love to drop a 2070 in there because they made 2070 minis that would fit in there, right? Yeah. Go find me one right now. Try that. A what? 20, a mini 2070. That's a lot. Yeah, because they didn't even exist. Like, if you missed out on the pre-order of the 2070 minis, you couldn't get one. Because, like, even on 20 series, they didn't make, like, ITX... Because most ITX cases now mm. can support a full-length graphics card, mm. they don't make short graphics cards anymore. Or if they do, they make them fat. Mm. And that case does not support a triple slot... You know, because it's older that the triple slot cards didn't exist when that case was invented. Mm -hmm. You know yeah, what I mean? You were telling me about that, yeah. Yeah, neither, is, neither was my motherboard for the home theater PC. So, like, 
I couldn't have all the cards in there that I do if I would have had a triple slot GPU. It would have blocked my second X8 slot mm. on my X79 board. And, like, you, well, that's half your lanes now gone. Like, you know, an entire... Mm. No, that's actually a 16X slot in there because on X79, you have 16X, 16X, 8X. Mm-hmm. You know, because it's a big old beefcake board. AMD is launching performance rising <sighs> by the code name Pinnacle Ridge. 2600X Pinnacle Ridge. Yep, yeah, so there you go. Here, first supported? one, Pinnacle, Raven, support. So it technically doesn't have support for that either. It doesn't drop it, though. It's not recommended to use it. Correct. Okay. So you could do that, make sure the boots pop in the 3900. So it says here, Call it a day. before updating, read description. Okay, then it says to be, oh. if current BIOS version is older than 530, please update to 530 Pinnacle before updating this version. Oh, we're done, but what the hell is going on? What do you mean, what the hell is going on? I got 221 for points for single core. Oh, yeah? I got 502 before. You're earning a completely different benchmark, potentially. Mm, okay. That would be my guess. 7700 okay, let's see what it beats. Like I said, this is, oh, okay. why, this well, is why we should have done you're, you're good. a okay. benchmark beforehand. It's getting beat by a Yeah, I suppose it's true. But this is why we should have done a benchmark. Yeah. Before, like on your, like we're using benchmarks that are on a different version of Windows, a different chipset driver, a different yeah. benchmark. Like we are not comparing, repairing eggs to like ostrich eggs. But I mean, if you look, even here, we beat a 64 Intel processor, a Xenon processor, right, and then. At the very top is a 7700K that yeah. is just spanking a, a, a thread ripper. Yeah. Which makes absolutely no sense. Well, yes, it does, because R20 is from, it's an older benchmark now. Yeah. It was probably optimized for a 7700, like that gen of, Okay. that's Skylake. That would have been a new, like a new, let's go to AMD.com. switch to drive somewhere, but. Yes, I, I mean, we'll be able to benchmark against a 3900, hopefully in a couple minutes here. I just have to figure out. Um, what BIOS I'm on, because it says if you're running Pinnacle Ridge, you have to update to a certain navigating. Like, I'm, I'm happy that AMD lets you update your BIOS this much in support all these CPUs, but my god, do they make it confusing. Oh, uh, yeah, I have the latest chips and drivers. We'll still install them over top, so. Alright, I'm just going to download it again, just in case. And then we'll download. Yeah, I would just still install them right over top. And if, if there's a clean install option, do the clean install option. Close that out. Minimize that. Close this shit out. All there right. you go. And by the way, it would have had red X's if it was going to uninstall. So it might say it's installed, yeah. but it wasn't actually installed because it wouldn't have given you the green check marks. Because it only installs with green check marks. I know it's from doing this daily now. Mm. That it only gives you the green check marks for the things that are not currently installed. What the so fuck? when you updated, win you went yeah. to a whole new Windows version. It I uninstalled suppose. your AMD version of the chipset driver. Yeah, I think I put new GPU drivers in there as well. Since then, uh, or before then? After the fact. Okay. That's the one thing I know. Because I'm just saying, like, like, if you did the GPU drivers before going to the version of Windows 10, nah, it probably rolled you back to the launch 20H2 driver. Maybe that's why everything was so fucky. Thank God. So yes, it's actually having to install your chipset drivers again, and I wouldn't be surprised if your power profiles went away. Like your AMD ones? Yeah. Because they have since... Okay, I am on BIOS revision 5.70. And that said something about needing to go to Pinnacle Ridge something if you're not on something. Okay, so if you're not on 5.30, so we're, we're past... So you can go all the way to 6.6? I can go to 6.6, yes. And if you look, there was a specific Pinnacle Ridge version yeah. of 5.30. So, like, I'm at this, like... I managed to be right at the... Oh, like cusp. <laughs> yeah. What supported what That's why I was telling you, you're like, what do you mean you can't get your BIOS updates? I'm like, Un unless I get a new CPU, no more BIOS updates for me. You know, like. All right, let's uh, let's go back to network. Let's search for your thing. Let's rerun those tests. At least the R20 and see what's going on. Cause I think yada yada is good. All right, let's check power options really quick and see if we actually have. All right, it's just not on a high performance. Uh, they are gone. All yeah, right, I told so you, so it wasn't installed. Yeah, so you want to use? Right, I so would use Bitsum high performance. 
Just because that, unless you got the, well, is your one osmus updated? I no. Yeah, no, then I would just I, use good I only installed that just to test it, and I wouldn't use that. Okay. So min, minimum, now we want 100, because we want literally, this is just going to be for benchmarking. I'm going to probably just go to balance. Yeah, because Windows use. now supports for 3,000 and 5,000. It's built in. Okay. So, like, it, like, Windows 10 now just uses... Is that with all of them, or is it just no, with 5,000? and 5,000. Nice. With the latest chipset drivers on 2004 or newer. Nice. Right. So, like, that's why I was telling you, like, there are definitely, but, like, as much as you don't have a, t a 30 series GPU yet, you yeah. know what I mean? Like, it, you will have even more benefits once you do that, and PCI Express 4.0 GPU, like, PCI Express, you know? Yeah. But, what am I looking for? Uh, yeah, the no, no. pile on temp right there, and then you want to go to tools, and, and then benchmarks, benchmarks yeah. and we'll just, we'll just do R20 again. Fuck it. We could probably, re like, even if we re just redo the. Multi-core multi in R23. Yeah. Like, it goes... You saw how fast multi-core goes. Like, it's yeah. super-duper super duper yeah. fast. Can I have a uh, Ducati flash drive, sir? Okay. By the way, we only use the best flash drives over um, in the props abode here. Yeah. Ducati Sorry. all the way. Oh, we have an issue. You can't use Ducati. He's, he's too fat. Well, then. Um... What else we got there that's kind of put these on label? No, that's Memtest. Can't use that one. Uh, no, that's a Mac OS one. What about the silver ones? Are those labeled? No, it's back on that one. Sorry. Flip it over. Okay, that's a Chronos. Give me one of those, yeah, give me one of those Supersonics. I bet you that was a little bit. Maybe it's the Ducati back. Ducati. Well, I'm going to just use the Ducati, but I'd have to unplug our webcam or our mic in order to use the Ducati. Oh, we can't use this. Yeah. Give me the other one. Take a look. Something. This. Which other one do you want? This guy. The other supersonic. Take a look though. That I don't know what happened to it, but should not be plugged into a PC. Ooh. This one is not like that. It's a PP or something. It, but look at the outside. There's nothing on it. The other side's got shit on too. No, but what I mean is the 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 rubber. Look at the rubber. Oh, it looks like we made the run. It looks like the rubber. Yeah, there's nothing there. Did you do a file exit last time? Though? No, I didn't. Yeah, shit. Yeah. You can go run all test. Okay, we'll go file and then click run all tests. There you go. And it'll, it'll run both of them. Okay. But yeah, you have to do file exit, otherwise it does not yeah, save the yeah, But yeah, so apparently, guys, here's. Uh, okay, let me bring up the webcam. Maybe you'll be able to see this full screen. Fuck! Uh, yeah, we're going to use this nice Patriot super Supersonic, and I, I agree, it does look like Cat Wii, but how would there be Cat Wii only on the inside of maybe the rubber they, cap? Maybe they peep in the cap and then just. There's literally nothing on the cap, though. Uh -huh. Like, uh -huh. oh, Liz and Bonnie, look at that kick some ass. Yeah, no idea. It's just like it's green. Well, we gotta rerun some tests. No, we're gonna so, the and here, here's what a uh, we're gonna rerun. perfectly fine looking, and these were sitting in the exact same spot too. Yeah, they have they haven't moved in top. years. So yeah, maybe something corroded. Did something drip yeah. on there? Maybe. Either way, it's it's a sad day when you have to because these Patriot Sewer Sonics, man, these are classic. These are U first gen USB three flash drives. Where that fucker go? Yeah. Yeah. So remember how I was telling you like. Look at that. Now do you see? Fast now do you anyways. see why I avoid upgrading Windows though? Because Windows just is like, yeah, we're using hard drivers, but but I had drivers installed. Well, yes. fuck you. How fast? And we're only a bit faster than... I mean, we're basically the same as we were before. 52.25? Yeah. I think we were 54 or 54. So. Maybe we fucked up some settings in the BIOS or something. I don't think so. I think it's literally just the newer version of the Cinebench are probably harder. Because when we had it, it was probably such new architecture. It's just like... Whoa. Well, we'll let these run. And then, I mean, we'll be able to compare it against... Uh, by the way, this Windows, completely not updated over here, and we don't even have time for that. Yeah. Um, so, but I, I can pop pop a flash drive in there with, with R23 in there, and we'll see what a, 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 a thermally constrained 3900 oh, God. will... will it probably still kick ass. In this case, just turn off turbo boost. If you're really concerned No, about no, we're going to hit go. I know yeah, it, no, you can definitely just, turbo it, but I'm just saying, like... I, I'm not touching anything. I uh, turned off the boost on there, mm -hmm. and it... It seemed like I got almost the same performance. And it ran 30 degrees cooler. Just from turbo. So. 
Or if you can get it to run at like 4 gigahertz all core, I think all 3900s should be able yeah, to run I'm 4 gigahertz all core stable. Be truthful, I, I'll probably get that system, I'll clean it out, I'll get it up and running. Because it's got 32 gigs of RAM, but until that thing gets a better GPU, it is not that useful to me. Like a 1060 is fine for like 1080p high. You can still play COD. Right, but I have my desktop once I get a 2080 Ti that currently has, even currently has better card in there than that. Yes. The home theater PC has a better card than that. So swap out the card out of one of the other ones and put it in there. Uh, you I, can't, yeah. It's yeah. That's <laughs> yeah. Ugh. So this is why I might, re I might rebuild that into, like, like if I can't, and I'm going to find out, because on 4000 series, I will literally just buy a card when it comes up for it, if I can get a small form factor card for it. Mm -hmm. Like, just day one, just press buy, because yeah. 3000 series, they're not even designing them, because they sell through, they literally make 3060s that are the size of 3080s, mm -hmm. and people buy them. So they don't, like, they just take a 3080 card, put it on a 3060, and sell it, because zero design effort on their part, and they can just crank yeah, out those cool, yeah. You have to make one cooler then. Yeah, it's way simpler. Like and they just extender on the... Yeah. A 3060, basically. That's dumb. And because you'll anybody will pay any price, it doesn't matter that they're spending 50% yeah. more on a cooler than they really should have to, but, and you're overcooling the GPU, because people are like, oh yeah, it's boosting all the way, and yada yada. Except mm. your GPU, that could have been this big, this big, mm. is now like... <laughs> yeah. Sean. Well, I mean, it seems like it's still kicking ass, so... Well, look, well, we'll get the BIOS updated on PC here. It's coming. So, I'm just about to ask me to do. What's the core at? 4.6 gigahertz. So, it's it's fucking doing its, its best. Oh, now it's like way faster. Let's open up task manager and we're slowing down again. Stop doing things. Let's just do its thing. Oh, that that is a thing. By the way, with Cinnamon, you're supposed to run it in high priority mode. Otherwise, apparently, like the system sees it as a heavy. Like, these, these are, like, benchmarking things. Like, yeah, a normal person... Like, at one point, it was dropped down to 2 gigahertz. Now it's um, but, yeah, gigahertz. like, a, a normal person, when you're just running Cinebench, you guys really don't have to worry about this. But, yeah, if you're, like, a benchmarker trying to hit high scores or something, yeah. yes, yeah, so you have to make sure you run Cinebench in high-priority mode. Otherwise, like, for some reason, sometimes Windows 10 sees it as a background task instead of a foreground task. Yeah. This weird... <laughs> weird shit. What the fuck? Windows... I'm only using 5% of the processor. Alright, sounds good. Well, yeah, because it's only using one, one thread of your... Yeah, it's using core... 24 core threads. And that guy's just churning away CPU. One. And once you get Ryzen Master installed, Ryzen Master should help it choose what the best core is. Yeah. You already have a uh, process lasso that sort of does that as well. Yeah. Like it tries to at least use a... Like yeah. it'll, it knows with Ryzen to try and use the same CCX. So just for the lulls, we should just fucking throw a little power max at it. Yeah. Five minute just burn to see how hot this thing can get. Sure. Yeah. I got the new BIOS for my computer now. Our Chibi PC over here. I'm just gonna pop up. Update that, pop up the. Yeah, I wanna update it, make sure it boots on Windows again. Yeah, and uh. See what your 12 core can do. Uh, you got a 12 core monster as well. Yeah, this thing's got the best CPU in the house now. Or will have it in momentarily. It will momentarily have the best CPU. Yeah, but your 6900K or X or whatever the hell it is is still damn good. Yeah. I uh, still the, think the that. Issue, to be truthful, the issue with my 6900K for me is yeah. not its processing power anymore. Yeah. yeah. It is the fact that I can't plug anything remotely new into it. This is just too old? Yeah, well, old? here, you want to know how I got my Type C port? Yeah. My 2080 Ti. That's how I got my Type C port. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> You know how you know how I have one NVMe that I can put in it, right? Yeah. But it then kills my 8x slot, and I'm like, no, I'm not killing an 8x slot for a. Is that a mainstream? No, that's an enthusiast, isn't it? It's an X99, yeah. That's still like first gen of NVMe, though. Like that's how old that is. That's that's three gens ago, Squares. All right, we're updating it. Yeah, we're updating. What do cats do when they update? They purr? Cats purr? Yeah. Yeah. What do my cats do? They go behind the TV stand. They scratch the shit out. Look, look, look at this, look at this guy, though. He's, oh, getting, yeah. he's getting belly scratches right now. Yeah. Look at this. Oh, yeah. He's like, yeah, I like computer building. This is good stuff. I'm going to crawl in there now. 
No, no, no. No, 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 don't do it. See, the thing is, by the way, the new one of these is way bigger. Way bigger. Yeah, but that's tempered glass panel or whatever. Ah, they saying. sell it now without one. Plexiglass? No, and they sell it with just a, a second metal glass. panel. Okay. So I'm really considering... Buying it? Buying it. Are you going to uh, put this thing back? It seems like it's full now. Yeah, we can wrap it up. Just wrap around the handle? Yeah. All right. Does so this okay. go in the tool, tool room on the... Uh, the bottom on the right side. Bottom. The very bottom drawer on the right side. Of what? The tool, the tool boxes. The two tool boxes I have. Oh. Okay. Very bottom drawer on the right. On the right side, okay. Very bottom drawer, right side. These red LEDs are very bright. I should stop looking into them. Very bottom drawer, right side. Yeah, running single core Cinemench sucks! Yeah. Dude, if, if that thing gets spanked by the 3900, man, oh man. Or you're like, what the fuck? How? I doubt it. That's why we'll run, like I said, we should have run on your newer version of Windows before, before with the him. same build of Cinebench, with the same driver. Like, once again, that's why when people are, like, com trying to compare, especially, like, something as exact as Cinebench Benchmark, yeah. like, a small thing of, like, say, you saying it can only do 99% power on your CPU... Yeah, that would only that would limit it to like just under. Right, but I'm just saying that would cut hundreds of points off your Cinebench score. Yeah, because instead of running 4.8, it would run at 3.6. Right, but I'm just saying that you know, a small thing like that, or say you're running a different power profile, like you're running uh, I mean, balanced instead of high performance. I mean, we were running Ryzen balanced before. Right, and we lost a couple hundred points. I'm just saying that like it's 300. Yeah, now, now consider different chipset driver, different windows, di different version of the benchmark, like. And this is why something like like when when Preston and I were comparing my system to his system, mm -hmm. which are actually vastly different. I'm running X99 and he's running and the 2080i. He's running uh, X570 and a 3900 mm -hmm. and a 3080. Now we were comparing though in games though because you can do that. That's a far more it can balance I think because you're running you're running CPU, mm -hmm. GPU, and we ran a couple different games. Like it's much easier to because that's more of a Close you, drywall, easy. Uh, you know, a la uh, that's a less precise mm. benchmark because mm. you're just looking at average frames, max frames, frame times, that sort of stuff, mm. rather than like, you know, and we're also not trying to benchmark the CPU. In this case, we're trying to compare in your same system the CPU. You know what I'm saying? Whereas well, I mean, we just do it in yours. What? See if it's the same. We just right. Do it that's what we're gonna do at this point. But whereas, see how it would run like, that much like worse. when we're. When when we were comparing ours, like the fact that we were seeing like people like that Huge my tw jumps. my twenty eight Ti was at at basically at a stock thirty eighty was like if you compare after like we were in Borderlands three my tw my overclock twenty eight Ti yeah. matched if not in some older titles slightly beat a stock thirty eight oh now when Preston on his on his FTW three went and flipped his BIOS switch from the normal mode. To the OC mode, mm. and then went in precision and just moved all the sliders up. Just slap, basically. And then he just gained twenty percent performance. And then he hit the scan button and he yeah. grabbed another couple percent performance. Just slapped. Yeah, and then uh, I'm just sitting over here. Yeah, but now if he didn't have an FTW3, he wouldn't be able to do that because yeah. he had. And then a lot of people are confused by that too. Like, um, like they see that the stock GPU can add say thirteen percent power to it, and on a FTW3 you can only add like. Three or six percent power, right? Hmm. The thing is, is the base power though limit on an FTW three, right, is way higher. So like a hundred percent on an FTW three power limit is not the same as a hundred percent power limit on a stock hmm. thirty eighty. Hmm. So when you add six percent onto a uh, thirty eighty FTW three, you're you, you probably already were high uh, as high as or higher than without adding that percentage than you can on like the one one hundred and thirteen percent mm. on the like stock thirty eight. Mm. So and that's why we wanted we did on his we did benchmark comparisons of like we literally just plugged it in, left it on the default BIOS, didn't have precision installed yet, hit benchmark. My overclock twenty eighty was at or beating. Now you remember my twenty eight Ti mm. is at like a lot of my speeds and benchmarks and clocks before it died. Mm. were higher than what Jace Two Cents and Gamers Nexus were getting on chilled water. Like, we're talking ice chilled water. And I was getting it on just water cooling. Mm. So I had a really, really nice 2080 Ti. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Like a really, really nice one. 2806. 06, yeah. What are you looking at? I'm going to look to see if everybody else is having updated scores if they have for the R20. No, because they're going to be running R23. Yeah, I'm just seeing what, what people have for the, the uh, Threadripper 3950 518 Epic. Threadripper, Threadripper, Threadripper. Okay. Like I said, the, the other issue with you can. You comparing R20 is this isn't R20 technically this is R20 dot yeah that's what, I, that's what I got is R20 like this is the newest version of R20 but I'm just saying that your old benches yeah even though you're technically R20 mm-hmm. it's a different version of R20 okay, yeah, that was the one nice thing about R15 though too is R15 they never like they updated like once or something yeah you know what I mean that's why I have such a uh, yeah dude I'm definitely off. Single thread should be like 636. Then we probably fucked up something in the glass. Multi, multi-core should be... Correct. Then, then more than likely you fuck something up in the glass. Because okay. just go in there, not hit default, but some setting in there we screwed with that we shouldn't have. Or people, those are overclock settings. Are you, have you checked if those are stock settings? Like I would go to a Gamers Nexus review, look at the Cinebench for a uh, 5900X. That's like Because he has Cinebench scores in, in Gamers Nexus. I know that for a fact, but he's probably gonna have R23. Hey, look though, we're back up. Hey, all right. So I'm gonna restart it. it and then I'm gonna shut it down, turn it back on, make sure it turns back on, and then we'll and pop the other CPU in there. And otherwise, we screwed something up with those advanced settings in, you know, like the PBO settings. Would be my guess. It says you pushed overdrive? Yeah, like when, the, when you switch it to I'd advanced and tweak yeah. some of those. It should have just left it at auto, is what I would right. say. But yeah, the only way to get the plus 200 is to go to advanced. Yeah, we're not even getting 4, 4.8. Right, but that, what I'm, you get what I'm saying though? Like, so. Yeah. I mean, we should be getting 5,000 with the plus 200. At least the single core. Right. We're not even getting 4.8. Right, so something got. Something's fucked up, yeah. Have we ever updated the BIOS with the new CPU? No. We might want to do that. And yes, I know we'd be going to the same version. But that is also a thing. Unless they release a new version. No, I'm just saying that that is a weird, something else where like, just like, even though like, say with a GPU, even when you put like, say technically that driver, when you go from your 1080 to your 3080 or whatever, that's the same driver. Mm. Reinstalling it sometimes will fix things because it's technically a different chip that's in there. No, we wouldn't ideally want to do that because we already tweaked a bunch of other settings, but, you know. You don't have to watch this video. He's got the whole article on his page. I just have his stuff. It should be linked in the description of the video. Else. Okay. We rebooted fine. That's a good sign, right? You also have a laptop right there, which probably would be easy to look that stuff up on, because his website is not very optimized for mobile. Core frequency validations. Okay. I'll just jump to it. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Um, info shop blender chromium. I don't see it in here. Right, it might not be in the video. He has much larger benches on his website. They do more than what he covers in his videos. Yeah. That's on the website. I know for a fact they will do something. Okay, this thing is good. I'm going to shut it down. You can pop a 3900 in here and you can get a benchmark of the 3900. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it'll be the least optimized benchmark you'll ever have seen because it won't have the right chips at Travers, won't have the right windows, won't have the right anything. No, 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 it's going to slap watch. It might, you never know. Yeah. And, but you gotta remember, sometimes there was an issue too with Cinebench and Ryzen, mm. where the numbers it reported on the bench were all wrong because the high precision clock timer in Windows didn't line up with Ryzen's correctly. So time actually passed faster or slower than it did, which caused the number to be higher mm. because the numbers were based on like how fast the benchmark finishes. Mm. But the clock was actually slower than real life, or faster than whichever one makes it faster. Mm-hmm. So like it actually the first time you ran it or sec was it successive times or the first time something in there 
if you didn't do like a full restart in between Cinebench runs or something like that, the runs would be like faster or slow. Mm-hmm. This is one we, they've fixed that since like by now that should be fixed. Mm-hmm. But that was a thing. Mm-hmm. I remember uh, Paul's Harbor like having to like re- he had to like make a follow up video. He's like, mm-hmm. oh, we thought this was way better than it was supposed to be. Turns out no, it's just Cinebench and drivers being. You know, because, of course, never, nothing's ever, like, tested and tweaked for any of these benchmarking things before it's released or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, trying to search out things on his website is the fucking man possible, it seems. I will find it for you in probably 30 seconds via computer. That's why yeah. I said... Let's get this through. Browsing the web via phone is ass, always. Let me, uh, get you the 30 minutes. Oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so, if we go to... Gamers Nexus uh, 5900X. Here is the 3900. Bench marks. GamersNexus.com. Where'd it go? Yeah. Review. And I can't spend review because review apparently starts with a B. Preview. Don't worry, Hamlet. I'll give you some pets. Mr. Elliot's looking some stuff up. Yeah, that's right, buddy. Give me some pets. I would check, otherwise just reinstall your existing one. Okay, Cinebench 20NT. Uh, that's power consumption. Can we get a score? Do you not do scores? My laptop is working hard, dude. Yeah, I can hear it. It's louder than my machine. Cinebench R20 yeah. 8, 8836 is what um, 36? Yep, yeah, was what uh, Paul's heart was getting. We're getting 5225. Right, so I would re- update the BIOS to the, even if it's the same version, update it again. Yeah. 633 was what he was getting single thread with a 5900X. Okay. I don't know if that's overclocked or not. Like, uh, we might just need to, like this guy said, install Ryzen. Yeah, we have to do that as well, for sure, but you shouldn't need to get base level performance. And what do we got? Here's a single bench score, 237. They aren't way low. Correct. So something, right. first, th- first thing I would do, just default the BIOS. See if we get better, if we get better speeds by just defaulting the BIOS. 
But I also would stop using R20. I would use R23 because that's actually what... Yes, we have previous benches from your own, but we also have previous benches from your own on a different version of Cinebench. Like, yes, it's R20, but it's like... All right, let me just do file quit. I did a, a Windows print screen. Yeah, you file quit, and it should save the scores. Would you like to save your benchmark scores? Yes. Right? Yes. R23 was 15, 15559, and we're getting 558. Who, uh, who else does good? PC Per does. PC Per Perspective. They do a good written review. 5900X. All right. Oh, I do have an update for Nagisa. Well, it didn't do it for yours. Alright, so Jeez. You, go. we'll you got a jump drive I can use? Y yeah, it's over there. Should Ducati? be. No, it's the literal one that was in the butt of the... It's still... No, here it is. But if you want to use the cow, you can. I don't know if it'll fit. It's here. Uh, Excuse me. I'd probably unlikely. You just went multiple versions of BIOS, multiple versions of you, you, We just installed the driver. Yeah. Until we installed it, you didn't have it. Did we ever restart after that driver? Yes. Yes. This is like you forced to restart, but not mistaken. All right, so I don't need this uh, BIOS. Okay, yeah, I would here. delete the one I was using off there, yes. Thank you. It's already formatted FAT32, so you should be... Yes, even with reviewers, though, because if I recall, people only had the 5950 on launch and the 5600. That's why it's hard to find benchmarks. Yeah. And then um, I know when Gamers Nexus, it looks like when Gamers Nexus went back through and did the rest of them, they only did, like, very specific things they were interested in rather than, like, generic... Um, so they might not even have stuff for... They, don't, they, they have, like, power draw during Cinebench, not... Not... The actual not scores. Correct, yes. I'm just. It's so hard to find stuff on the fifty like the fifty nine hundred X. Seriously. Yeah. We should have the new Geese update too. So. Okay, I got it. Okay, here's Blender, Corona, Corona Crisis. I'm just gonna do auto for PBL. PO V Ray, V Ray. Here's R twenty. Okay, they have fifty nine hundred would be. Uh, here, no, no, eight thousand, eight, yeah, we were three thousand, three something, that. and this is fifty nine fifty. Yeah, we were like, and then 3, Paul's 000. hardware had uh, something. It was different than that too, but it was, Oops. you know, better than what we had for sure. So something. Oh, fucking. Yep. Well, this will default all the bio stuff. It'll just enable XMP. Well, uh, enable XMP memory. Make sure you do the fan curve. You do the fantastic. Yeah, you guys. Is this going to save my profile or is it going to make it? It nukes your profile because profiles can't go between BIOS That's versions. Crazy. It's fucking stupid. That's why you still take pictures because when's the time that you most need a BIOS profile to come back? After you flash the BIOS? Yeah. Isn't that great? I thought the uh, ASUS board that we had did that though. 
You know what I'm saying? We might have had one that did. No, none of the old ones. It might be some brand new Asus ones that do, but I've... Like, I think I've seen some very new ones that will start to. um, And I've said this for a long time. Like, well, some of the settings will change location or not be named the same or blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, then tell me that. Be like, hey, we couldn't restore... Can I put your server back up over here? What? Since we got the 1700... Oh, we got to... No, we we still got more stuff we got to do, dude. Yeah, we got to put the cooler back on it. I was just trying to clear some stuff up. No. Compute benchmarks. Uh, Cinnamon Char 20. Yeah, he had 8836 and Anantech because that tab just closed because I didn't want to see that at all. You know, not at all. I, I'm just. H- how did it close the tab I was looking at? That was literally the tab. Windows. I was fucking looking at. Cinnamon. Yes. And the- I don't know where the fuck it went. It just, like, literally disappeared. This, my tab I had open. So did the Paul's Harbor video tab. When, uh, Firefox has been doing a weird thing lately with opening new tabs, too. Like, mm-hmm. if, if you open a new tab mm-hmm. and you want it to open on the left rather than, like, way at the end of the right, mm-hmm. it doesn't, like, scroll back to it anymore. Like, it's this weird... Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's, so, it's, like, it's technically open, but you can't see it because it's, like, on the left of it. Because yeah. I have it open tabs next to your current tab. Not whereas the default for Firefox in all browsers right now is to open up your tab at your new tab at the end, mm. which is annoying because I don't like if I open a new tab and it's a link from my current tab, I don't want it all the way at the end of the fucking. Mm. No, I want it right next to where I currently am working. So, yeah, pisses me off. Uh, eighty three ninety nine from Anantech Tech for multi core and fifty nine five nine five for. Alright, programming success. But they also don't say which Cinebench R20 that is. I think it's literally just R20. Like, not R2006. So, and I don't think I have just straight R20 anymore because I went, like, you can't get the old ones once the newer ones. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can probably dig through my downloads folder and find it. Yeah, and they even say when they're running R20 versions, like, R21 launched with, like, R21 was out by the time this was out. But if I recall, like, they had no time to review these. So I don't think they any of the, these tech reviewers had time to, um... Oh, it does say that, but you can't look the profile. Try a little, I mean, you can try a little. I mean, at this point, I wouldn't. Did you already update the BIOS? Yeah. Totally. Yeah, so I wouldn't bother. Just, we can figure out what... PCT, yada, 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 PCIe, we want that enabled. I can't do... Oh, I gotta disable... Uh, CSM. CSM. See, that shouldn't even be enabled by default anymore. The only time you need CSM is for non-UEFI compatible systems, right? Was Ryzen ever non UEFI compatible? No, it wasn't. Say we don't want Windows Boot Manager, Fast Boot, no, we don't want that. Security, blah, blah, blah. Security boot off if you don't have it. Tool, RGB LED, that's off. Hit apply, just, just, apply. there. You might have to turn it on and back off Windows at some point so you guys actually remember. Just turn off LED and S5. Enabled, right? Uh, turn on LED in S5. I'm not sure. Feature M2 support in the M2 M2 3. Yeah, I don't so. know. Okay. This you have to look at that one. I don't remember which one is. GMB HD audio? I think that's disabled. So well, you don't have any audio. audio. Yeah. And you said PSY cable disabled. On. Then you want to turn Bluetooth on. Enabled. WAN radio. What's WAN radio? Uh. No, 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 no. Wi- oh, Wi-Fi. Yeah. Okay, because w- that makes that should be WLAN, not WAN. Because WAN is well, you also have 3G. Then you also have the Wi-Fi right here. Yeah, and then you have the Wi-Fi. I, I, see, because WAN makes no sense. Because WAN is wide area network. That would be like a like a 4G connection or something well, like you got. to the new BIOS updates because a lot of the stuff <laughs> that they, they name, I, I, yeah, they move shit all over the place. And it's weird. Storage, something like that. ACPI, I want deep sleep there. That's the one that we were... Trusted computing, whatever. PBS. I wouldn't me- mess too much any further. I'm pretty certain I have a Gen 3 for a 16X, right? <sighs> yes, yeah. you can force it for your... That's what I'm going to do. That's the only other thing I did that was kind of weird. Thunderbolt support. Enabled. And then 
security level. Uh, no security. Uh, display port only. Uh, that's just throw it. Yeah, because you don't have secure boot. I mean, like, right now, somebody could literally plug a Thunderbolt device into your computer, though, and, like, literally fuck it. But, I mean, like, they would have to get physical access. But, like, yeah, okay. yeah Thunderbolt will let them access, have access to your, your PCI Express bus, which, once you have access to that, like, you're yeah, you're just... If you have to have direct access to the computer, anything, correct? Correct. I'm just saying that normally with direct access, Eco, like, they would literally just be able to plug in a drive and completely fuck you. Advanced you know what I mean? Limits. Motherboard. See, that's where... Didn't we just do auto before? Like, you wanted to try just auto, didn't you? Precision boost overdrive. Go up to... Yeah, just do auto. I mean, maybe we can do the rest in... Oh, and two more. Yeah, and the other one. In more. Ryzen Master or whatever. Alright, CBS, CPU settings... Core performance boost on. Up. Uh, up. Course, okay. Yeah, core. Oh. oh it's no, just no, disabled. Okay. Yeah, it's all okay. disabled. Fast short. DF common. Whatever. Uh, no, I didn't that. I think you said enable. Yeah, you want IO. Yeah. And then do we need alternate alternate routing ID interpretation? Yes. I believe. Or auto. auto. Yeah. HD, HD audio. Is. Disable that shit. Yeah. Enable AER cap. I don't know what that does. I'll just, no, I think I didn't need that. Because I think that's advanced error reporting capability. I think that's for ECC RAM. Um, so we're not... A lot of this stuff, to, I because my only AMD system personally... I'll do just the CPPC, and I won't touch the DFC states this time. Yeah, I don't know, dude. I just leave it all auto, and it works fine. <laughs> I mean, maybe that. once my main system is Threadripper, I'll actually go through and, like, because half these settings, like, if you notice, because that's the AMD portion of the BIOS, like, yeah. that has to be included in every single AMD BIOS update, because that's part of the... I gotta do the fan tuning. That's part of that whatever thing. Uh, do do fan, tuning. fan tuning. Fan tuning first. Fantastic tuning is if you want to tweak the curve that it creates. Oh, uh, uh, hold on. Well, you're going to have to... Is there anybody to cancel it? Probably not. No. Because you didn't tell it what fans were doing what and with what oh, yeah, and shit. all that shit. Yeah, so it's just going to be dumb. Because so, yep. yeah, okay. it's going to do voltage control to our PWM control fans. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, God. Um, but the... Brain. The, what I was going to say is the... Those, oh, those... Ajisa. That's what those AMD-specific things are yeah but if you notice amd describes them very very poorly like it's like air advanced air report aer is advanced air reporting okay what what what, what is that like you should tell us disable like you should tell us that like uh, affects ecc memory if that's what it does or whatever you know what i mean like it. you have that cap it just goes over there you want me to nuke it that just, might, just my toss it up there that's right. fine um uh, but you know what i mean like they should actually tell you what yeah. The, yeah, like how, what it affects, what things. it does, like literally more than there's. There's a couple of things that are advanced error reporting that they have in there because I'm pretty certain. There's Correct, but you get what I'm saying that it shouldn't just. Yeah, I can understand that AER stands for advanced error reporting. Whoop de do. Yeah. What the fuck does that mean? What do we? What do we? Old biases used to actually tell you. Yeah. Like even 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 when they switch to PWM fans, it would say under the PWM and, and voltage control like yeah. PWM controls them via pulse width modulation, meaning. The fans, like, 12 fans run at 12 volts and are modulated. And then it says voltage control. Or, you know, like, whatever. It'll say controls by lowering the amount of voltage sent to... Th there you go. You could tell us that for the other, you yeah. know, like... Yeah. Or, like, it's like, this controls this setting. <laughs> what the shit? <laughs> no. And that's why I... for Because I have not personally run a, a Ryzen system, and most people I've built them for don't... Like, besides... Just putting it on auto and turning, putting in Ryzen Master, that's been fine for them. You know what I mean? Like even Preston. That's and he, Ryzen Master basically doesn't really force you to go into the BIOS and like set stuff up. Correct. It, does, it allows you to do all the other. And shit. now even on this system, I don't even think he's run because he doesn't have the new Ajisa that enables resizable bar. Even though he had like, like because that came out like the week after he was here for building it. Yeah, I, I think. think I think this Aegis update allows the 3000 series CPUs to talk directly to the graphics card. That's resizable bar. If you have bar. the interconnect, yeah. Yeah, that's resizable bar. Yeah. So, and yes, 3000 series cannot do that. That was. Why is, it, why is it called resizable bar? Bar stands for something. Mm. You okay, Richard? Um, yeah, she's going over. She's like, I'm going to check this shit out. I think it's like access routing or something. Mm. Are we still streaming? Uh, yeah, we're still streaming. Damn.
People are seeing us lose our shit over here. Not really. Oh, um, do you actually have, like, the new version of 3D Mark and stuff? Do you know if you have, like, the full-featured one or not? Uh, maybe. Because... Oh, 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 I was just going to go fucking psychotic. Yeah, because they're not voltage control. All right, so now we want CPU fan one setting. It literally doesn't matter because there isn't one there. So we'll now go to the other ones. Uh, what do I want? SP1? The semi-passive? This, no, this, one? The this one right here? Go. CP, no, and we want to go down to chassis fan one. Yep. BWM mode. Uh, just do standard for now, because we're going to reprogram on you. And then modern motherboard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then zero that out, where it says 51 second or whatever that is. Yeah, it's, it's a clicky menu where to hit enter, I think. What did you, what did you just do? I left and right, man. No, I think you just got to hit enter on it. Yeah, yeah, hold on a second. There you go, and yeah, so just do zero, and then you gotta rerun the fan train. The fan yeah. Train, yeah. Fan tuning. Let's take a photo of that for him. Well, yeah, theoretically, it's... like, whatever. Yeah. Well, what you will, this? once we figure out what the correct settings are for your other word, like, Peyton, who he just got back to me about the. I think this the is link the for the. Uh, the whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Um, I sent him the link for because 3D Mark has a humble bundle right now, $8.99. You get all three of their benchmarks, like VR Mark, 3D Mark, and, uh, and normally it's like twenty dollars per benchmark or something or more. Yeah. So and Preston didn't. He does not have, like he at one point had 3D Mark, but there's been newer things added to 3D Mark, yeah. and of course they don't give you the new things for free. That's ridiculous, right? Let's try to do your stuff. I, it's fine. I I can get my stuff done whenever, and trust me, I go to bed later than eleven o'clock. Normally, you know, but. Let's try, let's try to get the 3900 um, in there, at least. Remember? I got these clippies I found over here. Yeah, yeah, these yeah. are not the clippies for that, because those are black, right? These are the clippies for the yeah, other one. Yeah, they're on there. Yeah, but these are the clippies, then, for the... Let's at least get your 3900. Which ones is this for, then? Because the... This is for the one that's in my home theater PC. These are the additional ones, right? If they were over there, I think so. Well, you have no more additional ones, because they're all in here. Yeah, that's correct. Okay, so then these are the ones... Well, it's gotta be yours, man. Yes. And they're not for the one on the server, because that's black wires, right? The like wires are on those fans still? Yes. Are they black? They're, they're, still, they're still clipped on them. Yes. Okay. So. Let's get this 3900 in. Let's see this beefcake fucking processor. And this little Bit thing. Fighting another beefcake fucking oh, processor. Okay. And, uh, yeah. Let's see how much junk we can. This is never fun. But yeah, so initially, this 2600 in here was most definitely running without even the pump running on the AIO because apparently I forgot to plug in the SATA power that was going to all the SATA devices. Son of a bitch. Yeah. So, uh... We just have Pokemon poles. Walmart, MJ, we believe. MJ Holding, yeah, that's the, their distributor. They're one of the big distributors. So... Well, not Walmart. Like, uh, did you see the news that Target doesn't, they're stopping to sell, you know, we're selling Pokemon cards? What? Why? Yep. Because, uh, they've been having, like, fights and shit in, uh, down in Brookfield, Wisconsin. Uh, yeah, some dude was getting mugged for it, and he pulled a, a gun. Pulled a gun. Yeah. Which, he, he, fuck, if I was getting mugged, hell, and I got me, that's probably what I would do, too. Did he, uh, shoot some more? No. He yeah, just, just pulled the gun, and that diffused the situation, yeah. Yeah, it's gone. Which, is, that's what, how you should probably use a gun. Like, you don't just start capping at people. There you go. Red guys on here. Because it matches my theme of red. Yeah, but they're not, they just, do they hold the plate Yeah, this holds the shirt? bracket, yeah. Because yeah. for some reason, these ones, right, look. Yeah. These, they use the other, the M3 thread, not the, okay. I don't know why. Yeah. Ask Liam Lee. Right. <laughs> Alright, so I think, I think we're good. Okay, then I would go and, you know, just rerun. Save changes and restart, and yeah. then go back in and save this actually setting, the setup. Yeah, you could probably save it, save it over your previous one or whatever. I'm just yeah. interested if we get the same benchmark as we did before or not. Or if it goes up or what what happens. That's right. what I'm interested in. Got this fancy. There it goes. Well, it shouldn't have even been doing that. If the th if the fan profile applied properly, like we'll see when it restarts again. It's rising. Well, 
it may not apply to the fan profile that you tuned because it hadn't restarted yet, is what I was. Yeah. Very true, very true. That's right. Yeah, it doesn't say that shit. Alright, so it looks like everything's 3600, 1800 megahertz there. Yep, okay, so let's go on down. We'll save the profile to Squeeps. Save user, de save user default. We want to go to Squeeps. Alright, Squeeps is fine. Save. Save changes and exit, and we'll go in. And it's like technically you should be using R23, but like I haven't found any reliable benchmarks for R23. Um, yeah. For 5900s? For 5900s. Compare we guys? Yeah. Because everybody was still using, uh, during initial benchmarks, they were still using R20 because they didn't have benchmarks for R23 because it just came out. Mm. And how they were given the 5900 and 5600, because those are the ones that AMD shipped, were the highest end. Mm. And they, no, they were shipped the 5950 and the 5600. That's mm -hmm. what they were shipped on launch. Mm -hmm. And then everybody else just had to acquire their own 5900, you know, like the other in between CPUs. Mm -hmm. And the initial benchmarks for 5950 only had R20, it looks like, because nobody had, like, they couldn't go backlog three years, five years worth of CPUs mm -hmm. in, hey, it's your CPU, it's two days later that it's coming out, you better have your review ready. Motherfuckers! Ah! Let's make sure that we are. Uh... Oh, I'm clicking the wrong button. We can even try normal. Bit some the highest performance. So bit, some highest, yeah. bit some highest performance. Should be equivalent to ultimate performance from home, yeah, whatever is it, pro for workstations or whatever? Any of that shit. So let's just see if this is working properly. One, four, seven. We're getting 4.8 now. At least on some of the cores, we weren't getting that before. Yeah, 4.47, 730. Mm -hmm. UEFI too. Yeah. Dude, boards are weird now. Because it's like, oh, to be on a certain Windows version, you need a certain UEFI version. To be on a certain CPU, you gotta be a certain UEFI version. To to run certain games and have certain DirectX versions, you gotta be on certain Windows version. Like, so it's this like just tiered like layer upon layer upon layer of like updates. And it's like mm -hmm. Windows, you do realize that I love to be as like unupdated as possible. Like file, run all select tests. Uh, I would just do multi-core because we only like. I mean, like, do you really care about single core? We can always run it if. I mean, yes. Okay, then run them both. Run all selected tests. Boom. I mean, all right. Let me just hit that going, and then let's get this 3900 in your machine. Yeah, this, this is going to be a two-person job. I'm not even sure if you necessarily. If this is much better, I'm not even sure if you necessarily need Ryzen Master at this point. Yeah, you put it on there because it's got the auto OC thing. And you just you just get more performance for free. Okay, I guess I guess true. Sure. We'll rerun that. And if, preci if Precision X has taught us anything, or Preston got more than twenty percent gains yeah. by just moving some, he, he just flipped it from normal to OC mode, and took the sliders and it went boop, yeah. and then hit scan and gained another two hundred megahertz. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you do it because it's more than twenty percent performance boost for the cost of. Wait, nothing. Oh, and hey, did you notice how a 3090 on average is only 10% faster than a 3080? So look, hey, we're just now faster than a base 3090 by just like moving some sliders and turning up some knobs. Yeah, you don't want to tell me about that. You could have an EVGA card for that, correct? Uh, uh, no, it's if you nice. use, you can use MSI's uh, afterburner after as well. Burn. It's just not as good. Um, yeah. The interface. The interface is not as kind of clunky comparatively. Alright, what do we got? We're going for 5225 to. Fifty-one ninety-four. All right. Well, I guess we'll install Ryzen Master then. Let's see what the hell's going on. Just before it's be great. All right. Or or we can look up what R twenty-three benchmarks are supposed to be, and uh, compare that because well, once again, there the people that are benchmarking R twenty yeah. are also benchmarking what you originally benchmarked R twenty, which was R twenty, not. Yeah. R20.60. Because that also wasn't out then. Like that. When, when did this come out? I don't know. I'd have to look at my downloads and my version. But yeah, it is a newer version of R20. Right. That came out, I think, after R23. Well, this is kind of confused because we, we did beat this shit out of a 1950X before. Yeah. Because yeah. I, I think people had a 1950X and they were like, sob, because my. 16 cores now getting beat by a 12 core processor. Well, yeah, because the third gen is faster. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, this was super easy to pull off because um, oh, face. it was smooshed. It just right, it was it. on there for like three seconds. You know what I mean? You got it. I'll hold it. You didn't clean it. But uh, yeah. Breaking thing. The uh, the we gotta figure out what's going on there. And I don't know if it's just a mismatch of benchmarks or because like like i said we never we don't have a benchmark of the pre pre, pre you swapping the cpu yeah like, we, we literally do not have one theoretically you put the 3900 in here running it should be almost identical Duh. i don't even know what version of windows it's running or cpu chipset drivers so it's gonna be like a worst uh yeah but if it's like worst case scenario comparable to it you know yeah i would expect it to be worse not like huge but yeah. 10 percent so, what would it be, 51, so 5,000, if you're getting 5,000 on that one, and I'm getting 5,100, 5,200, yeah. that's something's up. Then I would say, you know what, then it's probably good. Then it's, then it's not the actual processor being a piece of shit. Yeah, I like when thermal paste has only been on there for like, sub a half hour. It comes yeah. off like, really nice, dude. You know what? I mean, yeah, if you look, it's 1700X. He's getting 3400. And we're beating that by almost twice. Oh, shit. Yeah. So. Yeah, I don't know what yeah. numbers we're supposed to have. And the benchmark numbers that we, um, we see here. we're seeing are for different versions yeah. of the software, which is an issue. Well, and that's why R15, like we could benchmark R15 and I could figure out what it is. But you're not supposed to use R15 for AMD Ryzen stuff because it's not optimized for it yeah. at all. Like straight up not optimized for it. Let's see. All right, right, there's some definite goop on, that I'm getting all over my fingers. Mm -hmm. Of course, right now that I need to get off here because. It's all around the lip of I will deal with it. I'm more worried about the pins on this yeah. getting bent than I am a CPU that's in a box Protected. in a socket that yeah. you can't wreck because it's on an Intel socket. <laughs> AMD is probably going to LGA for the next set. LGA is better. I'm surprised they didn't for go. 6000 series? Yeah. They're taking the pins off the CPU? Yeah. Well, they already have it that way on Threadripper. Everything else but AM4. Is already all their mobile chips are either BGA soldered or they're LGA. Hmm. I don't like. I think the only reason why I went pins on these is because of the fact they were. Uh, do they have a container? Another one of these. I don't believe so. I should someplace. Um. Fuck. Probably not readily available because it's like that. That was in there, and that was in there. And you know what I'm saying? Right. In existing but setups, they, there should be. I obviously have containers for. Absolutely, I'm sure you do. Yeah. 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 Like yeah, I just dumped an entire thing of a Ryzen 5 box on the floor to get yeah. the container for the 26 hour. There we go. Just gonna go back in that room here. I really don't care about the box itself. It's got the cooler box. This is, this is, uh, yeah, the serial number is still on the box, so I gotta cut that off. That's always nice to have, yeah. I need to find a B550 motherboard now. Huh? Something, something, I can't read it, it's too far away. Then I will read it. It just says, uh, smiley, f or here, we picked up all the benchmarks. Oh, Preston bought the benchmark stuff. Mm. Like he bought the, the, 
Hey, now I can. Do, hey, he probably has Port Royale now, so he can actually do the RTX benchmark for his RTX card finally. Oh, yeah. Because he couldn't do that before. Yeah. And I don't actually know if I have all of them, so I might, for eight, nine dollars, I might just buy them again. We'll have to see if your Steam has it. All right, we should get them. I, I think I just have um, the free ones. Whatever the hell it is. Fire Strike? Yes. Fire yeah. Strike, and I think I have Time Spy. But do you have time spy like pro ultra whatever? I do. Do you Yeah, I should probably spend eight nine bucks and get you the upgraded ones. All right, so all right there we go. So now we need some Noctua thirty nine hundred X. Oof. Now he's playing with power. Hey, uh, Frozen Sight, you want to run R23 Cinebench? Can get you a, get us a benchmark of that uh, 3900 for us? We, we got a guy right there. It's got one in a, the, your exact motherboard with updated Windows and BIOS. Well, Thanks. I don't know if he's actually done the BIOS update yet. Hey, did you do the BIOS update that? It's resizable bar. You might want to do that one. Yeah. You would be able to take advantage of that. Yeah, because you actually have a 30 series. Yeah, and you got a 980 Pro. Yeah. I'm club class. I think that's good. Right there. Uh, we know this is, she's a toasty. She's a toasty gal, so, uh. That's probably a little much. This stuff comes out real fast. Okay, here's your screwdriver. Yeah. You're going to put this down? Yeah, I can do it. I can do it. Right. You do that, and I'll just hold her in place while you screw it. You like how precariously this head, this, like, you notice how, like, once it, I got it set up in here, it's like a nice tight fit, right? Like, it fits there. You know how hard it was to get all that in the right spots? I was literally cursing. My mom was down here, like, she's like, what's going on? Maybe she should step away. I'm like, I can't. It has to be done. Like, I, I think you're telling me about that. Yeah. <laughs> that guy, though, look at him. Yeah, he sleeps there now. Look at his cat house. That's Gertrude's cat house, but, um... He's a Gertrude's cat house. But he just kind of... Shoom. Took it over. That's single core. Alright. Um, let me take your... Wait, wait, I can do that. Hold on a second, hold on a second. You can't get out of the way, I got it. Maybe. And this time we're going to remember to plug in the SATA power. Yes. <laughs> Yes. So my CPU is not like, what's going on? What? I mean, I feel like it's it's fine. I feel like it's fine. I will run an R23 after this. And press, press can get us an ex like, it literally exactly compare. Like he's got more memory than you, but that's about it. Is that gonna affect score? But he's much? got the same speed. He has the same set. He just, you know, how you only have two sticks. He's got four. So he's got 64 versus yeah. 32. Yep. One of me. Well, he had 32 in his old system, and that was just enough, essentially. So, and I, I told him if you're going to build a new system, use this double system. it. Probably. Well, he's got four monitors, too, I'm like, yeah, so I got one. Ugh, you need two monitors, dude. Jeez. Yeah, I don't have a desk big enough for it. Well, we get, what if we get you, like, a little, like, 15 inch 1080p monitor or something? There you but, go. You know, like, just a, a little she, You can double check. I think she's tightened down about as far as I'd feel comfortable tightening um, it. You know, otherwise we gotta build you that new desk. I got the top for it in the back room. Except right now is definitely not the time to do it because wood is like stupid expensive. It's stupid expensive, yeah. Like what the one piece of like, you know you bought like two pieces of plywood? Mm -hmm. They were like almost forty dollars for a piece of plywood. Okay. They used to be twenty three dollars. Okay. For think about that, a piece of plywood. Again, it wasn't even like Yeah, don't forget to reconnect your state power. It wasn't even fancy plywood, you know what I mean? Like, it was just yeah. plywood. Plywood. You know, like not none of that. We picked up all the benchmarks. We really fixed it. So that 16 core will just slap. Mm. I mean, we are getting beat by a 60 core Intel by... 13,000 versus 5,200. Well, we're going to do these benchmarks. And then I, we will have here your previous CPU in this configuration yeah. Yeah. to test against. Once we get some benchmarks from Preston, we will have literally your previous CPU in equivalent to your current. Yeah. Like, you might not have an updated BIOS, but, you know, pretty close to 
what you should be running because then ideally we want to use R23 because that's what was made for Ryzen. Five, well, this 5000 five series. series Ryzen. So you should have an advantage there already, like in all that sorts of stuff. Yeah, yeah. Not that we can't run R20, but like I said, the biggest issue with running R20 is we're not running the same version of R20. Like everybody else that was running R20 was just running vanilla... R20-0? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I bumped that in it. The, last night, I bumped, I ran into that, and just like went like went like that, and I'm like, what the fuck's making that noise? And I just noticed it's spinning, spinning, spinning. Because yeah. it's too spinny. That's what I hear in the middle of the night all the time with the cats. Spinning. All right, we just got to plug in some GPU, GPU juice here, you know? Whoop! Here's some GPU juice. It was just going. Did you say that was a fidget spinner? Yeah, spare? he uses a bearing from a fidget spinner. You know? That thing's way too expensive. I much prefer this brand. It's a uh, Scout Weather Company. So these, and this is, a, this is the newer version. This Bernoulli is the new version of uh, this guy right here. Yeah. So my complaint about this one is that they only put the knurling. So when you use it like this, there's no knurling there. It's got all the way. It's got all the way, and they made it. And I felt like there just wasn't enough thick. Like it could have been a little bit thick. Yeah. So everything, I, all my complaints were Better. fixed in this one. You remember to reconnect your receiver power? I did this time. All right. You connect it up again. Oh, chibi PC. Let's go. I was very confused for a second there. We're booting in the windows on my machine. It's not? No, we're booting in the windows on my oh, machine. Oh, good. I didn't actually get into the BIOS. It was too quick. Dang. So it's still running defaults. Should we, uh, once you get that thing going, pop on the cooler on this guy? Yep. I want to make sure this boots before I, you know, we put this thing back together. Especially sure. because if we just had to rip it all apart, just, <laughs> just no to point. put the 1700 back in there, like, yeah. especially because this doesn't need to run, like, right this second or something. You know, I'm going to show it properly in the uh, task manager. Tiny, that's for sure. Um, Performance. Thirty nine hundred X twelve core. Nice. Um, let's restart into the BIOS here. Hello, hello. So, if you guys are wondering for if anybody who's watching who didn't get the message from me directly, which is probably none of you, because like you probably I messaged you. Or you're in my Discord, but uh, humble bundle right now, all three Mark stuff, nice big bundle for like eight ninety nine. 
So, uh, if you don't already, if, if, like, say in the case of Frozen Sight, Preston over there, uh, he had bought 3D Mark in the past. But 3D Mark doesn't give you the new stuff for free. Come on now. You know? Mm -mm. So, we didn't have Port Royal to test, Port Royal to test, um, his RTX performance. And then all the a lot of the ones he did have, we had to run wait through the demo too, like like we only had the one that the versions where you had to like watch the demo. You couldn't just skip, mm -hmm. which wastes like the demo basically tastes as freaking long as the benchmark. I swear. Oh, delete, delete, delete. Let me in there. All right, so it's OC tweaker. <laughs> Spread disabled. Load X and P, baby. Yeah. 2933, because that's, that's all first gen could do. So I don't have no, like, 3600 or something in here. You got a reason What? Now you got a reason upgrade. No, because it's still motherboarded. Motherboard can transfer. Mm. Lame. So yeah, I could go up in the motherboard, but then I should have just gone off motherboard when I went to the CPU. Did you see the Fiddy fabric is whatever? Uh, it's half that though. Uh, that one, I think. Mm. That's 29? thirty. No, that's thirty-three. Mm, what do you got? Twenty. This 30? is thirty-two hundred. So half thirty-two hundred. This would be three thousand. Fourteen sixty-six. Yeah, probably that. Uh -huh. Yep. Yep. Fourteen sixty-six point five. What are your temps? Oh, no, I haven't got that tab yet. Good. CPU config. That's uh, good. SMT. SVM. And then back to SS. I don't know what FTPM is. I don't know what I looked it up. Darren on S. But yep, disable that shit. Onboard land. Yep, SROV. Enable that shit. You don't need onboard audio. I think it's still hooked up though because. I'll just chime. It's my phone for work. I get uh, emails usually on 11 o'clock midnight from our servers that yell at us if they're... Okay, here we go. What we got? Like I'm not finding my Cinebench. I assume I should just look for it. Look it up the newest version. Yeah, Can I just get, get it off the Microsoft Store? No, you don't want a Microsoft Store. You want the one off of Cinebench's website. Look oh. up Cinebench download. There should be just one from the website. Uh, say to hot plug. Oh, I plugged in all the hard drives. They probably did not like that. It's got four two terabyte hard drives in. Great. That's another thing that I can't do with that new case, the new Liang Liang Fleet case. Yeah. Cannot. Um, there we go. And CBS core performance boost. Yep. C state control. I do want that on. Right? Yeah. It's like C states. I have one you. Enable HD audio. Disable. <laughs> you said what, what was it? HD audio. No, it was the other one. I have one I have you. Uh, yeah, you want that? What was the other yeah. one you said though? It was like go up one. I already C states. Go with C states. Yeah, yeah, yeah C states. Anything that's CPPC you want. Apparently. At least that's I thought when I read. Two PCI speed. Uh. What, what's potato? Because it's got a 600p back there with a with no airflow going to it because it's blocked by a metal panel. So whatever potato is, that's what I need. <laughs> you want me to look up the PCIe speed for a 600p? It's it's PCIe 3.0, but when it's overheating back there, it literally doesn't matter. So yeah. See, do I, I I think I want advanced. Yeah. You're right. But. PBO mode, I think I want advanced, and max CPU boost override, I want 200 megahertz. I think that's what you're you want. You're just gonna blow up your... What's, what's it the won't do it, okay, remember, it has to do it within voltage and temperature limits. Yeah. So if it's, like, it won't... What's, what's your uh, what's your power supply in that bad boy? 7, 650? Oh, okay, you're fine. You're Titanium, fine. 650? Like, yeah, it's fine. What about 1060? Yeah. That thing's sipping power. Right, didn't you want to go to... Oh, no, not motherboard. That's right, you're just gonna do auto. That's right. No, I just leave it auto. You're right. You're auto. Yeah. L in two mode. Yeah, L in two mode, baby. Woo! On core OC mode. 
forces Uncork to run at their maximum specified frequency at all times. Am I going to run the multi core bench? What? Yeah, just run multi core. Yeah. Yeah, we just want to compare to make sure I'm not doing something dumb. Come on. Do I want Infinity Fabric to run at max specified frequency at all times? Uh, at the expense of idle power savings. Hell yeah! I'm gonna do that. Sure. Oh, yeah. Okay, harbor monitor. We're at 30 C idle. Damn. Um, not bad. Guys, fan two. Wow, I have no control. You can see how much older of a BIOS this is. I can't tell it that chassis fan two is PWM. And what stuff. does it need to run? R twenty sixty, R twenty, R twenty three, R twenty three. Okay. Well, yeah, I would just run the newest one. Yeah. We can compare. Let me compare newest one to newest one rather yeah. than dealing with this. R twenty R twenty old. Yeah, yeah, like this whole yeah. bullshit. Yeah. R twenty three, I guess. Whatever the newest R twenty three from the website is. It should just be like I can send a link. I'll post it in the. Anybody else watching, send us your screenshots for this as well. Woo! You should have single core single core scores pretty quick here. It's the one final row. So this is our twenty though, so Yeah, we can fork noises, yeah. Uh what are we gonna do then Ryzen Master? And then we're gonna retest. There you go. You want the offline installer from Max, Max whatever's website. Bam! There you go, guys. That's where you want to go. Get yourself some R23. I'll make sure it's the same R23 that I believe I have on the network. Otherwise, I can update that in real time. Downloads R23. Two. Extract. Running, 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 running. 212. 212 with 237 for single core. There we go. I'll take screenshots of those. Hit escape. Yep. Or exit, I mean, whatever. Um, so, the latest version of Cinebench is. You get Ryzen Master one? Yeah, go get it. Well, I would run R23 again just to. Just run multi-core R23. It'll take literal seconds. If you notice an R23, like, single core is actually hidden now. So, yeah, okay, it's R23.200 is the current version of R23. And the version of R23 that we were running was... Make sure you got the newest one too, because there's a new, the new, the new oh, one. It was a copy. Okay, well, I mean, no, right, but they're named the same thing. There's no version naming in the file name, if I recall. Mm -hmm. If you look at it, isn't it just called like Ryzen Master or something in the yeah, download? It's Ryzen Master, but then it's got a one byte, so it's like. Yeah, really right, but the copy. previous download you had probably wasn't the new one that has that auto overclocking in it. Probably not. Yeah. Yeah. So just sort by newest, extract the one you had. And yeah, we have R23-200 on the, uh, like, the one we were running for R23. That is the latest R23. Uh, and you do have to run as admin for some weird reason for Cinebench. I'd do it on here, too. I, I, for whatever reason, do not remember having to do that in the past, you know? Mm-hmm. Right. There you go. And if we weren't streaming on my laptop here, I'd gladly get you a R23. Like was 800 points below Threadripper. So we'll run this. We'll install Ryzen Master, see what's going. In the meantime, once you get yours going, Okey -doke. we should install this fan back on here. Ooh, is one of these actually a water pump? I don't remember. Oh, wait, so you guys can see. I don't even know where the camera's facing right now. Over there. You have to go to OBS. Go to OBS. 
Yeah, right here. Click it. Yeah. Oh, you yeah, you click, click it. on it. Alright, let's <laughs> rotate it. Sorry, guys. And gals. Okay, I did the fan tuning on the cheap cheapster here. Here it goes. So. Boop. That's the one he's on. Sure. Yeah, so he's good. Boop beep. Yeah, I like the boop beep. Everybody likes the boop beep, right? Beep. I'm not, I mean, I don't have a boot beep. I don't think I mind. Sadness, probably because I don't have a case fan. Or a case speaker, I should say. Yeah, even on this one, CSM was enabled by default. Like, yeah. Ryzen never needed a CSM, and if you're sticking any piece of hardware old enough to need CSM in your Ryzen machine, go get a new one. Alright, so I'm... Or you should be running an old Intel machine. 13... 434. Okay, print screen that. 13, 434. Put that, yes. Alright, Ryzen Master, scope downloads, should be right there. At the top, double click. Give me his house. I don't know if Preston and I read Ryzen Master. But it'll still give us a relative. Uh, I think he needs a, the new. He might need the new BIOS, the new chipset driver, and. Right, the new Ryzen yeah, Master. You have to scroll through it before they. Yeah, install. oh yeah. Because yeah, yeah, you're going to explode your CPU, you know that. It's just yeah, going to. Install, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Detonate itself, you know. Yeah, probably. Silicon's going to be flying everywhere, you know. You want to see a guy blow up a 5900X? Yeah. Lunch. Yeah. Lunch Ryzen Master. Lunch? Lunch. Lunch Ryzen Master. Okay. Then we're just going to do the auto, you said. Auto OC. All right, now hit apply and test. Okay. I mean, you could mess around with it more than that, but from what I've heard, eh, especially with the auto version that they just added, because the OC mode before wasn't auto. It was, uh, like, you I manually. I don't know what this cat is supposed to be here, then. I pressed some links, but, yeah. All right, so I now have a working computer here. Let's Hell yeah. It. Load it up. Let's see what you get. Watch, it's going to just... Dookie all over the 5900. Watch, I'm still in like 1809. I mean, yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> My chipset driver right now does not even know what Ryzen 3000 is. It's just like, whoa, what? You gotta remember, up until the, the, the BIOS update just a little while ago, it, it had no idea what. Uh, um, it's, it's pretty badass, so like, this normally just cooks right on launch. Yeah. It's good. Not anymore. 62. Because you just got. We just threw a, a, chunk a, a, chunk, a chunk of metal and, uh... Alright, uh, okay. okay. Yeah. And now it's just going to... It's running stress test. Let her... Maximum 90C. Okay, I mean, that's fair. A AMD chose that. AMD knows what they're talking about. Yeah, they do. So... Alright. I think I got the Weefies in this thing. Alright. Oh, no. No Weefies. Why no Weefies? Did my Wi-Fi so turned so off? So what does Auto OC even do? Like, does this automatically set the correct stuff, or do I yeah. need to have Ryzen Master running all the time for this to go through? I don't know. Or is this hard set this so. in the I BIOS? Think it just, I think it just, it just, uh, Ry Auto, like, Ryzen Master, just like Precision X, will just run in the, mm. in the, you know, little doodly do. Okay, I guess it's done. Now what do we do? It says select manual if you want to do manual. No, I'm going to check settings, and we're going to do persistent values, don't show a warning message. On. What does that mm -hmm. mean? Persistent, blah, blah, blah. Switching persistent will move the system to default if it is... The system is in precision with driver auto clocking. No? So delete that. Is whatever. Apply. And we should probably increase the stress test to like... What's, what's 300 seconds? Is that a lot of seconds? It's a couple minutes only, right? We're going to increase that to max. I just feel safer for it to pass 300 seconds mm -hmm. more than, uh, Fine test. you know, than, than, what was it, 30? Mm -hmm. 300 seems a bit more, uh, All cool. oh, yeah, it had, it, it had it clocked at 5 gigahertz. Don't you worry. Yeah, the biggest thing you know is it's like. Right, we were, we were idling before. It's not updating right now. Whatever. Yeah, we're not up in here now. It's running the stress test. Don't worry about it. Can we get some more drain? You get that. You get that stress test going over there in yours. Device manager. Uh, I need uh Wi-Fi drivers 
for an 82.65, apparently. Hopefully, do uh, we're on 2004. That's not too out of date, I guess. No, no, you get the you get the optimizations for. 1909 had it. 1903 had it. So. Uh, I don't remember where the Wi-Fi card is on here. If it's like integrated into the. It or, is. Yeah. So to update the Wi-Fi card in this board. I'm gonna have to rip the whole thing out. The yarn rope, to get to my NVMe, which is on the back of the board, I have to rip the whole thing out. So probably the only way that those Wi-Fi and NVMe drives are getting updated is if I get the new case, because mm. otherwise there's no way in fucking hell I'm pulling anyway, that out. Should we put this back together? Yeah. Do you think it's clean? No. Uh, Ish. Do you want yeah. me to wipe her down again, or what? Yeah, let me give her a little. Yeah, get Cinebench going on yours. Dude, you're currently yeah. like 45C during a stress test. Yeah, but like, what what's the what's the core temp at? I, what's the clock set? It's it's working out, okay. Oh, this doesn't even have a chipset driver, by the way, right now. Like straight up. <laughs> doesn't have a chipset driver. It's working. I don't know, man. Oh, you just, just said you had icy diamond on here, didn't you? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's fucking stained. Yeah, probably. It's clean. It was clean. Okay. Your CPU was just stained as shit. That's fine. Yeah, let's get this bad boy on here. We'll so just put we'll put Octo on there now because they seem to do pretty well with longevity. Yeah. Yeah. Good. I mean, yeah. We'll get for now. And I don't have much IC diamond left. Like I I might have enough for a CPU. Just because yeah. I on my high performance stuff I switched to using Thermal Grizzly. You know what I mean? Where is the actual cooler? Right there. Right. Is that clean enough? I don't see anything on there. Maybe some specs it looks like just for chance yeah. taking off. So. All right, you do the application. Um, I need uh, chipset drivers. Yep. Yeah. Actually, I probably have all that. Um, I'm gonna run upstairs really quick and grab. I have my external SSD that should have. Yeah. I gotta go look at fifteen. Okay. Should take that one. Okay. Um. I mean, we'll try running some more benchmarks just to see where it's at, see if it does fix what's going on. But maybe we can get Fire Strike going. 30 se yeah, Preston's like 30 seconds hype. Yeah, if you use the, um, the Watchmajigger, the Ryzen Master, probably change that to the three, like the max is 300 seconds. Mm -hmm. I would do that. No, no, no. Okay, Preston pulled a seventeen two four five. Yeah, he beat the shit out of me. In R twenty three. Yep, I got a thirteen. Three hmm. four three. Yep. Hmm. Yep. Something not right. So we'll do the Rising Master. Let it do its thing. Rerun it. See what's going on. So. Something not right then. Yeah. And my guess is something with the BIOS. Well, Rising Master should fix that. What's a single core? You have Rising Master. Do you have the new Rising Master though? That because just don't no, not you. Him. Yeah. He's saying he just he ran Rising Master for like ten minutes. Mm. Yeah, because there's a new one that's a simplified interface. It's just like a little square. Mm -hmm. I think he's got the full screen one. Mm -hmm. Like the old one. Mm -hmm. You do need the newer BIOS update that you probably don't have. You should probably get that. Yeah. And then the chipset update that goes with that one. That does give you the new like GISA update. Yeah. And then that gives a resizable one. bar as well. Yep. Well, you get that even before then. It's like 4 1 was what I was on. Yeah. And I think I had it there. But no, he only has 3000 CPU. Remember, he doesn't have 59. Oh, he's yeah, but he's still. He's got the same processor, though. Or no, he has the same board as well. Four. Me. Different. He's got he's got your old processor. So what your same board. Update was he on then for BIOS? I don't know. Yeah, that was on four one, and I think it still had resizable bar on it. No, the default R twenty three is there aren't really settings. Yeah, we're good. So okay, so what do you do? Just apply and test. Apply. You already did apply and test. Yeah, that's what we just did. So then what do you do? Uh, we don't want advanced view. I should have clicked we're simple view. How do I get back to simple view? We just want, we don't need the, the everything. Minimize. And then open up Cinebench and rerun or should we restart? Uh, let's give it a restart. Yeah. See if that sticks too. You know what I mean? I mean it should. Because. I don't know. 
from what I've read about Rising Master, it basically does all the same stuff from Right, I'm just saying that I've That's seen weird. Precision X where you hit a profile, hit save, yeah. hit apply, and you restart, and it's like, oh, I don't know what you do, huh? Yeah. That's weird. I don't know why I'm getting such oh, a... actually, you know, this SSD I'm thinking about... Dookie performance. ...is probably... Right here. Oh, you didn't have to do single core, really. Mm -hmm. it's, I mean, he's doing it, but he didn't really have to do that. Well, I mean, for comparison. Yeah. Let's check my screenshots. Uh, pictures, screenshots. <coughs> what did we get initially? Originally, when we ran R23, we got 1,500. Okay, so 15,000. Yeah, that like was the best one, so he beat me there. Um, and then single core was... 558. So that should be way higher than that. It should be over 600. So R20, yeah, 237. Just shit. And then we ran it again, 212. It was 13,000. So I dropped 2,000 points almost. How'd you drop 2,000 points? I have no clue. But I did. We you have some settings. I like. I'm really questioning. Just go into your BIOS, hit, auto hit default. Yeah. Don't fuck with other other than XMP and yeah. fan settings, and don't touch it. And the Infinity fan. No, don't don't, don't, even do that. don't touch it. Well, the, yes, the, that's what X and I consider XMP in the memory settings and the Infinity fabric. But like otherwise, yeah, just go I'm just game. interested in to see what happens. I just want to. I just want to run it again. File on temp. It takes zero time to run the full whatever it takes. Yeah, so. benchmarking. And let's just see if this fixed it. Like I said, my, my machine is being kind of funny lately, so... Maybe you need to clean install Windows, too. That could be. Sometimes Windows is just a bitch. Yeah. And I wish it wasn't. Because, like, COD was, COD was chopping pretty bad. And it wasn't like that, so... That's just God, I think. Yeah, I, th I think it is, honestly, but... Oh... <sighs> Eh. Who knows? Okay, we're literally just gonna give this the AMD chipset drivers because I I have Cinebench on this external drive here. Yeah. So. Uh, theoretically, it should be faster. Well, I don't know. Yeah, it's duh. It's faster than the 1700X. I'm interested in what I get. No, I'm saying like this. Mine. Oh. Should theoretically be faster. Faster than that was. Yeah. Did yeah. Run it as admin. I'm waiting. I'm waiting for it to load. Yeah. Oh jeez, that that doesn't seem right. That it should take that long. What, we're also loading it over Wi-Fi, remember? Yeah, but without the Wi-Fi uh, dongles, yeah, that was. It's still loading up like it normally did before with Windows. So it's going. You can see drive activity. That it's going. All right, let's let's go here. I didn't hit to hit file quit. I don't yeah, R23 is weird sometimes, it just doesn't save the... Thanks for test duration, fuck that. Yeah, just Multi-core, start, and let's see what we got. Won't touch it. It goes down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably. It'll probably be like 11,000 at this point. Because we're not, we're not hitting temps, I can tell you that right now. We are not hitting any sort of temp no. issues yeah, whatsoever. So. Yeah. Alright, there she goes. She's screaming. 100% load. Yep, all core, too. And we're at 63C, which is, you know, plenty fine. So maybe it's just a quirk. Oh, it's going to drop, so you see? I don't know what's going on there. That's probably what's fucking my... Correct. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Bingo, correct, why? That BIOS, like you're gonna have to test just basically default all the BIOS settings. Mm. You're gonna have to clean, potentially clean install Windows, which mm -hmm. with a different drive. You can use like a SATA SSD. You know, just a, I can borrow you an extra SATA SSD. You got plenty of those kicking around. Because we're only at twenty seven. Yeah, we're like literally running seven gigahertz. One, it's nothing. Well, we're try, to, try just we jumped try, up, try just high performance Windows. Like just yeah, that's not what XM, I was gonna not, do. Yeah. 
Because like, maybe it's just bits of being a PC. It like, should be. Dog like, shit. Alright, so we just want high performance. Let me just double check before I go in. And and go, make, go make a high performance one that's literally just 100% everything. Yeah, like, that's what it should be. That's what everything double check that's there. I'll just create a new one, though, just in case. High performance, it should be in here if I double check. I'm pretty near certain high performance ones. Nope. 1%? Should be 100. So I said, I don't like messing around with the like Maybe that was a, their the own po policies. I just make my own. Yeah. Did you check to make sure there's no PCI Express throttling on? There's no PCI Express link off. USB loaded. Whatever the automatic is. It's yeah, yeah. It's safe yeah. Yeah. Display processor. Give it a I mean, shot. It definitely went up. back off. We we gained two th two and a half thousand points again. So great, right, but the last time we were in it, we were also on like motherboard advanced uh, benchmark we settings. Were. Yeah, we were. Were we? When we ran twenty three, we were. When you ran twenty, we weren't. Huh. We were on like just auto, auto, yeah. auto, like not even like changing just one setting plus two hundred megahertz auto, just straight up auto. Let's get your cooler back on there. Okay. All right. Uh, Gotta be something just sitting there right now. Please don't break fucking board. Okay. Let's go tools, benchmarks. Yeah, uh, we're only running at 2700 megahertz. Set bench. 100% load. See, on this one, I ran just ran set bench and it ran without running as either. Very, very interesting. Yeah. That's my problem. It's not running at 3.7 even. So something's down clocking. So is that a setting in your BIOS? Is that something with Windows? Is that... Mm -hmm. But that's why our performance is kind of eh. Correct, because it's down clocking it way... And, and, it's now, not, and now it jumped back up. It's not thermally. I can it tell is. you that, because we're, we're hitting like... Well, I mean, it's not thermal, because we're not actually running at base clocks. That's why it's not thermals. Because we're not even right. hitting 3.6. Correct, but mm. it's... Okay, we're not hitting 90C and throttling down is what I'm getting at. Well, that would be considered a thermal throttle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we're not hitting boost clocks, correct? We're not hitting, why are we not hitting boost we're clocks? We're also not even hitting base clocks. Why? Correct. Why yeah. is so, what I'm asking. Let's get Why? Yeah, let's, let's restart. So it's either BIOS settings, like there's something that we misconfigured in the BIOS. Yep. It could be a bad BIOS update that's fucking settings up. It could be your Windows install is just utter poop. Like, th there's so many variables with all of this shit nowadays. Here, we'll do a, here's a multi-core on your old 3900X. Yeah. By the way, we have no drivers in this system except the chipset driver. Shit all over everything. Because, you want to go ahead and install the chipset driver? USB wasn't working otherwise. Alright, we're just gonna load optimized defaults. Uh, this is faster. Load BIOS, UP BIOS defaults, yes. Alright, there we go. Yeah, and then we're gonna go there. And we want XMP, you said. And yeah. basically that's it. You right? have to uh, send the same pattern because there's already that call you got me out about with uh, so yeah, the CSM. CSM. Like all the super friggin' basic stuff, but don't tweak any of the over overclocking. Like, I mean, obviously, Rise of Master will yell at us because we won't be able to control it because we don't have PBO on, you know what I mean? PBO's on. PBO's on by default. Oh, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Have, yeah. Should be Wait, is it running a second time? Why is it running a second time? PBO's, but it's, what's it's, with your score? It's running a second oh, time. Why is it running a second time? I don't fucking know, man. It's, it's your shit. <sighs> Why is it running it twice? Alright, so we only got... Oh, because it's a timed. How the fuck did I get a timed benchmark? Yada, yada, yada. Advanced benchmark. 10 minutes th throttle... Why, why are you on 10 minutes throttle testing, you piece of garbage? Oh, yeah. Now we're at 45C, right? Alright, so we're just going to save changes and exit. In my system upstairs, idles at like 60, so I'm not worried about idle yeah. time. Because you know what my load is? 80. Minus 50. That was 50, basically, sitting there. Oh yeah, here's the fans. Oh yeah, we didn't tune those. Yeah. Cause we're literally trying to test just like. Yep. Let's see what's going on. Oh. 
And for some reason, R23 default, you might have to enable advanced settings pressed in because it defaults to 10 minutes for some reason instead of just one run. Oh, you don't need to wait 10 minutes. Okay, here's a. I got 18. Seven six seventy three. Yeah, you beat the piss out of mine. You beat the piss out of mine. And this is on an install of two thousand and four. Yeah. With just chipset drivers. All right, so let's let's go. Like Larry, I have no other drivers in the system. Let's go. Let's wait for the thing to load up. And the pylon. We'll go to tools. We'll go to Here, before you run that, why don't you try it? Maybe it's over the network that's causing it. Don't run it there. Don't run it by the extra drive. Oh, yeah. Okay. I gotta do file. Look at that. Looks a little more promising. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like, so it looks like it's idled at 27. There you go. 27. Core temp could also be doing weird shit, too. Core temps like n never was updated even for Ryzen like three thousand. I don't think. I think these new ones are the new the new version that I have one one seven does have support for it. I would just use like uh, what is it um, Harbor Monitor or whatever it is. Grabs. GamerSex is actually a whole video about monitoring. Hey, you can actually pop that end off because you have Type C. Pop the. I don't yeah. think the Type C is as fast though. Should be. I've been even smart before. Alright, what we got here? We got uh, T7, 2 terabyte, tools, benchmarks, uh, right click, run as admin. Let's see if this is any, any faster. Oh, that was much faster. Yeah, we're okay, definitely over the network. And we're just gonna uh, do go, make sure it's on advanced, upper left. Yep, enable that, make sure we're not in 10 minutes, and then just do start on multi core. Alright, here we go, start multi core. Woo wee! Let's see if this. Screeches. There it goes. Yeah, you gotta turn on advanced mode and make it so it just does one run. Like, we don't need to do throttle testing in this case. Because we're looking for a score. Not, I mean, if you were testing out a overclock or something, you might want to do throttle testing. Yeah. But. What's going on? Every time you, like, hit it with a load, it drops down. It yeah. drops. Yeah. Yeah, but that 3900X was there. So something is fucky. Something is causing it to. Um, check out your scores. It's better. It is like. Yeah, mine's still crushed it by 2,000 points though. Yeah. And I have an older, slower CPU. Yeah. It, that's cooled worse. Like, I have hotter temps. I have, remember, I'm also running an older version of Windows without proper anything. Yeah. No Ryzen Master. Um, here, grab this. Chuck this in there. Swap. You don't have any cash count or anything, right? Okay, so um, swap your SSD out. That's not an SSD. Windows isn't on there. Where Correct. It's, it's Put it, chuck, chuck it with yours. Ch swap with your SATA one. And just boot to that. Boot to, that's what was in my server. So it has Ryzen drivers and everything on it. It's pretty clean because I, I really didn't do much of anything with it. And it should be pretty quick because that, that silver tray thing is like you don't need any tools. I don't think. I'll just put it in my other potato drivers. I'll just pull that thing out and boot from there. I think it's just F11 for boot menu. It'll be fine. He had 16775. That's what he had? Yes. When he still. ran it just once. That's You're still cool. just under that. Yeah, I don't know how much I would trust my R23 run on GB because, like, no drivers. I might be running in that timer issue, you know, because I'm not even on a new version. No, dude. Other, other drive I would pull. Cool. You can just pop it in your silver tray. Like, there's no screws it's, there. It's fine. I'll just go in here. It's all good. Are you sure? Otherwise, like, you can just pull the silver tray out. Yeah, it's good. 
Yeah, okay. Yeah. And then when you boot, change the boot device to uh, just boot smash menus. delete. Yeah, boot menu's up 11 as well. Otherwise, all of them now have boot menu in the BIOS. So. Yeah. And then boot to the 840 Evo 250 gig. It's going to be a little confused, so you probably should restart once. Uh, yeah, it's going to be a little confused. Just maybe boot to safe mode. The screen just... Uh, 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 you know, it's... I mean, it just went from a RAID configuration of Windows mm -hmm. um, on a BX470 board to a non-RAID configuration of Windows on an X570 board. So, you know. Mm -hmm. I still like my fix for your screw. Yeah, just lop it <laughs> off. All right, let's get the homework done on that thing yeah. too. Hopefully, it'll just fail on Mac repair, and we can just go into safe mode. That's what I'm actually. And then just load it from it, it, from safe mode, basically, mm -hmm. or what? No, you restart once in the safe mode. Yeah. It'll fix the driver issue. We'll install the latest chipset driver because that's what, like what one restart. I have to swap the cooler around, dude. Yeah, okay, so this is the same cooler, remember? It looks about right to me. Yeah, that little fat flat. It's doing things. Hey, look at, look at it go. Three hours We're later. We're going to go troubleshoot. Advanced mode. Uh, snow. You don't seem like a real. Yep. Why did it bury the good one, right? Mm -hmm. There we go. And select just safe mode, not with networking tools. Number four. All right. Do these matte black knock to it. From Linus. Linus had a good... Mm. That's a good idea, man. It's almost a fair automatic repair. Well, we'll just clean some windows of that driver. Right and being that I was literally able to bench Sam Bench on a computer that just had chipset drivers, it'll be clean some windows. Mm -hmm. Under that Evo driver there. That's, that's my bitch drive right now, by the way, the 840 Evo. Mm -hmm. That was Preston's boot drive. Mm. <laughs> nice. It's seen a bunch of wear. You want to see probably one of the most worn Evo drives that isn't dead? Mm -hmm. Hang on with, with just a gear life right there. I think, yeah, the biggest thing is just the throttling down. I don't know why it's being done. All right, where's your install of Windows? Okay. It continues. See what happens. Just it what probably will saying. fail, but... install. I don't want to like this. I don't want to destroy my install windows though. Um, you should be able to turn off your NVMe port. Okay. In the BIOS temporarily. You'll have to find that one. Do 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 Quickly making a flash drive. Do, 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 do. Oh, we already have. When you use UEFI 20H2 is on the splash drive. Awesome. Okay, we're good. <sighs> I'm going to turn off my yada yada drive, huh? I would probably just, yeah, I would probably just yank your games drive so it don't affect it. And. Oh, we're at the way. configuration by life. And that's correct. Uh, and we need configuration. There you go. Wait the bottom. Can you change it? Uh this is great. Yeah. And yours is not easy to just get in there and yank it. Nope. So you pull it well, you know oh, what we can do then? Um because I don't care about you he's like it needs a clean install windows anyway. Give me your A4 Evo. Hold on a second. Let me just uh, do a clean install in there. Yeah, I'll just transfer it over. Close enough, right? Oh yeah, I lost.
off some of those screws for this this guy. I was very unhappy that day. Ah, uh, it's a Phillips one. Rip. Here's the Windows drive. Oh, we can leave that. Oh, up. Phillips one. PC here is already jacked up, so uh, he's already like white, basically. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It, it had, it looked like it had a very clean version of 20 inch shoe. Maybe I tried getting it up the ring at some point and just never mm -hmm. finished the job. I think it was overheating. Yeah, I remember that happening to it. And then I think Windows like took a shit, mm -hmm. like, and I just never fixed it. Oh, do you remember, like, it was so out of date at one point, like, it needed an upgrade. I think the upgrade broke it. Okay. And then I might have clean installed it, but then then I found out it was overheating, and I just never... Here's the good... By the way, if you ever want some good Western Digital drives, these ones that are the epoxy sealed ones, mm -hmm. granted, you'll never recover your data ever from them, but... I mean, yeah, just destroy the drive to get them apart, correct them enough? Yeah. I mean, but they're way more reliable. Mm -hmm. That's That's good, right? I suppose. Maybe they just got a bunk 5900. I guess could be. I place it, even if this doesn't work, this clean install windows, mm. I can leave the drive with you, but what I would do is try rolling back the BIOS first. I don't think it was the BIOS because the issues were exactly the same across the board. And the benefits of the Agisa update are probably there. It could just be a weird... Yeah. I've done it before where they break a BIOS. Yeah. I, I, for a long time on my X99 Sabertooth, had to run three or four old because they broke they broke shit. Yeah, that could be. Maybe something hits a load just is being dumb. Probably with like a power profile or something. Because on by default, it's... Like we have it on default, default yeah. settings. It shouldn't. Maybe I have to go through and just uninstall chip to drivers and then try reinstalling. Uninstall, restart, and then there. reinstall again. So, we need our flash drive for the windows. Mm hmm. We've got Kukaracha. Click the button. Which one goes where? Right. You want the thick one? You know how. Uh, not yeah, 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 that's right. Well, the thick one is in the back, you said, right? Yeah. The. Uh, Thank you, Will Dale. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Alright. You just want to sit flush? That's it. Uh. Sure. Good job, Windows installer. Look at all those nice windows that's got to stick up top. Yeah. Come on, Ian. Alright. Tab, tab, tab. And this has to go up a little bit because you want it flush with the top, right? I think so, I guess. Top of the fan is flush with the top of the door. Yeah, look like it was good, but. Mm -hmm. My ass won't make it. Alright, I don't have a product key. Windows 10 Pro, next. And I don't care if it pulls a double, well, I really hope it doesn't pull a dumb and install part of it over to the, uh... Crap, what size drives are what? Uh, the 500 is my Miami. Yep. So... I remember that. Because I upgraded it, I had a... Two something in here and that was not enough. Yeah. There's that. Thanks. Bye. Oh, hips. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll do this. I'll try loading it up, and if not, I'll just have to take uh, her as is. That only made two partitions. Where's the other? Why did that only make two partitions? Didn't that make three partitions? 
Now it is on the new ones. I don't know. Fucking cool. What are you looking for? We got one. We got one what? Spring. I don't know. It should be right next to it. We didn't lose that ever. Yeah. Here it was. It just bounced off when I was walking away. I really wish I could just. One thing that's gonna be mean. And then this board, like this one, it's on the back side of the fucking motherboard. Like, and I understand that, like, that's where I can put it on NVMe, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. But, like, Jesus, that was a horrible idea. Or, uh. Carol Securius. Barely click on there with these stickers. Yeah. Just so fall over and that's it, basically. Yeah. yeah. I, mean, I feel like it's flush for the most part. You have to double check, but. Yeah, I don't know if those are the, the ones that are staying on there permanently. I may switch it to the brown fans, so I have some of those. Yeah. Um, oh, it's because the push on there is the one that came with it. The yeah. pull is a is a uh, industrial. Uh, is there supposed to be that much room to like, play? I mean. Did you not attach it well or something? I don't know. Well, I'm afraid to like clamp it even further. The front just, one's good. Just pull it on it. Like, yeah. Make sure it's, I don't know. Like, you know how, like, you literally just mounted some of those. Same way. You, you mounted them. I don't know. Just put it on there, pull the clips on it. Done. Uh, it feels like you're going to break something. You're not going to break something. It's fine. Yeah. Then I break it. Then it's not fine. Not to send us more parts. No, that definitely seems like that's the best I can get for here. So, that's where it goes. And it's probably fine. It's got a little bit of play, but if I crank it any farther, I feel like I'm going to... I think it's just because the fat guys are in there, you know? Or, I don't know, on the final version, I may also just go with one pan. You know, like, just push pan, because probably enough for a 1700X. Not overlocked. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't know why it's only doing two partitions. Whatever. It's not in It's not in BIOS compatibility, though. No. Like, it's not, CSM is turned off, so. Oh, yeah. Preston, say anything on stream at all? Uh, let's take a look. Preston says, Also, Port Royal only hit like 8K, but I had Chrome and a stream running. I don't know if that's good or bad, because I don't, I don't have a 20 ATI anymore. Rip. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> and he's my best RTX system right now is my home theater PC. Yeah. Yeah, it's 2060. I think once we get this installed and loaded up, we'll try running. And that's all she wrote for me tonight, man. I'm sorry. It's about midnight. It definitely seems like it's just some sort of like you hit it with load and it's it just drops. It's a BIOS setting, but yeah. now we're defaulted in BIOS. Yeah. So it's should. not that. Yeah. So either my Windows is completely out of the fuck and I've got a clean install. Or it's just some weird quirk. Which, to be truthful, I'm not surprised with a uh, recent upgrade to Windows 10. Like, yeah. It's, it's just, the amount, like, literally, that's why I put it off as long as possible. Yeah. And then it's like, because a lot of times it ends up causing me so many fucking issues, mm. I just clean stuff. Like, I'm just like, mm. you know what? Fuck you too. Don't be. Yeah, because mine's been upgraded twice now. I went from 1903 to 1909. Yep, because I didn't know that. And then 1909 to, to 20HD. Yeah. I went to 1909 because I had to for... I remember what I was had it, to as well because uh, it was end of support. And I did it a bit before then, though, because uh, Lightroom, it required 1909 to yeah. run. Yeah. Um, I mean, if that's the case, well, fuck it. 
You just have to get an image of 20 H2 and install it. And Surprisingly, though, on a lot of older systems, like yeah. yours is new, right? But on a lot of old ones, like Haswell and Broadwell and older, mm. like 20 H2 upgrade fixes, like, everything. Everything. Yeah. It runs from being this bogged down piece of shit to, like, mm. oh, whoa, oh, I got some pet back. And you're like, I have no idea. If we do, you do the clean install, we pop it in, and we load it, and it's still being finicky, uh, your PC Roll device needs to be repaired. That's what I would do. Your PC device needs to be repaired. The fuck is it doing? Why the fuck did it do that? Like I said, it only made two partitions. Yeah. For whatever fucking reason as well. Yeah. What the f- Life is not this hard. Like, <laughs> I- I put a drive in you. I, I reinstall Windows. By the way, computer, PC here. I reinstall Windows on a daily fucking basis. This is, uh, this is the stuff we run into. When... Like, literally, you know how many times <laughs> I've, I've done together. temporary installs yeah. in Windows 10? Yeah, this is the shit that happens when you and I get together and we try to fix things. Meow. Meow. He's ready, man. He's like, I'll fix it. I'm here. What do you need me to fix? Yeah. Like I said, it feet. might have done a CSM install. Yeah. Even though yeah, you have it's CSM turned CSM off. Disabled, yeah. Because it only have two partitions. Like, here, look. CSM is disabled. Yeah. All right. Never fear. Hamlet is here. Boot. It doesn't see the... The... The, uh... Samsung drive. It has a bootable dr drive. Did the drive just shit itself? No. Mm -hmm. Should be fine. Okay. I'm gonna pop this out. Uh, go to the repair PC over there and shut it down. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Need to install here? Yes. You know, it's Intel. We're not gonna change any drivers, so there's just about zero reason it shouldn't just work. Work. Alright, time to shut down. Win. Start menu. Uh, you might have to hit pause on a nice hit. Pause. Crypto miner. Should I close all it out or just... It, I can right click. Shut it should auto close the yes. other two windows and then yes, you'll have to close the one window for it. Uh, do I gotta close XM rig before the other one? It or should no? auto close once it can't. Like, cause it has to shut down. Like, it can't just turn off. Like, once you hit pause, it'll shut those down as soon as it can. I'm gonna say afterburn, which minimize that. And now your start menu is still being finicky. I'm just going to right click shut down. That's fine if you can get there. Yeah. There it goes. Come on, computer. Start menu likes being finicky. It does, actually, especially when you update your GPU drivers. It breaks, basically. Alright, so hard drive is going back to the GPU. Unplug this. Unplug this. Am I exiting out a nice hash miner? Yeah, yeah, just hit close on it and go close. I thought I closed it, but apparently I, I didn't. So That should have shut it down. So it's very unhappy about something right now. What? Can no computers in my house work today? Like, like literally no computers can work. Excellent. It's just the Elliot curse is what it is. To be truthful, I gladly, if it was easy to slap an NVMe drive in your system, I gladly slap another NVMe drive in your system. Yep. But it is not, however, easy to slap another. Should I just uh, NVMe drive should in your system? Put half back in there. All right. Oh, I'm just gonna... just give me two seconds. I don't know why the system decided to no longer like accept any inputs. You know, like. Welcome to the 15th. Oh, now the start menu. Hey, the start menu just opened. Hell yeah. It's Let's just a bit delayed. Shut her down. Shut that beep a beep down. It's just a bit delayed, Squeeze. I don't know if you're with it. You, know? you, need, you need this uh, 840 Evil? Eventually. Just give me a second. Huh? All right. All right. Sounds good. Here, I have, a, I have a hot swap with a tray that goes in. Just pop her in there. Pop her in there. I, all I, I do have to unplug the, the NVMe drive from inside of... Should we put Repair this guy PC. back up there? Since it's we have to move the, the magnetic tray to here. Is that good enough? No, the one that's in the way. Oh, so that, that one. Like here, literally, here. otherwise you will not have a place to put. Hamlet. Yes. 
I love you too, buddy, but you gotta move your tush. Alright, put that there. Put screws, let's put it there. But it is okay to put it back over there. Hamlet, I see you're inspecting. Oh, he's, he's sticking his face in the fans now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it Hamlet approved? Inspector Hamlet. What are you doing? Yeah. Now there's Hamlet butt hair all over my case. And I don't have... Comic relief. I was going to say... Right. Yeah, I only have SATA... I don't have extra NVMe drives. Oh, fucking wrist. I don't think. It's fine. What is this? It's an Intel. SSD 256? Intel? Mm. Silicon Micro with SK Hynix? Model SSD SK K two D six H six L. Hamlet. No idea. Yup. No idea. What the heck that model is? What does what Hamlet wants? So we can... I have NVMe I'm still showing now. Don't worry about it. Alright. Well guess what? It's shut down now. That's what the power button is for. Yeah, that's what I just did do it. It won't shut the fuck down. No idea life was so fucking hard. The computers here. that were literally working fine but a couple days ago. That's the on here, man. Scratch. Yeah, this baby says. Yeah. Piece of shit. wasn't too hard. I'm gonna put the screwdriver. Is it over by you? Or did I take it by me already? Do you see the screwdriver anywhere? No. Put it down. Here it is, top there. Put that way even more. Can't find it. Remember, he's good luck. He's good luck, cat. Um, right, Hamlet. Yeah, I, I really don't understand why GPC like it was definitely trying to install the CSM version with a UEFI install of Windows 10. Nice. No idea why. That flash drive, by the way, also made as UEFI only. Fuck. So, like, it's literally, on the name of the flash drive, it says Windows 10 UEFI. You know what I mean? So, like, yeah. should be theoretically installing what? Windows 10 UEFI. Mm -hmm. um, in actuality? Some butt slaps over here. <laughs> yeah, anyway, all right, I'll take it. Welcome to the stream. We uh, ran into some technical issues. We have a cat here, though. He knows what's what. Alright, so, providing the some, guide, drive some guidance. Is apparently I pulled the wrong PCI Express slots because I'm winging it instead of actually checking. He's loving, he's loving the, the butt pets. I mean, I guess that is a huge downside to that armor on your... Well, it's not... Oh, fuck. Did I it's just like, lose that screw? I think I just fucking lost my screw. Fucking great. It's like a benefit and a, a minus. I'd really like to know where that screw went. But it's care. gone. What are you doing, buddy? Pretty sure... So, now we have a system that is UEFI compatible without its NVMe driving, because, you know, I think it might have also been seeing that other installed Windows 10 on Chibi PC for whatever reason. Yeah. 
So, and I will, even though this says Windows 10 UEFI, fuck it, we're going to ignore what it says. We don't believe it, right? Yeah. It's wrong. Even though it's probably not. We're going to go and format it. Brant, now my file explorer on here is not responding. Because, you know, how should I be, like, why should I be able to navigate a folder? How dare I? How dare I? Right? When? What's up, buddy? Yeah. And then Rufus is like, hey, we got an update for the new version of Windows 10. Yeah, I don't have that yet, Rufus. I'm enjoying the shit out of these pets. Okay. Why is it doing a... I thought UEFI installs had to be... No, no, no. I thought they had to be uh, FAT32. Yeah, we need a way, place to move the mic. Like, the Raspberry's fine for this, but it's at the same exact level as the computer. Mm. And the computer's just, like... You can hear it. By the way, it's actually not anywhere near being maxed out, either. So this is not as loud as it gets, I'd like to point out. That Razor? Yeah. Yeah. That pretty crazy. Oh, Molarbytes has also decided to do a scan in the middle of us streaming yeah. and making a... Rufus flash drive and yes, yes, yes. Bites, why do you make such bad decisions? Like, yes. like really? Yes. Why do you make such bad decisions, Marbites? Yes. Yeah, the stream is probably like literally being so choppy right now. Yeah, oh, it was dropping out for a second there. Now, yep, we just did it again. This thing normally runs flawlessly, but, like... The, I don't know if you noticed this, like, once we start having one computer issue, they're all fucked. Instantly. Like, oh, yeah, let's just hop on this other one that uh, we randomly booted up into, somehow it had a fresh install windows, and just... Benchmark way better than yours in R23 with a worse CPU. Great. Okay, well, we'll use that one for a clean install windows. Error, can't clean install windows. Uh, okay, great. Okay, well, let's start with a repair PC that we I fixed the other week. You know, it's been working great. Mm. Can't shut down. Wh what the fuck? Curse, man. Then I go over here to make a flash drive. I brought a curse. I think it all started in the drive, man. I tried booting. Hopefully mine boots still. So I need to test that right now. There's no reason why I wouldn't. I don't even need to plug any stuff back in because it doesn't rely on it for booting. Because don't hit put in your SSD then. At least plug it in. But... Alright, stupid. Yeah, there's no reason that, that that drive shouldn't have booted in there, by the way, either. Because it's just a clean, clean Wi Fi install of Windows 10, probably 20H. 2002, 24, I mean. Yeah, like it's nothing, nothing crazy, you know what I mean, that, like that your computer wouldn't be able to handle. Yeah, it's for a X470 motherboard instead of an X570 motherboard, yeah, but. that weird little warp across the screen there. Uh, I don't know, man. These effing Ryzen machines, weird. Dude, I have weird shit with my Intel machines, too. That's why I finally disabled all power savings on all my Intel machines. Is because, and Puget Systems had a whole thing about They're like, yeah, any throttling. Uh, and, like, basically, if they see a split, if Intel CPUs, because they're like, gotta save power, gotta save power. They see a split second of downtime. Split second. They will downclock your, even your standard stock speed. Not a turbo clock, not a boost clock, not an overclock, right? They'll just downclock it. Like, Mm -hmm. And with certain with certain programs, once they've seen that downclock, they'll keep running at that speed. And it's just like, 
or remember there was a whole Intel issue of where if if a high threat or a high CPU usage process started on Core Zero, the CPU would never boost for whatever reason. Like it just like I don't get how those issues just end up existing in like. I don't know, man. And, like, only power users end up running into them. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like. But it would it would explain maybe some of your stuttering and stuff if you're, if you're like, install Windows is jacked the fuck up, you know? Mm-hmm. But. Just... Yeah, now, now this thing is just hanging. Like, I open up Task Manager and it's like... <laughs> Just hangs. Fart noises. And yes, I know we're streaming, but like, I'm streaming using the NVIDIA encoder. Yeah. Which should be... It's like, yeah, you're at 100% CPU usage. There's no reason for me to be at 100% CPU usage right now. Like, nothing should be causing 100%... Because I'm literally just streaming and recording that stream. Like, saving the file. Besides, yeah, NVENC um, 1080p recorded is literally the used stream encoder. So it, it's just saving whatever it's sending to... What's up? I'm just wondering why it's normally idle download. I don't know. Windows is fucked. It's my best guess right now, dude. Cause I also don't know why it just throttles down. Like it will just throw in in the middle of a load. Yeah. It will just throttle down. And the only way to start troubleshooting that is try a different Windows. If it still does it on throttle, like when you stick a load on a throttle on, okay, well then I have to double check the throttle pace. Maybe it is thermal throttling. Like it's thermal throttling so quick that we don't see it. No, I don't think it's right. But we're also only seeing the one temperature off the CPU there. We're not seeing there are more temps that come off of AMD CPUs. That temp that you're seeing reported there is also, I think they, like, the main temp they report is, like, the worst temperature, too. Like, they always report the worst temp because they're afraid of you melting their CPUs in half or something. I'm not yeah. sure. I'm going to try again now that we got everything kind of running. And see. Let's just put it on stop here now. Tools. And I still have no idea why. Um, this system wouldn't shut down. That makes no sense. Yeah. Go. There it goes. There we go. Oh, is this gonna see my raid? Raid? That's gonna suck. That one. Overclocking failed. You're, there's not even an overclock on here, but you know, whatever, right? Profile. 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 Three. Yes. Ten. Yes. Like way fucking fast, you know. And we're at four two, consistently. Let me change nothing. Uh no, it's an idle thing within um. Yeah, yeah. And we loaded it up, and we're done. I got twenty one thousand. What the fuck? Twenty one thousand. What the fuck? So it's something fucky with, with process lasso. Process last one. I saw it once, down. maybe. Because there was an update that came out a couple days ago. Did you get that one? But yeah, this 21,000. So I smacked the shit out of the old. Yeah, well, I would un completely uninstall Process Lasso. Restart and do it. Restart now and then. Well, no, completely uninstall Process Lasso. I'm going to do Windows print screen at least. Yeah. Well, you can do exit, file exit, save the benchmark, yada yada. And I should have a clean install of Windows for you in. I don't think it's. I don't think it's Windows. Well, we'll be able to find that out shortly. Yeah, it could be Windows. Process Lasso. Just 
uninstall it. If it if it runs fine without it installed, yeah. then reinstall it. See if it causes the issue again. Could be a bug thing with Presla. So then we gotta file a bug report. I mean, I know the guy on freaking Twitter. So just send a thing over to him saying like, hey, we found out that running the latest BIOS on X570 Tai Chi with blah 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 makes it so it doesn't turbo anymore, like at all. Like, I don't know that ever said an idle. Because I said if the like, idle saver was enabled, I disabled Why that. Why idle saver handled? Because uh, I enabled it, because if it sits idle, because I don't... It wasn't doing that. Yeah. Like, it wasn't not doing that until we put the 5900 in. Well, it, it's so I disabled that, CPU. and then I set five minutes for the timeout where it wasn't yeah. doing anything. And now did, you, did you just uncheck idle saver and it was fine? Uh, no, or I still re-enabled it. Right. But I set it as five minutes as the timeout that it was going through. So it was process lasso causing the system to idle sooner than yeah. it's supposed to. I think it was set to five seconds. Okay. Yeah, which makes... I don't think I ever use idle saver. Sense. Well, I don't want to just like, hey, we're going to do 70C all the time. Yes, just do 70C all the time, Squares. It's fine. Uh, it's not going to do 70C anymore anyway, all the time. Uh, yeah, so it was enabled... It was enabling a lower power profile when it was doing idle saver. So, Essentially, yeah. So, is it? Is, did you uninstall process last It's now? gone, man. I'm okay, so it. now rerun it, see if it fixes it. Then we'll install the latest one. If it, and we're either not use auto saver or set it to like you had five minutes or whatever. You, but hey, we found out what the issue was. If that was hey, if that's the case, it's our own issue. Yeah. But we caused that. You know what I mean? How did we cause it though? Oh uh, yeah, we're at. You enabled auto saver. Yeah, but it was enabled before, and it was fine with the 3900. Right, whole different CPU, whole yeah. different BIOS, yeah. whole different CPU chips at this point. Yeah. Remember, we changed a lot of things. Don't worry about it. Well, if that's the case, I'm not going to reinstall Windows over here, because I don't have to no, risk my radar. Don't even worry about it, man. She's fine. It was probably process last one, something fucky with their Windows, where they weren't green, right? Okay, so now what you, wanna do, what you want to do is you want to go into your BIOS and reconfigure the BIOS settings that we want to use. I can just load up everything that we had. Yeah. All right, what do we have for... Okay, so we've learned something. Yeah. I'm beating the piss out of a third. Uh, is your you stream know? preview muted? Yes. I have nothing playing. Yeah, nothing. Yeah. All right. So we will quit. Yep, we'll like, I don't even think the stream's playing right now. It says I'm offline right now. Uh, We're definitely not offline. Yeah, and the only thing coming through should be, at least from what I can see on here, the only audio meter I have going is desktop audio. Hey. All the other ones are muted. I'm going to reload my settings. See what we got going on. Rerun it. Is it still actually being... Uh, it, dude, we were hitting 100% CPU at some point, so it could be that like the whole thing's CPU just like four, four. No, no, no. So, My laptop was oh, hitting. Oh, yeah, I got you, got you. You're talking. Yeah, yeah cause he, Preston's saying he has double playback of audio or something like an echo. Oof. That's probably because we were trying to do all sorts of shit. I did. I wasn't trying to do. Any, I was trying to copy files to a flash drive. Is does that constitute all sorts of shit? Hmm. Oh, it was Preston. So, uh, for those of you that use um, Process Lasso, if you have this weird issue, it's probably Idle Saver. At least from what we figured out right now, right? Yeah. You probably have to go through and like reconfigure it. Alright, load, use your default, load this one. What did we not change on that one? Was um, it like motherboard or something? I think everything was basically set. Check, just, check the. It wasn't clock motherboard. It, yeah. was, it was literally like. I think we just left it auto. Because ideally we want advanced. Above. Oh, we want that. Oh, jeez. How'd that not get enabled? I have a feeling you didn't restore all your settings. You might want to just double double check through them all. You know what I mean? I mean, like the fan idle down. PS5 Y cable. Yeah, that's correct. Right. Yeah, that's correct. ACPI right over here. Trusted. Disable that. Let's go back here. 
at all was saved. We probably just ran through this a little too quick. You can lose the same one. You can use auto. If you want, you declined it. What was in that one? The For which one? Go back into the like, overclocking section. Click that. Go down to. What's the options for? Is it just auto for PDO? No, no, it was, it was. It do advanced. And then do. Yeah, we want my forward, I think. And then we want 200 megahertz. Yep. You can always go back and change that back to full auto. Right? Really I, really I, watching that. Jays, that's what we should have. Auto is what I want for You want, you want advanced, well, advanced and 200 megahertz for sure. I don't know about the other stuff. We don't want. Like, what, you could optimize curve. Ideally, we're just going to let uh, whatever be with that. Um, Rising Master? Yeah. Core performance boost on, um, yeah. It's, it's on auto. I think that's considered on. I also don't like the auto. Just give me an on and a fucking off. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Alright, there we go. And then, have you noticed on some things that on some things auto means on and on other things auto means off? No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh, what else do I have? Fast food. Disabled, that shit. One second and... One second, I need to do... Just in case. Just, 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 just give you that extra. And then we'll just save Save that as in number three and do... Uh, I don't know. Fixed! <laughs> fixed? That's something. Uh, there we go. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> Hit save. We'll... We'll see if it if we see if we match our score from last time. It's almost if we 22. do, if we do, then uh, then we can reinstall uh, process lasso and see if we still match that with power saver disabled. Yeah, I mean it was enabled and it was still kicking ass. So it was something where power saver was kicking in way too early. So we don't have anything malfunctioning. It works. I should put power saver. Well, at least we figured it out. It was kind of our bad. Like, mm, yeah. But at the same time, like... How do we know it was that? Yeah. But, hey, we figured it out. I've always kind of been wary of process that, so it was kind of weird for me for a bit there, but, you know. All right, so we're good. What are we going to go through? Well, and you yeah. shouldn't have to run high-performance max at 100%. Like, I mean, obviously, we want to make sure it runs at full speed now. But, you know what I mean, you should be able to run, uh, like, balanced power profile or bit some high you know what I mean, like, now that we know that it was, we haven't 100% confirmed it, but more than likely it was that setting a process lasso so causing, stupid it was something with it being not, not, like, setting up properly, you know yeah. what I'm saying, like, it wasn't, I guess, the power saver option of it, yeah, it was something was was bugged not, yeah. within the power saver, because it wasn't giving us full fucking throttle, if you will, for the processor, but we needed it. Which could so. be because we reinstalled the chipset driver, and that's probably what the, oh, that's what has the power driver in it. Yeah. You know? Yes. What we got here coming? 62, it's not dropping temps, so. We got the less. Performance is worse. Cats, jeez. Why must you be... Try toss... I guess we can try tossing all that back into auto. You know what I mean? Like the... Where's our... Did I not turn off that prompt? I swear I turned off that prompt. Mm -hmm. The one in Rising Master that yells at us every time we open it. Mm -hmm. Here. The don't show warning message. Yeah, on. on. So why is it still showing us the warning message? Mm -hmm. We're on auto OSC. Should we go into 5.1? 5. Okay. Okay. Restart. Can you just rerun it again? See what's going on? see what happens. Otherwise, we'll go back to like auto. Like I said, I've actually had the best luck with the less tweaking I do in fucking Ryzen motherboards, the better. Yeah. I know it sounds like 
So I, I used to know all the tweaks for everything prior to, like, Skylake on Intel mm -hmm. to make that shit, like, tuned down to, you know, especially first Gen i7s, man. You know, I, I need those, like, I could beat the shit out of those. Good and, like, shoot. for X79, X99, well, technically X299, because nothing changed going to X299. You know what I mean? You just got more cores. Open up Ryzen Master, make sure it's doing its thing. It's probably going to yell at you, even though we have the, the warning message disabled. Wait for it. Wait, yep. Yeah. Oh, wait, Ryzen Master. The text, another in. Oh, it's already running. Oops, it okay. Sure. It, it still warned us. That's annoying. Best we got was like about twenty two thousand. Why is it also not saving our school? Like it's not showing our saved school. Probably says we got going file and then whatever. It should have well, at least one in there though by now. You yeah. think there's at least one file saved? I've seen that bug with R twenty three. Like where you know, I'll even I'll even look in the folder and it's like yep we saved it and you're like okay well can you display it and I'm like nah nah. That seems pretty darn quick. Yeah. yeah I think so. I mean, I can test out some more, but it's 12.30. I definitely gotta go. I'm gonna go home and at least go to bed. I want to go to bed. You as well have to go to bed, sir. Oh, let's see what we got here. We're gonna get the green power off. We're just like going down. How did we get less performance? I don't know. With an auto. Maybe the motherboard being. I'm just gonna go back to PBO, just auto. I'm just gonna fucking auto everything. And then just leave the fan curve and everything that's out there. Yeah. And then just leave the CPPC states turned on. Yeah. And like disable all the rest of the shit. Try it with and without Rise of Master once. Well, like rerun the thing after that. Yeah. And see what it does. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I mean, at some point. Yeah. Like Reinstall process last up because now we, we pretty much know. That I, don't, it was I don't know necessarily if it was process last itself, but something was bugged. Like, like you said, it's probably the fact that we had a processor, a new processor, never redid the thing. It's it's fine now. It's fine now though. Like, yeah, it definitely beats a thirty nine hundred X because yeah. Preston had what sixteen hundred. Seventeen, I thought. And you had eighteen. Yeah. And I had twenty two almost at one point. So right. Yeah. So we're probably just gonna go back to full auto. And it's not even the multi-core that's a big thing. I think it's a single core. Well, you I mean, granted, if your multi-core is going to be higher, yeah. your single core is going to be high. Yeah. That's how it works. But so I would redo the auto OC once you change yeah. your BIOS settings. Yeah. And once you know that's good, reinstall the process lasso and see if it fucks with it again. Okay. If it doesn't, guess what? We're good. Yeah, yeah. Well, hey... Troubleshooting! Hey, if you guys want a PC troubleshooting, us getting mad, things that should work precisely, stream, and then having everything else fall apart that, hey, that should have worked. That should have shut down. Yeah. We know what it is. It's not that big of a deal. Process last would be infinity is not that big of a deal. Especially with us changing, like, what? what we got? Hey, you got a 3900X? Yeah, that thing's got 1700X. 1700X. I gotta Literally, find a, uh, now I gotta find a. Uh, you gotta see what your R twenty three score is for your sixty nine hundred. We did. What was it? Oh, the sixty nine hundred. Yeah, I don't know. exactly. Let's see what that I is. I think when I benched that, that, it might have been still on R fifteen. Yeah. Like in other words, R fifteen extreme. They just made the plot size four times as big, so it took longer. Yeah. Uh, because with even with eight cores, R fifteen would finish like quickly like it would finish faster than you're doing r23 so they'd just be like <laughs> really yeah r15 was not hard no r15 and but that's what was around back when i think r20 was launching just after i finished yeah my desktop so my be my benchmarks and they're both in uh, R15 and R15 Extreme. And R15 Extreme was not actually even an official... Yeah. It was just some dude who made the picture four times as big. <laughs> it worked, though. Like, that was a hacky way of, like, testing those larger core processors. Get these guys out of here and make sure. i put this back together real quick. Oh! My lights. Well, sir. Thank you again.
It's never a dull moment when we no, no, build computers. It's always it's something. That's why correctly one day repairs and never one day. Or same day repairs, I should say, or never same day. Uh, if this was a full repair or redo? No. Hey, at least you didn't have to reinstall Windows. That's true. I mean, when you confirmed your Windows, it's fine. Yeah. And you, you're... Oh. It's very odd that enabling overclocking and overclocking it gets you worse performance. I mean, that, that yeah. that's Ryzen, though. That's really... Ryzen's just a finicky broad. Well, not, not in that way, but, like, I literally, my experience with Ryzen has just been, like, go. And, and it's, it's like, hey, we're doing amazing. And I'm like, I don't know how you're doing it, but... You do you, baby. Yeah. You do you. Right, one last time. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I, I try defaulting those settings without, you know, without running Rise of Master, right? Yeah. And try running with it. And, and what it is? Let it run. Well, guys, I am cutting the stream off now because uh, I guess I had a second window of the stream that refreshed on its own, playing a couple seconds. Nice. Um, yeah. Go pick up those 3D mark slash whatever mark uh, benchmarks. Um, and uh, brain farting. Um, if you don't have them, over in Humble Bundle, um, watch out. Use Process Lasso. I've only had good stuff out of it. I never personally have used the, the whatever part of it, the, uh, idle saver. I just leave Pro Balance Mode enabled. That seems to be, I'm not too worried about power consumption. I probably should be on my laptop or something. But I usually have a billion things open with the CPUs churning away at 50% usage anyway, so... Um, never too worried about that, um, but check that if you use power saver mode in Process Lasso that, you know, after getting the latest BIOS, the latest UEFI, it was the same thing, like, little chipset drivers, that one, and graphics drivers that, hopefully that isn't caught, like in this case, it looks like that or some other power setting in a power profile was causing the CPU to idle sooner than it was supposed to, and idle when there was already a load. So, uh, that's at least our best guess. Uh, Chew PC, that should work fine once I clean install to the NVMe instead of a SATA drive. Uh, the repair PC. Yeah, uh, might yeah. spend, maybe just hit some weird dirt. Yeah, the with the shutdown software. thing, yeah. Maybe I didn't shut down the mining software properly. I don't know. Maybe I fucked something up. It was being derpy. But, um... Hey, it's much faster. You have a much faster processor. Yep, and You're, hey... You now have a 12-core. Right, and piece. the server's got its 8-core in there. Yep. Right, so that's that's progress in the server, too. Yep. I haven't tried booting it yet. You also have a pretty good Wraith Prism cooler, in case you need it for any other kicker on the thing. That's got to go. i got to find a place for that. Yep. Um, I'll do a clean install on, G on GPC of 20. Well, I'm probably going to wait, because the new version... I, I don't need GPC working, like... Yeah. We've, we've confirmed it can do a benchmark. It's not going to not work. Yeah. Um, sure. You know what I mean? But I, I don't see... Like, shouldn't 21H1 be out, like, any day now? I thought it got the lead. Yeah, I don't know when till. I, don't know. I think it should be out by the end of the month, they said. That could be. So I might just wait to clean install that on GPC, because yeah. if I have to clean install anyway. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Uh, Preston, you need a BIOS update, um, Ryzen Master update, run the auto OC for that, um, by the end of that, we should know in the BIOS settings for the AMD overclocking, um, which settings you should use, because we actually had worse performance manually controlling things in there, like auto worked better, so, yeah. Um, might come with back to you guys with a report and actual final benchmarks for, you know, some of these computers once they're going. Uh, yeah. It was exciting, kind of? See you next time.